everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Tombs of Scoria. How are my most advanced players doing this afternoon? <laughs> right before uh, special, a little bit uh, nervous. advanced works, I guess, sure. <laughs> um, it's you been a long campaign. You got a blazer on for this, nil. Yeah, it's going to look <laughs> a little bit nicer for the final. Right? Yeah, Mr. no, Jumper? good. I like it. Yeah. Um, it's been a long campaign. This is episode, what, 94? 93? Something, Something like, like that. that, yeah. We've been at it for a couple of years now, so... Here it is. Here's the final battle. We hope. Um, where There's last... not much more to say, is there? No. Sorry. Where last we left our party, we had glimpsed the final room of Scoria through the um, eyes of a dead dwarf, or through him. Um, uh, what was that spell you cast, Mr. Moon? We're not reflecting. Uh, but, uh, time pool? <clears throat> through a time pool spell. And a scout into the area had reported seeing carvings along the floor, indicative of a anti magic zone. We've heard yeah. that there might be golems. And that, that there are strange cages on the walls, lifted well above the ground. That there's a, a trap of some sort scheduled in here. But the other denizens, we don't know much about. Could Can you be... do the mic thing real quick? Yeah. There could be just about anything facing us down here. Yeah. Um, our party has time on their side. We can delay and delay and delay as long as we want. But every time we delay, it gives Scoria and her minions more opportunities to change the position of the battlefield. So, what are we going to do? Uh, okay. day before, we're going to assault. So this is uh, the day before, Nick? Well, let's see how the Aerial 7 thing works out first. So today's the day um, that I'm going to cast two castings of Aerial Servant. You don't need to say a person. You don't need to say a name. You just need to describe what it looks like. So Anton is going to describe um, a harpy and say it's at the top of the mountain and he wants the aerial servant to fly there and bring it back. I cast the protection from evils on the ground. I do the aerial servant and then I will send two aerial servants to retrieve harpies. Bring back an object or creature described to it by the priest. The object or creature to be brought must be as such that Aerie Conserva can physically bring it to the priest. So they can carry at least a thousand pounds. The creature to be fetched cannot detect invisible creatures. The Aerie Servant attacks, automatically gaining surprise. The creature involved can detect objects. It still suffers a penalty of two to surprise rolls. If the score is hit, if it hits, when a hit is scored, the aerial servant has grabbed the item or creature it was sent for. A creature with a strength rating is allowed an evasion roll equal to twice its bend bar's chance to escape the hold. If the creature in question does not have a strength rating, roll 1d8 for each hit die. The aerial, hit die the aerial servant and the creature grabbed to have. Higher total is the stronger. Once seized, the creature cannot free itself by strength or dexterity and is flown to the priest forthwith. Come to me, my heartbeat. Okay. Ooh, they have 16 hit dice and need a plus one weapon or better to be hit. The Aerial Servants or the Harpy? The Aerial Servants. They also do 8d4 damage on an attack. That's why you oh. have the Protection from Evil, because the Aerial Servant will fuck you up. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's find out how well this goes. Thank you. 
It's a lot of hit dice on these things. Things don't fuck around, and they're miserable. Mm-hmm. 70 HP? <clears throat> How's the factory? I'm getting closer every day. <clears throat> Two weeks, and I'll be done with that game. You're lost in the factory, Steve. You need to get out. Two weeks, and I'll be done with it. I believe in it. If the harpies use their spears to kill the aerial servants or drop it on the way, then this That's is good. a waste of time. It's a big win. Well, I guess so, yeah. <clears throat> um, the point is... So I sent two, yeah. by the way. Yeah, you will get uh, two harpies dragged back to you, kicking and screaming, um, shouting as best as they can. And... Where are you when you're doing all this? Um, we would... Where would we be, Nick? Outside. Because they're we're in the outside, top of the volcano. Obviously. Yeah, we're, on, we're way, where we killed the giants. Yeah, but are you by yourself the in the middle of nowhere? Are you in the middle of an army camp? Are you, you know, 10 feet away? Are you in at the, the army camp Are you because, in the clear? Okay. At the army camp, because if, if all of the harpies want to come follow and attack, we're going to have volleys of arrows just, like, ready to, like, shoot. Our goal with this mm -hmm. was to get the lightning spears, and if they come, that's awesome. If not, um, then we just kill two harpies. At the best case, tons of harpies come, and we just have our soldiers firing. Okay, I take it back. You get one harpy. Natural one. Um, you get one harpy who is being dragged back towards your camp. And you have your soldiers standing around. People will see the harpy being like pulled against the wind in the direction of your camp. Bowmen grab their bows. Soldiers bring their shields above their head just in case something goes wrong. And that is when everybody... Um, all the PCs and all the NPCs need to make me a saving throw versus spell. Hmm. Um, okay. I'm going to make um, a generalized saving throw for the ground troops who are probably going to fail miserably. Natural one. Um, and then I'm going to make a saving throw for um, some officers that are nearby. They've got a better chance. They will pass. And then we're going to do a saving throw for some of the casters nearby, and they will pass as well. Uh, but our um, player characters... I pass. I think Tyr will pass. Yeah, I think we all pass, yeah. Nick, you have at least plus three to your saves? Plus seven. Spell? Actually, we can't pretty much fail unless it's one, two, or three, I think. I yeah. think that's the case. Basically, but I know yeah. that some of the gear has been moved around a few times, and so you don't have as many... Um, like protection from ring uh, rings of protection on for the most part, but Nick clearly has five from his ring of protection and two from my cloak. I think we all have rings of protection on us. Yeah. Oh no, wait, no, I'm not worried. No, I only have plus five to mine, so it's okay. just, yeah. I've got four from yeah. mine. So excellent. All of your soldiers that are standing around you slowly lower their arms and stare at this harpy um, who is being sort of dragged. Um, but limp against the wind as it lets out a magical song from its vocal cords, singing and transfixing all who hear it. Uh, they stand... Oops. Can I shoot it? Um, the soldiers begin to walk in the direction of the harpy with their weapons down as the aerial servant flies it directly to Velthara's Chosen. The, the cleric who would never give up Velthara, who would never let her go, who has sworn his life, the life of his children, who has made sacrifices of his blood and flesh to her, who wears her amulet. Um, I will put a spear through the harpy's wing, grounding it. Do you want to hit? A roll to hit? Uh, yes, please. Uh, 18. 18. 18 will hit the harpy with the spear. Um, okay. The aerial servant then releases the harpy, who is... You say you wanted to ground it, like hold it to the ground so it doesn't fly away? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you do at least half its HP and damage, it can't fly anymore, so roll me damage. Um, uh, harpies have wings like birds, not like bats, so that's not much of a, a thing that you can pin it with. Excellent. I'm going to use a charge on my spear to mm -hmm. hopefully stun it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's nine damage and then 2d6. 10 plus a saver stun. Yeah, and its save is. Uh, 
versus spell is going to be 13 or higher. It fails. It is stunned. The song stops. The soldiers begin to become aware of their surroundings. Um, I look to the harpy. Is it carrying what looks like a magical javelin? It is not. Okay. It's not got our hands on. Kill it. I will slay said harpy. When we saw yep, them before, were they all carrying those? or That's what we heard. Oh, uh, we heard. Uh, maybe just no, a maybe few have them? No, maybe we did see it. Yeah, maybe just a few have them. Well, maybe it dropped it. Could have dropped it. I slay it. Okay, that dies. Okay, um, with regards to the room that you told us about last week, Neil, um, are we able to get to that room? Like, can we act as if we are outside it? You know the path to the room, and it has been walked by a soldier, but we cannot pretend that we are just outside of it. You are outside of the cave system right now. Anything that's happening within there takes time for you to know what's going on. If you walked in there right now, it's possible that Scoria could be in the middle of, like, destroying soldiers and trouncing troops through her fortress. Okay, um, so what do we want to do? Because ideally we need to be in the room before the room when we cast all our spells, before we go into fight. Then let's just start sending our troops in, not to the big room, but to yeah. like the uh, the room before where we're gonna all group up in. So we send a spear up, Neil, and we're gonna follow that spear and tell us when we get to the where we can see the anti magic yeah. zone. Well, sure. Did we, before we did this, we had a talk with our generals and we explained our plan. Do you want to explain the plan, Nick, and um, talk to the queen and make sure it's okay? I also want to make sure that this is going to be the next day that you're going up here, right? Because, Mooton, you don't want to have I... discharged those four spells. No, we're um, not going to attack. This isn't the day we attack, so it's this okay. This isn't the day we're okay. attacking. I think we're going to group up there. So yeah. with the spell list that you have presently minus, minus those four spells. Those four spells, yep. Okay. Um, and you didn't change your spell list, but you had two more summon aerial servants and... Um... Yeah, so I wouldn't have conjure animals or skip day right now. Cool. And I and wouldn't you're... have remove fear or combine right now. Perfect. Okay. But everything else I have. So I will cast Endure Heat and Cold on all of us. Um, on me, Tyrael, Imric, uh, Brain Gang, and Vash. Or sorry, Jack and Lord Khan. That's who will have Endure Cold. Actually, I don't need it, so I'll cast it on Vash as well. Okay. Five people have Endurking Cold. We need to secure a base closer to the room. Yep. So I think we need to send in soldiers, Neil, a concerted, strong effort of well-equipped people to secure, you know, the area right before her room. I think that Maybe area... Are, are, you, room before. are you going the, with these soldiers? I think we would fall behind them. Like, so we'll follow along, yeah. Okay, so... Can you give me some numbers here? When you say you're sending soldiers, are you sending in 100? Are you sending in five? Please be we, descriptive. We want to secure the base camp in front of us, so we're going to start sending in, um, I don't know, 100 soldiers to go and secure that. And then that's okay. where we're going to spend the night inside of the thing. And we'll go with them. Excellent. And these soldiers, we've talked about how hot it is in these places. The three of you with your endure heat and cold, not so much of a problem. But if you're sending in a hundred soldiers, they're going to have to be unarmored to get in. Right. Okay. To, yeah. to exist in these places. Okay. Um, as you come to the room with the magma chamber and traps, we will lose some soldiers to the magma creatures who pop out. I don't think you care There's about more? losing a few of these th suckers, um, no, but they will they will rip through a few of your soldiers, grab them, and drag them into the the lava. Emric, we can't possibly stay the night in here and sleep inside. Obviously, us three. No, we, but I do think we need to maintain control over this area, though, don't you? Sure, but we can't be there for that because we need to learn spells. I can sleep be there. on your. I don't need to learn spells. Could. I always know how to detect noise. Why can't we land spells in here? Because if you get if distracted, it's going to break. Comes, we die, or yeah, yeah. You have to get restful you... sleep. We're not waking up in shit. Mm -hmm. 
as you make your way through, you can see there's a long corridor of traps that have been identified, and now there are people here who are taking the time to disable them or lock them into place. Walls of stone are being erected to prevent darts or magical effects from passing through. Little platforms are built over what were pressure plates to make sure that nothing goes wrong and no one that passes through this area is affected. The workmen will stop and stand by, uh, mm marking a clear, uh, you know, filling in a, a chalked path that is safe to walk for you as you and your soldiers move on past. The guards around these folks will salute you as you move on through. The work continues as you move by. I think it's you just get past... Tyrael going, or do we all want to go? No, I think we all go to secure the room. We all go and then we'll go out at night, mm -hmm. yep. What is the room that you are securing? It's he well, one. the room there's so you know how there's that hallway leading to the anti magic zone. Mm -hmm. We imagine there's like a room or some kind of chamber before the hallway or part of the hallway, maybe it's just that hallway. We just well, want to be yeah. yeah, we just want to be just able, a hallway. Yeah, we just want to be able to have some sort of like camp there. So we've, we're essentially connected from start to end, right before mm -hmm. the final battle. So when we have all of our shit, we want to cast our spells. We don't want to have to like fight through a hallway of harpies or something strange like that. We want to be able to just walk in and we're ready to go or we're right up to where we need to be. Yeah, excellent. We want to uh, test the hallway the is, as well. <clears throat> sure. The hallway is about 50 feet wide for the most part, narrowing at strategic chokes. Um, so you can be in the 50 foot section of hallway here, many miles within Scoria's lair. <clears throat> okay. Can we see the anti? But you do not take notice of it. Can um, we see the anti magic zone corridor? Not from the 50 foot wide section. How come? Um, bends in the path. Okay. I would like so to you, scry into that room. Into when you say room, do you mean Scoria's chamber? Yeah, or I mean do you Scoria's mean Scoria's chamber? Yeah. Okay. You have never set eyes upon this place yourself, other than through the time pool spell. Right? Well, yeah, that's what I'm wondering if I can get a little bit closer to see the to be able to see it. Yeah, you know, like can we move the can we move this column right. forward a little bit, or just I'll take an escort with me, like Terry and Anton. And we see we're on the map. Um, there's not a map to be seen. But when we are at the anti-magic field, mm -hmm. at least. So here's the, the doodle that you've made. Yeah. And we refresh Okay, yeah. Um, and it essentially, you know, it turns after... This is, this is not to scale, but it turns like that, and then it opens up that near the top right corner. Oops. Cool. So we're in like this area. Yeah. And Shine can fit through this. Uh, yeah, it's a tight passage. It's just a tight squeeze. She's slowed. She doesn't have good move maneuver maneuverability, anything like that. Okay, good. Um, so I will poke my head around this corner to get a look down past the anti-magic zone so I can get a bonus on my scrying roll. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Um, just... Um... Are you sure you want to do that? Can you hold a mirror around the corner first or something to check or do the eye spell? Just one thing is line of sight could mean finger of death. No rolls for true. dying. Just always be careful. Shouldn't go through like anti-magic, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Did we decide that? Nothing could go through an anti-magic zone? Yeah. Uh, well, that's what we think. That's what we think. Okay. Use use a mirror. First off, actually, <clears throat> I ask Shine if she can poke her head around the corner. Oh, no. <laughs> Same thing. But I want to see if the anti-magic zone stops breath weapons. Okay. So. Yeah, we need to see that. Um, this this distance is greater than a breath weapon range. Right. Okay. This, this is not to scale. This move is quite badass up then. Mm -hmm. She can could we, we... squeeze into a tight corridor hang on, hang on, hang on, and hang on. squeeze get, all the way down. Let's get a group of soldiers to go around corner first. Great. We get yeah. a spear. Some plebs. Yeah, some plebs. Yeah, just to get around the corner, just to see if anything okay. crazy happens. Yeah, a couple of nervous soldiers in just some light clothing with spears and shields steps foot round the colder shoulder um, and begins to march. How far down do you want them to go? They start going slower. Walk slowly. After about 30, 40 feet, I'll look at the other, look at Tyrell and follow them around. Okay. I just probably need to be able to see. So I think if I get around this corner, I can see, can I? Into the room to scry on it. Yes, the end okay. of the room, um, the hallway is fairly dark, but at the far end where the entrance to the chamber is, there are some large braz braziers filled with burning 
fuel that allows um, light right at the entrance, but everything between the entrance and you is in darkness. Okay, so if the brazier is in the room, if I understand that correctly, or at the entrance to the room, I'll cast it in the light field of the the brazier. Excellent. Your spell fails. Okay. Do I see anything in beyond the room, beyond, in the light? Any shadows dancing in the no, lights? No, it's just like you that? can see a corridor, and I don't. You probably can't even tell that it opens up into a room because you're in like a two hundred foot long passageway. Um, but you know that. The last brazier is right up against where the room would open. So beyond the anti-magic zone. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, Shine. I need to work out if that anti-magic zone is going to stop Scoria's breath weapon. Do you think you can safely get down there and test it out? Emmerich, can't you just cast Reduce Through the Robes on Shine? Her breath weapon doesn't change. That way she could easily fit in there. And could have uh, speed. We, can do we that. talked before this about how enlarged oh, yeah. Yeah, does it not work on dragons, <laughs> sorry, sorry, and Zarathus yeah, yeah, yeah. is an exception. Yeah. I forgot, I forgot. I say that to Shine Neil. Does she think she can do it without risking too much? She can do it. You are aware of the risks. If if Risk. she fucking dies while you're doing while while we do this, it's I, I'll be so mad. So let's just not do it then. Of her, what do we think the risk is of her getting finger of death or something? Or what is the risk? Somehow she gets finger of death, or maybe the rock trap actually ends back here. We just know there's a rock trap. Maybe this whole fucking hallway is trapped rather than just the anti-magic zone in front of it. Okay, well, here, can I... You said we're, we're standing, like, back here right now, right? Where I just pinged? Yeah. Can I go through the hallway and check for traps? I'm a rogue. Um, so you want to move out here and walk down this hallway all the way up to Scoria's lair? No, no, right, just right um, before the anti-magic zone, because isn't that all we're trying to do? Sure, is have sure. her, We're just having her, yeah. have her breathe fire into the anti-magic zone, right? Right. Yeah. Um, I want to reiterate that this is not to scale; that this is about a two hundred foot passageway right here. Oh, that's yeah, important. that's oh. why. Are there soldiers standing <clears throat> at the edge of the anti-magic zone right now? Where are our soldiers that we sent? No, in? you sent them in, and they went about forty feet down, and they're okay. waiting for your instructions. They're going further. Send them another 50 feet. No, there send them 90... right to, send them to right before the anti-magic zone. Yeah, send, send them, them to the edge, yeah. yeah. And then what are they... Give them some orders so they know what to do once they get there. Is stand to the edge, there secure the area. Just stand? just stand there. Yeah, stand there, stand in attention. Secure the area. Okay. One spear, one seventh level knight with eight soldiers behind him head down the hallway. Our heroes watch from afar as they make their way down step after step, coming to rest at the end of what is supposed to be the magic anti-magic zone, where the rocks are carved in different patterns, where large brazers fill the area with light. Okay. Um, we wait a tense moment. Wait, say that again. Where the magic um, braziers fill the area with light, does that light stop at the anti-magic zone? No, the brazers are in light. the anti-magic zone. Oh, and they still continue to fill it with light. Yes. Wait, were they fire. magic or non-magic? I'm sorry. No, they're just normal oh, braziers. Oh, okay. You said, okay, my bad. I just assumed they were magic. Okay. Um, okay. I look to Tyrion and Anton. We have to be able to take command of this area to work here. Yeah, they're standing there. They, I'm assuming they don't see anything. If they saw a bunch of people standing there about to cast spells, they would fucking say something, right? Uh, it's 200 feet away. They, You were told them to hold the area. They're holding the area. If someone was attacking them or casting spells, you would probably see them reacting in some way, shape, or form. But they are just standing. Okay, I'm going to release my Ion Stone level 8, and I'm going to check this whole area for traps. Okay. Okay, you're going to walk down the 200-foot hallway, taking your time to search it for traps. Right. Not a problem. It will take time to secure this area. It's That's 20 fine. by 20 by 200. Okay. How much time is it going to take? Um, probably on the order of hours to secure it no, it's fine. to your liking. Um, Should you really be doing this, or do we not have another high-level rogue that can do this? We um, have a fucking army. Yeah, do we have other rogues that can help, I guess? Absolutely. Let's, let's just cast the breath weapon and, and go back. 
Yeah. Well, hold on. No, the whole reason why we sent soldiers up is because we're worried about a trap being back here and everything, right? Isn't that the whole reason? So we should check it for traps. Isn't that the whole reason we Would did it? this? Blow it down, Would Nick. It? We're checking for traps. There's literally no reason. Yeah. There's no reason didn't, not to. Wait, didn't 10 people just walk through the corridor? Well, yeah, but if it's a trap that's manually triggered, they're not going to trigger some trap for some 10 fucking brokies, right? Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. They'll trigger yep. the trap for the dragon. Well, no, right now we're triggering Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make Go him. and get the high level rogues then. Yeah, we get the high-level rogues, high you don't do rogues. it, my king. <laughs> rogues, this is your we job, it's real. Get Grimes in here. Grimes is off doing other things. Get the other high-level rogues in here. The other rogues come on in, um, and they will search the area for traps while those eight soldiers plus officers stand feet away from the mighty red dragon. And they the four, moving? three of you hang out behind the corner. No, they're, they're not they're moving. Yeah, they're chilling. They're good. I yell to the officer. No, I don't. Chicken. Do we do we see any bursts of light coming from within the chamber, like when no. Scoria sneezes or something? No, actually. Now that you're thinking about it, the braziers clearly end at a point, and then you can see wall and floor beyond um, very well. So the looks like the last chamber, actually. the chamber in which Scoria is, is well lit. Did we make a ruling on light stones going through anti magic stones? Are they rendered useless forever if they touch it? No, they it's just on? while they're no, there. It's a permanent item. Yeah. Well, it's while they're in there. I mm -hmm. seem to remember Neil saying that maybe because they were weak permanent items, they'd get Did he say, destroyed. Never. Save. If, maybe a save. If not, I will throw a, anti a light stone down the... Or just throw it anyway. Don't what do you mean a I'll throw? Things? You're 200 feet away. He's a good thrower. Yeah, I'll, I'll Have throw someone it, else yeah. do it. I can throw 200 feet, can't I? No? Can he? Can he? All right, can we get a light stone in there? Mm hmm Yeah, let's do you can that. hand it to someone. Yeah, um, yeah. A, a soldier will run it down the hallway and uh, toss it into Scoria's lair. Mm-hmm. Good. All right, good. What did we see? The, the lair was already well lit to begin with, like I had said two minutes ago. Oh. The light stone makes tricky, no difference though. one way or the other. So we can't I see anything tricky. down there, though. No, we can see everything. So, no, but there's no monsters. There's nobody down there. Oh, it doesn't you seem to be the case. It's a hallway. We have our, our people at the end. Room. They're not saying anything. Mm -hmm. Seems like they can't see anything. If they could, they'd probably say something. So right now, the yeah. post oh. is uh -huh. clear. Okay. When, when we right. say our people, we said before the anti-magic. So they're not in yeah. Scorpion's yeah. lair. They're, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So there's yeah. not like an army that's standing like right here. There's not an army standing here ready to shoot at us because these people would see it. But there could be people in the room that are set up ready to kill anybody that comes in or something like that. Right, right. there could be people yep. just around the corner. Yep. But there, this this <clears throat> passageway that you can see right here mm -hmm. is um, empty. I uh, walk away from the group and we'll head to the highest ranking military guy I can find in our uh, room back there. Yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, and I'll say- Let's get the ballista from that we used in the previous fight and get them up here. We can set them up at the end of this corridor. Genius, Imrik. Okay. It will take hours to haul the ballistas That's in fine. here. Yep. It's fine. Just get okay. it going. Yeah. Meanwhile, Tyriel is searching the hallway. No. Tyrael's no, other high level warriors are searching the hallway. Are searching the hallway. I have okay. rogues. Mm hmm. Oh, we are going to have. I we I have my cleric bitches in here, okay? Yeah. They're all going to be invisible. How are they invisible? Uh through a spell. One of them is going to be invisible and I just need them chanting the entire time that we're fighting. Okay? Okay, so you have you've had one of your other bitch wizards back in yeah. camp cast invisibility on one of your clerics who will yeah. cast who the Who will chant just follow spell. us and chant. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. That'll be okay. later, not now. Um, as the, the searching soldiers get near to the end, as they're getting real close to these, uh, these soldiers, these warriors over here, um, the... They're turned to stone, aren't they? No, they're not turned to stone. Um, but a large red scaled head will peer around the corner and unleash a jet of flame and incinerate all of them. Wait, hold on. So wait, 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 where? Okay, so the breath weapon works. Goes through the anti-magic zone? We yeah, the it, head yes. comes around the corner and... Okay, all right, well, I sent to shine, and so I guess you're off the hook. Okay, cool. They died for us to have 
remarkable Watch. information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 121 damage to the soldiers, the knight, the rogues. Not our high level rogues. No, the, they specked into a good class. Were there any uh, traps? Not up until the point that they got, but they didn't finish searching the whole 200 foot passageway. Mm -hmm. They missed the last maybe 60, 80 feet. It's hard to tell exactly where they stopped searching. Wait, what is um, the range of the breath weapon? I thought it was like 60 feet or something. It looks to be about like in around 100 feet. Wowzers. Okay. Yeah. And then it's, you know, did Scoria's head, was it all the way outside? Was it in the magic field? Like where exactly was her head? These things are hard to tell from 200 feet away looking through a mirror while your boots are shaking in fear. <laughs> okay. All right, that's what I wanted to know anyway. So we've now got to be careful until the point where we can trigger the trap. That's our next goal. We need to trigger that rock trap. So and we know how to. Yeah. What we just, just get another you just another group wave after wave of people to run in and go trigger it. It's a hard sell though, because if they know that they're about to collapse the entrance no. to their only exit, you don't. You only tell one person. You don't tell the whole group what you're doing. You tell the group that they're going to fight in there. And one person knows the real plan. I don't understand why this is a person. thing. There, we there are men that are on the front lines fighting. Like that's like almost certain death. I, I think it's there's a difference combat. between we had this last week. There's a difference between being on the front line and like having a fighting chance, and you're certainly going to die if you do this. Listen, the yes. Soviet Union fucking sucked, and they were able to find people to walk into that fucking Chernobyl reactor and clean shit up. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'm not but saying there's they like... didn't send people in suicidally, except for a couple of groups of divers. They made sure to make sure everyone only was in and had a limited exposure to radiation. We could talk about World War One and the Battle of Verdun, uh, where the French sent countless waves of soldiers until the soldiers protested and stopped fighting because it was suicide and they rebelled against their officers. We could talk about Stalingrad and how the Soviets had guns to the backs of heads of soldiers so if they turned around and went the other way, they would be shot. Yeah, these you are all great strategies people. to get our people to fight. You just said they did force Brilliant. them, so apparently, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that you can force people into these situations, but you will make a name and a reputation for yourself, and it's still not necessarily easy. It's one thing to run in mercilessly, uh, you know, defending as your enemy advances and you're trying to protect your homeland. It's another thing to suicidally throw yourself in some place for what might not look yeah, like Yeah, listen, a good the cause. Soviets won in the end, the French won in the end. I mean, the Vietnamese kind of resisted the, the United to States. The madness. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, um, I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you can and... get soldiers to suicide, but we're going to have to talk about it because mm -hmm. it, it'll affect your reputation well, we can't and how the world views you. <laughs> you can. If you want to have fun with it, that's great. Absolutely have fun with it. But you will be the sort of people who have fun with it. Neil can't cancel a campaign in the last episode, guys. <laughs> that is true. He can't cancel us <laughs> in the last episode. I would actually like to select for soldiers on this mission, but only ones exhibiting certain racial features, okay? Stop, please, God. <laughs> let's continue let's, playing. Let's Jesus not sully Christ. this. Okay, how are we gonna trigger the trap then? Um, this is step one, fuck. Can't we do this in, um, can we do this in conjunction with our tunneling or no? I don't even know about the tunneling anymore because if we're gonna start tunneling this far back, it's gonna take weeks. Does it, is there I think we just need. We I think we need to the trigger trap. the trap. We need to trigger the trap so we can destroy the anti-magic zone, and then we can just tunnel through the rocks, and that can be our entrance. We can trigger the trap literally simply by sending in two waves of people. The first wave are going into fight and scout. Well, whatever the first wave that gets sent in is going to get disintegrated by Scoria. <laughs> yes, and the second wave needs to be immediately after because Scoria's breath weapon has a recharge time mechanically. Your fucking go trigger is when the other lot gets turned to dust. <laughs> yes. That and? we keep them separate and it's really this is really fucked up, yes, but it is literally what we need to do. We need this to happen. We need one group to go die, and we need the other group to go in immediately after and pull the trap. This is how they can serve king and country. And you have no critters you can summon or the zombie shit, the raise undead, there's no the aerial we servant. Can do the, we can do the raise undead and said wave after wave of dead person, but that is also gonna reflect poorly on us in a different way. Anton is cool to do that. We're, we've all become monsters. Imric literally 
Tyrion's giving up his firstborn. Anton is gonna become a monster, or already was. Yeah, can we have um? Can we have Wagner? Um, why did I? I just read that in chat. I'm so sorry. Um, can we have um? Anton. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you just hijacked no, my brain doing? so much. <laughs> um. Oh no! Can we have any other way to um trigger the traps? Or, yeah, you said you said it would reflect poorly on us to do the raise undead thing. Why? Correct. Um, it's evil. It's evil. It, it literally in the spell it says no good cleric would do this. <laughs> Based. Can you use Aerial no Servant to pull a lever? Does Aerial Servant have to be a have to be a creature? Says, Could you be yeah. like? But I don't think it's going to get through the anti magic zone. Oh, Summon yeah. creatures are kept back from the anti magic zone. And this is a summoned creature. Well, we don't know how the antimagic zone works because the breath weapon shouldn't work in it. That's number one. We don't, and I don't know if the... Wait, do we know that? <clears throat> antimagic shell, the sixth level spell, says that summoned creatures won't pass and the breath weapons won't work, so... We can try the yeah. next day when I have a sixth level spell slot, or I could nap myself. We either send people suicide, we try and do something weird with a spell, or... I dig like this, right? I get Shine's Ring of X-Ray Vision, and I dig something like that. Fuck it, let's and, just start digging. We got. We I'm got time. trying to get to the, get to the place where I can, maybe see the trap through the wall with the X-Ray glasses. Even then, people literally came here to fight for us. We don't know if the digging thing is a for sure thing. Wait, why would we not be able to dig given time? Because we don't have time. Our supply lines are dwindling. Absolutely not. Who the, where did that they come are. from? Koibu said it. Did Koibu say just, that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He did, he did, he did. But also, he just did. hanging around in this area with Scoria right there is dangerous. Wait, how are our supply lines dwindling? It's 20,000 people in a foreign country. Yeah, but there's like You have no... to bring in food for everyone. Um, you can only live off the land in this forest for a short period of time, and there's not much other food to be found over here. So you can supply people, but you can't... This army couldn't camp out here for, months. Like a year. True. Okay, that's zone. fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. And I think we, we've we been here for a couple of weeks already. Okay. Can we find yes. um, dwarves or anybody as part of our kingdom that can help us, like, start excavating or digging? There should be a way to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have sappers. You have digging teams. Part of that 20,000 army is, is non-combatants who do labor. <clears throat> so here's my thought, right? We speak to the dwarves that knew about the trap being made, and I'm assuming, right, that if if the trap's gonna fall like here where this red X is, and there's a chain, maybe the chain is in this wall, and if we can dig into the wall with the X-ray glasses, we might be able to find the chain in the wall and cut the chain without ever going into the room. That sounds highly sus. Because the chain's unlikely to just be float like in the air of the room. It must be built into the wall. But I think we can probably ask the dwarves about that, Neil. Yeah. Um, the dwarves that you have don't know these details, right? They said that their their fellow dwarves who knew are all they dead no now. Idea. They're all dead. Yeah, but if, uh, you know, they were building it, where would they put the, where would the chain be? Because it's a winch with a chain holding up the rocks. So if the chain is in the wall, can we dig well, and find the chain? If the they will tell you that if the rocks are outside of the passageway, if they're in the chamber, then there's no reason that the chain would do anything other than maybe be like linked along the side of the wall. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't need to go inside the wall at all. It could just be linked outside you know, using some rollers to support it. As can I? Um, the, we can get a ballista at the end of this corridor, by the way. And if Scoria comes, it shoots her in the fucking head. Yeah, let's definitely, we want to get that set up. If the chain is against the wall, then people don't need to make it all the way to the lever. They can just get round and smash the chain. Well, the ballista at most is just going to break a stone, it's going to charge a three or something, right? We yeah. can have archers, but yeah, then we get into the... We, let's focus. We need to break the trap. Yeah, true. Okay. We need, to put, we need to cut the chain. If the chain's on the wall inside the room there, like where Neil's just drawn it, then we only need someone to come around that corner with the ability to cut that chain. Could Tyrael run through, cut the chain with iPhone, and then dive back before the rocks fall? No. I don't Probably. think I can run into that room of final boss we're death not, and run we're back. We're not sending any of us in to go do this. We will literally just send 20 people in before we do anything. Yeah. So if we want to start digging, we can. 
But if you want to go and suicide in there, you can too, but... Fine, then pick 20 people and get it done. Like, we, let's get this lever pulled. We need hey. this trap triggered. We get 20 people. They're in two groups, Koibu. 10 and 10. What level Give fighters them... are you sending into their deaths? Fifth level, and then that's those are the leaders. Those are the officers. Okay? 20 the other... fifth levels or fi no, like no, no, five no, no, fifth no. levels? Two fifth levels. Okay. And then the other, you know, 18 are going to be zeroth level soldiers. All right, so who wants to tell these people what their job is? What What is the, the dramatic message you give to them, sending them to their certain death? Who is ready to deliver Anton such do a speech? It. I'll do it. All right, Anton, you find some soldiers. I have him there. I have a general next to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Imrick McGarry and King Tyrrell McGarry have given me an order to find 20 good men uh, to do a mission for us. We need you to go inside Scoria's den and to pull a lever. Once the lever is pulled, we need you to evacuate as quickly as possible and run out. Um, your first group, let me have a call. let me have a word with you and tell you what you need to do. Second group, I'll be right with you. I explained to the first group, to the whole group, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna defend, and um, this man, I pull him to the side, is gonna pull the lever. Okay. The rest Where's the you, lever? Uh, I ha I'll have a battle map drawn. Mm -hmm. We've done scrying and everything, yep. so I think we're gonna have like a full map. You run in, right sure. to the left, you should yeah. see a winch. You're gonna pull it. Um, everyone's job is to pull the lever. What, what else is in there? There's gonna be a lot. Tell him. Tell him, Anton. There's gonna be a lot. That's or... why it's gonna be a, um, a quick mission, a quick fight. We gave this man right here uh, boots of speed <laughs> to run as quickly as possible. And um, the goal is to pull the lever. You're the first group to go in. The second group will be behind you momentarily after. Who do you give boots of speed to? Just one of the... Uh, the I give them regular boots, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're boots of speed okay. in his mind. Well, it, it right. might actually boost their speed. Do you remember the... It could, yes. Do you, remember, do you remember the secret sauce from Space Jam that made them all better yes. basketball yeah. players? Yeah. But it was just water. And it was just yes, water. Sir. It's just water. That's it. These are boots of speed. Um, so th this chamber that we're going into that you've drawn, they pull, point out the map. <clears throat> yeah. There's a bunch of monsters in here. Scoria's minions. Yes. Right. And, and, and the, the lever's over here. And we just have to run in and down this, what, 100-something foot hall, uh, wall. Yes. Pull a lever and then run back out. Correct. We're sending in two groups, so you'll be the first group going in. The second group will be behind you momentarily after. And if any of you were to happen to die, Anton thinks to himself, now I don't think, maybe one, maybe one, but whoever dies, um, your family will be <clears throat> very well taken care of by my own personal coin purse. And after our raid on Zarathus, <clears throat> Uh, I have I walk, millions I walk of into... gold to spare. Okay. Yeah. The, I, wa the I walk, in, I walk into the room. Wait, I walk into the room. Anton, can I have a word? Uh, Imric, I'm well. conversing with um, the troops. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. It's important. Just be, take two seconds. Hold on, everyone. Let me go speak Stop. with uh, Arch Everybody. Wizard Imric McGarry. <clears throat> I, I whisper and say, okay, two yeah. things. Number one, when the first group gets sent to Ash, the second group might refuse to go in. And secondly... If these are all shitters, they're gonna run the first sight of Scoria they get. We're gonna need more experienced men if we don't expect them to turn tail the second they see her. Three groups, got it. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is the first group. Second group I dismiss, okay. I go get a new group. The new group, fifth level fighters with, with one seventh level fighter. Uh, how many is it, 10 people again? Uh, one seventh level and then nine fifth level. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I you tell this new up, group. I go up to the seventh level knight. Mm -hmm. um, I look him up and down. I sort of like check his armor for scratches, check his, the straps on his armor and tie it and say, you keep yourself a uh, well-maintained soldier. I like that. Um, excuse me for a second, and I will just reach and pluck a hair from his head. Insurance, and I give him a wink and walk off. Okay. okay. Um, 
you all are uh, more experienced veterans and um, I don't know. Anton pauses, waits, low charisma. You know what you are. <clears throat> You're higher ranked, etc. I'm going to need you guys to go in after the first group. This is secret information I'm about to tell you, and I need you all to make an oath to the gods that you will not um, inform anyone else. They nod and lean in close, listening. Uh, make your oaths, I say, and I wait for each, I go each individual one and make them swear an oath to the gods that they won't uh, give this information to anyone else but me and the general there. Each one swears an oath to a stare, god of law and oaths and bindings, um, that they will not reveal any information that you are about to relay to them. Or is dangerous. <clears throat> We're sending in two groups, <laughs> um, and you'll be the second group. The first group is going into the room, and they're going to attempt to pull the lever. However, they are all probably going to get turned to ash by Scoria, which is why immediately after they are turned to ash is when you guys will go in. I have fought eight dragons at this point. Dragons have a time between their breath weapons, and this is your time. We need you to go in there, pull the lever, and come back out. Any questions? I have the battle map out, and I show them. Mm -hmm. The first one, uh, the seventh level fighter, says the first group goes in, takes the breath weapon blast. The rest of us run in, trigger this this lever of some kind, right. and then get the hell out. The lever should start to make lava pour down from, I'll point to like this side of the room. Anton is just fucking lying. Um, mm -hmm. We need that lever triggered and the lava to start flowing in order for our next plan of attack against Scoria to happen. This is a Understood. crucial mission, and it, it it is imperative that over everything that the lever is pulled. Okay. Their oaths are sworn. They're ready to go. They'll come all the way in to the, the to right, right where this corner is, dragging their armor behind them or carrying it on their backs. And just before everyone's to be sent in, they will don their armor, which they could wear in here for a short while before they begin to overheat. Um, a short while. What did Long we enough that they could run a hallway and back. Emmerich, what did we need a third group for? Because he thinks one of the groups is going to get scared and run, right? You're muted right now. You're muted. Step out of the zone of silence, brother. If you're above a certain level, then Dragon Fear just gives you penalty to combat. But if you're below a certain level, it causes you to run. Got it. So that's what I'm saying. The first group is just going to turn and run. They're probably not going to get breath weapons. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. If they fail, that well, we have to roll for each person. Maybe only half of them will run. <laughs> I mean, they'll need twenties to pass because that levels level one, level oh, zero. Never mind. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna get another group of what? What level do I need then, Nick? I'll check. I think it's level two or above. Neil, do you know? Creatures with fewer than one hit die, as well as all non-carnivorous, non-aggressive creatures with fewer hit dice than the dragon, automatically flee in panic for forty-six rounds. Oh, so they Trained... need to be level one. Trained war mounts, organized military units, and single creatures with one hit die or more, but fewer hit die than the dragon, are knocked panicked, but they may be stricken with fear if they are in the dragon's fear aura. So these are organized military units. Yeah, they okay. won't necessarily automatically okay. run. Sweet. Good. All right. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to get... <laughs> Who's our fastest person? <clears throat> I want our fastest man. You find your fastest man. Okay. Their name is Lance. Lance. It's quite the quite the thing to get a visit from Anton McGarry. Hmm. I assume that you're quite uh, pleased. <laughs> I have a special mission for you. Um, but I need you to swear an oath to the gods that you're not going to tell anyone about it. <laughs> they swear an oath to the gods. I need you to run in after the second group. I give them the information. And I need you to pull the lever. The other two groups are there to protect you. You're our man. 
and we need you to go in and pull the lever. I will... Do you have a kid? Do you have a son? Are you a noble? I do. I, I have five sons and four daughters. <laughs> okay, Are you a nobleman? Quiet, no, sir. I will make sure that your family is brought up to noble status in uh, Mysteria if you pull this lever for me. You will die, probably. But your family will gain much. If that's what it takes to keep our people free, uh, I'm on board. It is. Thank you, Lance. Wait. How long does it take to ride somebody up from um, the capital? Like a few people on couple horseback. Weeks. Oh, a couple weeks. Maybe a week and a half. Depends on their I could, horse I could, I could teleport or, someone here. What do you need? Death note idea. Um, can't we just get men sentenced to die to do this mission instead? And anybody <laughs> that makes it back alive is given their freedom? I mean, in theory, but it's, it's kind of happening now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, fuck. If it's if you're yeah. already going to do this, no, you do this. But like idea. that that seems like because you've got men that are either locked away for you know or over ten years, you're given the opportunity to do this, and then they get their freedom afterwards, right? That's yeah, fucking no. genius. But it is going to be hard for us to move that many people up there. Okay, never mind. Then fuck it. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. Then. So you've got the first wave, some low level people and a, a fifth level fighter to lead them. Then and you've got the real wave of one yeah. seventh level fighter and a bunch of fifth level fighters. Then you've got Lance, the fastest man in the army. And with the boots of speed. <laughs> yeah, with the boots of speed, surely. <laughs> <laughs> Anton goes home. He sheds one singular tear for those lives that are going to be fucking destroyed. But he realizes that it's for the good of the nation and what's, it, ha it is what has to be done. I mean, we've we already made a harder decision than this um, when yeah. we decided to pull all of our armies back to the capital while we created those Scrolls of Fire protection. Yeah. Right? Pretty true. sure hundreds yeah. or this thousands of people This one was just more killed. personal. Yeah, sure, I know. Yeah, true. Because I got to meet him, you know? Okay. <clears throat> this will happen today, Koibu. Let's do it. The first group I comes in. Cast... Hold on. No, oh, I hate. I'll haste them all out before yeah. before it's go time. You'll haste yeah. the second group, and oh, I can haste. Oh no, haste them can... all. Fuck it. Yeah. I can haste fifteen creatures. So. No, I'll just do. I'll just do Lance in the second group. Okay. You're not concerned that the anti magic field will just kill oh, yeah. their haste immediately? Obviously. Okay. I don't haste them. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Wait. Haste them anyways. What the fuck does it matter? Fine. No, there's no point. It's pointless. But we don't know that it's an anti-magic field. We're not 100%. Okay. I cast haste on them. Thank you. Okay. The first group. They run down the hallway. Fast as lightning. They hit the anti-magic area. Immediately, they begin to slow down to normal speed. There's a little bit of stuttering as their, their forward momentum all of a sudden fumbles them a bit. They come round the corner, and that's when you begin to hear the shouts and the cries and the din. Second group. Uh, the second group begins to run down the hallway. They come round the corner. Lance starts running with them. Fewer shouts this time. But as the second group comes round the corner, there is a breath weapon that goes off. On the second group? Not right away. Actually, not the we first We got time. Lance. Hold on. First That's very well timed. comes round. Second group comes round. And I'm going to need to make some dice rolls here because this fifth and seventh level fighters are beefy and the defenders will... Anton and Imric are stood at the end of the corridor watching this happen and I pull the hair that I took from the seventh level knight and I hand it to Anton and I say, to speak with dead. Smart. <laughs> I, yeah, smart. I think I actually have that spell on my character sheet. Um... Oh my god, I did, because I said, LOL, this is going to be for Scoria. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Those are terrible rolls. What is that for, Neil? Jesus. I, I can't Probably. I can't tell Golem? You. I don't know. That's my guess. Yeah. Pull the lever. Come on. Pull the lever. <laughs> Lance is going in. He's got it. Everybody! Just you. Surely they made it. Just 
Wow, okay. Um. Oh, 1d20 plus 13. Is he rolling for the golems to hit the people as they run by? That was yeah. my guess, yeah. Oh, a full person really running 200 plus 100. Nothing can stop Lance. Yeah, he's on he's the no, fastest they man we have. have. To <laughs> 1d10 plus 12 for what? the dragon. 1d10 plus 3 for the warrior. Wow, you're rolling. I don't know what the 10 is, but... It's initiative. It's initiative, um, yeah. Six for the ogre. One d ten plus three for the. Yeah, we should have taught Lance the soy dive. <laughs> He's very wet. We should have um, what? Yeah, Lance comes in on the third <laughs> round of combat. He gets right up to the you know the anti magic field. He slows down. He begins to barrel round the corner as a large pile of rocks tumble, catching Lance in the pile. <laughs> Lance um, almost made it out. Oh, they fucking did it. No, Lance almost made it in. It is the seventh level knight that manages to who pull got the to the lever and pulled it. Fucking great. Lance no, would I mean, in there, though. Lance almost survived, though, if the rocks had come down five seconds earlier, you know? Mm-hmm. The rocks fall. People die. They did their fucking mm -hmm. job, Emmerich. Good men and uh, women to the last. True. <laughs> And so what was will... the knight's name? Uh, he repeats his the, name. the knight's name. Barris. That was his name. Barris. A good man. We should uh, inform his family once this is all over. Oh, he died. I agree. Hero's going to have some new nobility True. in uh, Mystria. Well, you never promised him. You only promised Lance, and he didn't make Correct. it, so... Well, I told Lance if he died that I'd up it up him. You told Lance you pulled the lever. Oh, that, that, that is true. I did tell him if he pulled the lever. He didn't pull the lever. Lance never made it to the lever. He didn't pull the lever. The ironic thing is, if Lance wasn't as fast, he would have survived. Yeah. It was, his speed was his curse. His speed was his... Well, it's fucking stupid, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll cast, I will go out and I'll cast Speak With Dead on the hair of the night. Uh, you will. I want to know what happened in there. I think there's a role for him to resist if he wants to. Uh, speak with dead. It's a third level spell, I think. That is, right? yeah. Time pool his death. Shut the fuck up. I don't have time pool. Loser. Speak with dead. Okay, caster's level of experience. Uh, you are what 13. level? All right. You can get up to five questions. All right. He's able to ask several questions of a dead creature in a set period of time. Up to 30 minutes you have to ask questions. Oh, okay, we're good. <clears throat> um, what monsters were in the room? What creatures? They're all uh, monsters. Golems. Mephits. Ogre. Dragon. Dwarf. Okay. Okay. What part of the room was Scorian. Ceiling. Oh, okay. she's probably like one of those Good little talk bull thing, bullshit yeah. things like before, yeah. Um, with the wizard, probably invisible. What else do we got? Not permanently, but he didn't name a wizard off when he saw oh. the monsters in there. Okay. Ask guess. them. Did he see people in the cages? Were there people in the cages? <clears throat> I didn't see. Makes sense. Was anyone shooting arrows? Were arrows fight? Were arrows volleyed at your group? No. And I have one more question? Yes. One more question. Was it worth it? <laughs> I ask him.
I died afraid. Yeah. Well. So okay. Yes. <clears throat> we need to start working on this anti magic zone. Remember, yeah, Scoria the... might still be able to come from the passageway to the north. All of the rocks are blocking off that entire zone, Koibo asked. The rocks are all right here. They're on the outside of the anti-magic zone. And it's like from bottom to top. Yeah, you. it's it's essentially, you can't see anything beyond. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. How thick do we think that is? How would, there's no way to know. No way to know. Okay. We, yeah. Yeah, it's just a wall of rock. It could be an inch thick. It could be. Lance is like completely feet. buried though. He's somewhere right. in there. Yeah. Okay. We need to get a relatively high level wizard and some of the dwarves to go and look at the anti-magic zone and start trying to work out how to disable it. Sure. We'll send Let's in a him. relatively high level wizard and dwarves with big yeah. yeah. The general, General Mameo that you had talked, had been standing by while you informed these people of their jobs. Will uh, put a shoulder, a hand on your shoulder, and look in your eyes, Anton, and say, <clears throat> "It's a hard thing to send people to die. How are you doing with that?" Had to be done to save many more lives. It just sucked that it was personal this time, and I had to do it uh, <clears throat> one on one. We already made this decision before when we decided to sit inside Wicktheron Rorenta as towns and families, cities burned. He nods a few more times. It's, um, it's a tough thing, but you, I know you're here to help us. Well, if you find yourself having trouble sleeping, come by my tent. Jeez, pretty forward. You meta. <laughs> Anton takes it weirdly. He gives him like a eyebrow raise. <laughs> Your gives you a couple pet? of quick nods and, and leaves <laughs> okay. you be. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, um, yeah. some, some people to dig through this pile and some mages to inspect the anti-magic aura? No, no, not to dig through the pile. To try and... So, it's dwarves to, like, chip away at the runes and a wizard to mm. instruct mm -hmm. them on where to dig. Before mm -hmm. we start chipping away at the ruins, um, can we get more rogues up here, or through magical means to inspect traps yep. to make sure that mm -hmm. some of the? Because I'm sure some of the ruins might be trapped to explode or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a simple thing to scout out that rest of that 200 foot hallway. There are no traps to be found anywhere in there, and then you wanted people to detect traps along the ruins in case they are trapped themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're in an anti magic field, so it'd have to be a physical trap. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah, no one finds any traps. It seems to be just anti-magic. Okay. Then cool. we begin to carve out the ruins, basically, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, people go with picks and hammers and begin chipping at the stone on the floor and the ceiling, breaking up the words of power. And we should take our first break. We will right. be right back.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tombs of Scoria. So, our dwarves go forth with a wizard in tow to break apart the stones that hold the anti-magic in place. Yes. Anton thinks As, himself, isn't it a bit fucked up that we're getting dwarves to do this? Why? No. Then he thinks, this is just what dwarves do. True. It's the point of them. Well, I will watch around the corner, nail art at, at the end of the corridor. Yes, it's a good thing Next you watch the from the end of the corridor, because as the first hammers begin to hit into the stone and pry apart the runes, a section of this rock um, is moved, and a breath of flame will come and fill the corridor, roasting mm -hmm. dwarves and wizard alike. Um, and you can see that on the backside, someone has been carving or moving or pulling rocks away, revealing a narrow gap through which light spills, or at least can be seen. <clears throat> Do I ballistic get a shot? True. Mm -hmm. um, well, once the... Probably not, because I think that the there's like a rock move and then there's fire and everyone's like, oh my god. And then someone's like, take a shot. And then by then that the head is moved, but they can be ready next time. They have to be ready next time. Okay, can Shine just not go up here and start like um, casting her gas breath weapon to just fill this area for a bit? Yeah. And then if Scoria does come in, she gets a gas weapon. Seems sensible to me. It's not Seems like Shine can be hurt by Shine can't be hurt by Scoria's breath weapon, so I mean she could get finger of death presumably, but, but she's in an anti magic zone right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She will have to be. Um, uh, the range of her breath weapon is copper gold. Here we go. 50 foot long, 40 feet wide, 30 feet high. Um, so you want her to cast it like she wants to be here and spill it into this zone. Right, yeah. you're not gonna bring Shine all the way up to the hole no. and have her. No. Okay. We just so want her just... to cast it on this. So if Scoria does do that, she's gonna take breath weapon damage, and hopefully that'll give us time to disable this anti magic. Shield. Yeah. The in uh, this very narrow passageway right here, um, the gas might persist for a little while, but you know it w when it spills into the larger room, it'll dissipate fairly quickly. Gas breath weapons usually only last <clears> around, <throat> but in the the tight corridor. This will last a little bit longer. I wonder, uh, as an alternative, uh, Dragonfire can melt stone, right? Can she destroy the anti-magic zone herself by just breathing fire on it? It would have already been destroyed by Scoria then, though. No? Maybe well, it was Scoria, focused on Scoria it. breathed it into the mm -hmm. corridor That's rather than like directly on the stones. Yeah, we'll we... have her try that then. Yeah. It'll be a tight squeeze for her in this hallway. She won't. Yeah. She will be in dragon form to use her breath weapon, and she won't have a lot of mobility. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. I, I think that that is fine if she's at the back of the hallway, breath weaponing up. Yes, let's try it. We'll still be nearby. The range of her cone is ninety feet. Okay, so that's half the hallway. Um, yeah, and so she will squeeze in, turn around, and start heading down to the point where she feels her breath weapon could reach the end, and she'll start off with a single gout directed towards the floor. Um, and then she will worm her way back out and tell you that she can't see the... F She'll need a, an observer to go see how much damage has been caused. Can we get a, a pleb yep. to hide underneath her, run forward and see what's happened and run back? <clears throat> sure. Yeah. If we get Lance's friend. Surely, I mean, that the with Shine, they'll be brave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Shine will find that at maximum range, it doesn't seem to be doing much damage to the stone. It's melting a little bit, but she needs to be closer. She needs to really, you know, bake those stones in the full force of her breath weapon. She's going to have to get probably within 50 feet of the edge before she can start doing serious melting damage. I, personally, I think it's a, a safe risk to take. I mean, she's got the anti-magic zone protecting her, so Finger of Death shouldn't be able to hurt her. She can't get hurt by Scoria's breath weapon. No monster running through that gap and is we, gonna. We had her. people check, and it wasn't trapped in here. No trap. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Then I think it. Then I think it is fine. Material. Yeah. Should be okay. okay. 
As long as we've got people ready to shoot through. Well, she can't get hurt by the breath weapon, by Scory's breath weapon, right? Yes. No, nope. she can't get hurt by the breath weapon, yeah. Um, the only worry would be somebody breaking the rock and then peeking through to do a one hit kill spell. Are we worried about that? The anti magic zone should stop any spells. Okay. Yes. Up until she breaks it. Yeah, and then she. Yeah, could. up until, up yeah, until she they, breaks it, yeah. They shouldn't know when it immediately breaks, yeah. but yes. And she has her own stone skin I'll give her the, so. Actually, I'll give her the um, the iron stone. It shouldn't, nothing should proc it, so I'll give her the iron stone level 8. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, that that's not going to fuck it up in an anti-magic zone, right? Is she stepping into it? I thought she's breathing fire. Yeah, she's just breathing. She's not in the zone herself. Okay. So. Yeah. That, then that seems perfect. She has the anti she has the iron stone, the level 8 above her. Okay. That's it. What, what can possibly hurt her? Yeah. <laughs> True. All right. I'm assuming that if I'm at the end of the corridor, I can get no shots or any threats because Shine is in the way. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm still at the end of the corridor anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm just checking the spells. <sighs> yeah, scary looking spell. <laughs> That's the Kwebu special, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah. It's the Joker card. You're dead. Powered Wilting. <clears throat> yeah, so Shine can begin the melting of the stone in this chamber. Um Blasting Where's away Scoria? at the rocks. I check on she's, the She's just in the next chamber over. She's so close. She's like 250 feet from you. Okay. Um, shine melts the rock, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, and slowly begins to make her way through the anti-magic zone, melting rock bit by bit. It will take a while for her to destroy it to her satisfaction. Mm -hmm. um, the passageway seems to be 40 feet of anti-magic zone by rough estimates. How wide is it? 20 feet wide, 20 feet tall. Okay. Um, okay. The first 20 feet are is that area where there's a chamber above or a hallway that leads up, presumably to connect with the other path. Yeah. Um, the next 20 feet are solid stone ceilings. Can we like roll a, um, a light stone at the end of it? Um... Like darkness stone might be better. Yeah, darkness stone because we can't tell for the light stone. Yeah, just to see when it turns on or goes off or whatever to tell to yeah. test. Mhm. Mm yeah, we so feel you like can, the, um, yeah. We can yeah, give it to the a, dude, the observer. Someone will get a stone on a string and toss it out into an area and then pull it back in between breath weapons to see how it's going. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. um, a light stone would be nice, probably. Um, I think the brazers are very quickly melted and destroyed, and their fuel will ignite uh, okay. quickly and burn out fast. And so the so whole no hallway, lights. save what comes in through the um, the passage, will will be darkened. Okay, so we use a light stone. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the first twenty feet is destroyed without much problem. Okay. Next shine will have to be 50 feet back from this, which puts her right about there. Uh, Are you using an actual map? Because we should be able to see the corridor on the map. It's just that the, it's the whole map, and I don't want to show you the whole map. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, actually, maybe if the light... Yeah, I thought you could hide it, but... But the, the 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 hiding thing on roll twenty can be a bit funny, so I just want to see you shine die on my screen, not that off. Okay, so if I bring you to here, and then you should be able to see this hallway. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And you probably can't see anything beyond the hallway, right? It sort of ends at the uh, little we see rocks. The rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Shine has to be about here in order to breathe on uh, this next section. Okay, 
what is the enemy's response? Do they know? They know. They know something's going on, don't they? Well, they can see into the that area. There's a small gap now that Sha- that Scoria has breathed fire through. Hmm. Sure, but the Shine knows that there's that gap, right? Can she? Mm-hmm. And we also we do we still have archers and stuff pointed at it or no? Because we Shine's did. too well, big. Oh, Shine is too big. Yeah, no one will fit. Okay. Also, we're, we're, our tokens are just here. Our characters are not here, right? Yeah, correct. True. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> do they have any response to this? They can Vegas. feel their chances of survival slipping away from their fingers. Yeah, it uh, wouldn't hurt if Shine throws a gas weapon through the gap every now and again just to remind them. Mm hmm. 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 We've done it. We've outsmarted them. I mean, it sounds like they're just genuinely confused, so they lose their round after. That's true. Ooh, they, they are losing their... many, many <laughs> rounds as Shine melts stone after stone. I don't think any of these Hello. will help them. Um, yes, and so the next section of stone two begins to melt, and the anti-magic field here is broken and disrupted. Great. It only takes about half the area to be damaged yeah. before it is um, ruined. Okay. Um, next thing we need to try and work out um, can we now say that we're back in the previous room with Shine? Yeah, you're back in the previous hallway. This is I, uh, still the same day that you had done aerial servant yeah, aerial gathering. Yes. Yeah. So we're not fully ready for total no. combat. No. I say to Shine, good job destroying the stones. Well done. Um, one more thing. The rocks blocking the passageway. I'd like to know how thick they are. Work out if I can get through them with a single disintegrate spell. You have... A ring of x-ray vision if i recall should be able to mm-hmm. see through stone up to 10 feet maybe you or perhaps you could lend the ring to someone else she tells you now it's already on her fingers she can only see um she can see that the rocks are more than 10 feet thick okay so i need to cast a couple of disintegrates to clear the first 10 feet that way the final disintegrate can cut through do you know what I mean? I need to keep going. I need to do one set of disintegrates and then check again. Is it less than 10 feet? If it's less than 10 feet, I just leave it till go time. If it's more than 10 feet, then I need another disintegrate. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I want to try I and do that. I don't think that you want to go up there. <laughs> what's the range well, of disintegrate? Oh, yeah, what's the, the range? range is... It's not super long, but it is... Oh, it's like... Uh, 75 yards. So Oof, that's plenty. Well, that's quite okay, large. Never mind. Yeah, I can do it from the end of the corridor. Okay. So I think I will tear down do that the first now. set of rocks. You have a disintegrate spell today? Yeah. One today. Um, okay. Now can Shine check again? Is it now less than 10 feet? I don't know if we will. Uh, it should be fine. She was there and then they didn't do anything, so it should be fine. Yeah. Um, well, the you disintegrate the first 10 by 10 section, right? Because you yeah. can only do a 10 by 10. And then yeah. more rocks that are stacked on above will fall back down in place. Because okay. it's a pile of rocks. So you disintegrate yeah, yeah, a bunch. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, we're going to have to do more of this tomorrow then. Best. Unless you want to nap the me. chamber for the Anton. night? Unless what? I want to nap you. Nap- yeah. I can nap you, but then you can't be napped tomorrow. Okay. Well, no. Save it then. We'll just go. Wait for tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Me... Now we're leaving. Okay, yeah. never mind. We're good. We expect that it is possible that when we come back in the morning, this um, trap will be reset, right? No, I don't think so. How are they going to get rocks up there? Because they got a fucking dragon and who knows how much magic? Like, Personally, I don't think it I think the rocks I, might be I, I think this okay. was a one-time trap. Okay. I don't yeah. think that they can reset it because, uh, I don't know, they don't okay. have the dwarves. Listen, you say so. You might be right. 
just to disintegrate the corner of the hallway would also work. Um, all right, Shine I would asks like to... if she should stay in the fifty foot area with some soldiers to make sure that you don't have to fight your way back here again. Hmm. Well, I mean, what happens? Risk... To score it. You stay with Tyrael. I think Tyrael if Shine is stay. here, we should. I think if Shine's here, we should all be here. Sure. I think we should just sleep in this. I light think we next can room. sleep here. We're sleeping Let in this Shine hallway. Stay not in no, the in the, hallway, cha in the chamber, chamber before. before. Mm. Back and around the corner where it's nice and we, wide. Yeah, the only we thing I'm worried that... about is there any weird way for fucking Scoria to creep through and, like, kill us? Probably. Well, we don't think so, right? Because we think that the corridor that connects to the back passage is above the anti-magic zone. So we'd be seeing her doing it. She'd have to come out of the room to get to it. Ryan, can you x-ray around this entire room and tell us if there's any, in like, trap doors or, like, any way in? She Can sees nothing hour? within 10 feet of the walls anywhere. Should be fine. <clears throat> um, before we go, Shine, or before I go to sleep, I have a spell that I want to test if it's going to work against Scoria. Do you mind if I cast it against you? It won't hurt. Uh, can you, can't you just tell me what it is? Big Beast Forceful Hunt. Sure. Um, I want to. I'm trying to work out is this going to stop you using your breath weapon? Is it going to interrupt your spell casting? Is it going to impair you in a fight? I just scoot her um, with so it I... and then ask her if it feels like it would interrupt her shit. Yeah, I go to the back of the room and I cast Big B's Forceful Hand on Shine. It's a 21 foot hand that will try and maintain between her and me and push against her. Um, That's the spell she description. She is not really blocked by this. She weighs well more than 2,000 pounds. So um, she's not forcefully stopped and she can still cast her spells. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, I might take it off her and say thanks. All right, well, we'll do more disintegrates tomorrow. Keep guard. Uh, make sure Scoria doesn't sneak out. Use your gas weapon if you have to. We're going to sleep and we'll catch up in the morning. The party will retreat. Shine will stay with some soldiers. Um, and it's really just that lava pit where there are some magma men. No, no, I think we just sleep. We'll sleep in the chamber. Oh, everyone sleeps in the 50-foot wide hallway with Shine. No, no, in the chamber before. That's the 50... That's not a chamber. It's just Oh, right. A okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sleep yeah. in there. Yeah. We're not worried about anything killing Shine while we're Hold sleeping. Hold on. I don't want to just say that we sleep in there. Well, Let me I'm, think about I'm, it for I'm, a fucking second. Okay. That, that's fine. Think about it. I'm more worried about Shine getting killed if we're not there than if we are there, personally. And what's the problem with just us all leaving and marching back tomorrow? Yeah. What's the... Yeah, why does Shine do. need to stay? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Party. We, everyone we heads back out. We leave some um, troops here, obviously, but not Shine. N nobody important. Super important. Mm -hmm. We'll march back tomorrow with our entire fucking force that we're going to use for this ending. Okay. Okay, you head back out. We leave you the ballista rest people. The, the ballista people, some other and soldiers archers. stay. Yes. Archers will stay. Um, cool. Where And where are you stationing them? Certainly not in the, the hallway leading directly to Scoria, but round the no. corner? Round the corner, yeah. there's going to be, like, th if we can, two or three ballistas set up in, like, that room. So if Scoria does, for some reason, fucking come in there, it's three ballista bolts immediately at her. Ballistas mm -hmm. plus archers to plus break the stone. yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Um... We sleep. That's what we, do. we sleep. We slept. In the morning, we wake up. We go and kill the dragon. All right, morning comes. That's good. Um, people head back into the area. You the those lava pits will have magma men sort of pop out. Magma elementals pop out. At this point, can we not be ready for them? Yeah, I, I don't suppose. think people should die for them anymore. Like um, Tyrael and me and Anton can be the ones. We did to the thing them. before where we had the people. Everyone was ready when they popped up. We <coughs> killed them immediately. One person had a save or die. Yeah, you're. Are you going to be casting combat spells to increase your buffs in this area, or are you just a you know strong man? It. I think we're just trying. Are you man. going to? I think it's grab super yourself? easy to do it. Like th this is how we would do it. We know where these things are roughly coming out. I'll stand there to tank the first shot. Um, when a couple of them come up to try to like grab me or anything, my dagger allows me to blink back for free. Everybody else gets a hit. We should be able to bait them out one at a time and kill them incredibly quickly and easily like that. I think. That'd be my okay. Guess. So Tyrael will stand near the front. Mm -hmm. Wait till he's grabbed and then blink away. Yeah. To safety, 
and then use Everybody melee and missile attacks to, to yeah. kill them. Yeah. Um, these uh, things are immune shooting. to non-magical weapons, we'll so you'll arrows. have to be using magic arrows and magic mm -hmm. swords. For we this. can bring forth all the magical arrows that we brought with us outside. I think we had yep. over, did we have we a thousand of them. Yeah, thousands because we were going to use it to shoot down Scoria, so we should have these in plentiful supply. Our Glacia arrow stock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and who are the people who are actually doing the fighting and dying against these? Okay, it, so it's also it's the wayfarers. Right? No, it's not the plague. No. Name. No. It's the against the it's level seven against them. We don't care. Who cares? We, oh, Why risk us when we could just say it's nameless level seven knights? Wait, fighting against what? The magma elements. Did I just say yeah, I have to did... be the one to do it to blink with my dagger? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, the one who's did... blinking away, yeah. but the level seven knights will handle it. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. And I'll I'll shoot them as well. Yeah, you can yeah. shoot them too. Fuck. Okay. Shoot them up. Um, we will give at least one magma elemental an opportunity to grab and kill a level seven knight. Uh, eighteen two. is good enough to grab. On a two? And... Okay. Well, because the only it doesn't matter if they're wearing armor and they're not wearing armor because it's too hot in here to do so. Okay. Um, so one seven level, level seventh level knight will get dragged down into the pit. Nick, you want to roll me a bunch of attacks to see if you can kill one magma elemental? Wait, there's not an opposed check for anything. Um, yeah, there's a grab strength and a pull. Check. Yeah, there's an opposed strength check, but they've got like crazy strength mm -hmm. versus your knights who have. Steam. Yeah, where is it? Civilized Knight. Um, ooh, it's a tie. Defender. Tie goes to the Defender. I think they get dragged and pulled out of the grip, and one knight survives. Nick, make me 16 attacks. Are you hasting yourself? Are you no, aging no. yourself every time you haste? I'm not using haste. I'm just using my yeah. magic bow, so it's four, only four shots. And plus one arrows. Again, 17 AC, uh, crit, crit, hit, hit. Uh, yeah, three crits, one hit, one so hit. one, four, five, six, seven, D6, plus seven, no, plus four. Just just checking my damage. Damage is plus four, so it's seven, D6, plus 16. Yeah, you get two to damage for the bow. One, one the for the arrow. What's the other plus one? Uh, the gl uh, braces, braces of archery. archery. Yeah. Cool. 48, 48 damage. All right. Not enough to kill, and the magma elementals will dip into the lava again and not bother you this day. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm putting my spells back since we were resting for a night. <clears throat> so the crew is us, the wayfarers, at least like 10 level 7 knights maybe even 20, and then just some random wizards that I can give ones to. Is this it? Is this the, the go crew? Well, this is everyone here. I've still got to disintegrate rocks today. Today isn't the go day, but this is the go crew, okay. yeah. Yeah, chill, Goibo. Not the go day? No, because i got to disintegrate rocks today. Right, there's more more rocks. It has to be 10 feet. I just worry that if we give them two days, now the trap could maybe... Two days is a long time. What could they not do in a day that they could do in two days? Really? Yeah. Yeah. We're fine. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I disintegrate the rocks. Do we get back his things as we left them? No, the ballista crews and every soldier that was here left to defend this area is dead. The ballistas are burned. Should have stayed with Sean. I say. Uh -huh. <clears throat> do we make more ballista or what? It's going to take more time. I walk past the charred corpses a little bit frustrated and cast a look to my right just to make sure everyone's still there and then I'll cast Disintegrate on the rocks again. I just, I can't believe that you went down that hallway without knowing what's there. So you, by yourself, you're going to peek your head, as you said, 75 I, yards? So that's, um... I'm at the end of the corridor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can just peek around the corridor to cast your disintegrate spell. Do I see other rocks still there? I just want to make sure that you walk around the corner first by yourself before. No, no. I'll let somebody else go around first, but I go around pretty quickly to go and cast my spell. I'm not hanging around. Okay. But somebody else can go first, yeah. Okay. Um, someone else will go first. <clears throat> they will see that the rocks have been adjusted a little bit. Um, there is a maybe 10 foot gap, maybe a five foot gap. That looks like someone, a person could easily walk in and out through this area. 
Um, mm -hmm. And the rest of the rocks are sort of stacked um, like that, I guess as you could say. Uh, and that's what they see and report back to you. What's the problem with Shine just like moving the rocks? If Scoria could do it literally in like two rounds, why can't Shine just like break through? Is there no Probably issue? Could. Shine, can I you think just she could, right? run through those? Well, what's... Let me just do the disintegrate first. It's safer, right? Sure, if you want to do this disintegrate first, you can, yeah. Yeah, I do another. I At the end of the corridor now, I disintegrate the rocks and immediately go back around the corner. Mm hmm. How many disintegrate? You're just casting one at a time for this? Just one for now, yep. Yeah, you disintegrate some rocks, you pop back around the corner, some more rocks fall down the place. I do another disintegrate back around the corner. Where, where are you disintegrating? Because this is probably important. There's a 10 foot section here, right? Where someone can go through. Are you disintegrating mm -hmm. this or are you widening this to make it bigger? Well, I'm just trying to best I can to make space for shine, but I figure that as soon as I disintegrate it's anything, more rocks are gonna fall. But so still, you can tell me you're targeting the left side or the right side. Where are you targeting? Whatever's most efficient to try and make space for shine to get through. The right side, because that's where the, the opening is. Yeah, okay, yep. Sure, yeah. Yeah, you, you disintegrate some more rocks. Um, it's you know the more rocks fall in to fill the space but uh, you can see that it is beginning to um you know at the top of the crack right above where the the hallway passage is there's like some stuff falling down you can see some light from the the rocks indicating that the pile is getting quite a bit smaller is there a I can conjure <laughs> elephants if you'd like to go and attack those rocks good idea yeah do that through. Mm -hmm. do we do we want to do that now, or do we want to do that when it's go time? <clears throat> I would like to be able to ensure that we can break through quickly when it's go time, because our bus will be running out. That's why I wanted to get it to the point where I know I can clear it with the last disintegrate spell. Wait, what are we talking about disintegrating right now? The rocks. The rocks blocking the corridor, yeah. What? Are we running through here? Not Well, we will be in a couple we'll of days. Eventually, yes. In one like today. Hopefully. Okay, I misunderstood that part of the plan. We're not doing the dig to the side and disintegrate through and jump no, out no. anymore. No, no, I don't think we need to anymore. Oh, okay. So, Anton, do you think your elephants can break through what's left? Because if we uh, want to use the elephants I mean, as the as the vanguard when it's go time, that's a good idea. I asked Shine, have you ever dealt with elephants? Do you think that they can break through this much rock? I I have no fucking clue. Elephants have soft skin. Um, I don't know if they can shove rocks over. They might be able to push themselves against it and slowly knock something over, but they wouldn't um, break through through a stone rubble pile like this particularly well. Why Furthermore, not they can rest? only really reach things towards the top. <clears throat> Why not rest another day and just come back and do the same thing? Sure. Uh, I'll really? cast. Can, I'll cast conjure animals. And I'll tell the elephant to go and um, attack the rocks. I will get, I think, one elephant, 13 hit die worth. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be my six level spell that I cast. All right, what happens? Yeah, what happens? Uh, you conjure a single elephant that comes up towards these rocks and starts like batting at it with its tusks and with its head. Um, and then a, as it, as it pushes some of these rocks and starts to clear some space, uh, a very large red dragon paw will sort of like <laughs> through this, what is this now? Like a 15 foot wide passageway, mm -hmm. yeah. 12 foot wide passageway. I think Scoria can make one melee attack and she will use her claw, not her head to do so. It sounds exactly this. like playing with a cat, like under a door. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I do believe that we'll probably double crit an elephant. So Scoria will do 3d10 plus 12 um, damage. 24 is probably not actually going to kill an elephant outright. Those are terrible rolls. What's elephant's HP? You said it's um 13d8. 13 13 hit 30. dice, probably. 13d8. Yeah. Oh, then she can take a second attack because it's wide enough and she will. Is she fucking up the rocks, though? Um, no, because she'll hit the elephant well before she hits the rocks. And the elephant's already, like, started to clear some space. Uh, and so then she will do another... 37! Right. There we go. Much better. And that, that will kill the elephant. Any elephants. advantages, yeah. I think. Oof. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but now What's there's a, a pretty sizable yeah. passageway. This is, you know, 12 feet wide-ish. Not wide enough for shine, though. 
Oh, but not Shine should be able to like to charge shine. and fucking break, um, through. break the rest. But Shine can now use her X-ray vision to see that it is just about. There you go, Nick. Yeah, Nick. That's it. That's it. It's Sorry, I'm not other... understanding. The, I'm not understanding the salt here. What's the problem? <laughs> we're, we're just. I wasn't being here. salty. Yeah, we're. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So okay. the rock pile is not um, a perfect cube, right? It's a, a pile. So at the top, it's quite thin now, and at the bottom, it's still quite wide. You know, it's maybe 15 feet wide at the bottom and maybe like seven feet wide at the top, and it goes up about 20 feet. And it's not, you know, a perfect trapezoid or a triangle. It's just a, a pile of rubble in this awkward shape. Okay, I feel like two more disintegrates would clear a path big enough for Shine. Or I ask Shine, do you think that you could just break through that now? I give myself an 80% chance of breaking through it in one round. So we're rolling for it. Okay, cool. well I'll still do I'll still do one more disintegrate before we charge, but Sounds good. Be otherwise otherwise I think we can rest and go tomorrow. Do you need to rest or do you need to nap? Because I could go I today, it'd be perfect, but if not, that's fine. I would prefer to it what I want to do is cast on my long term buffs, then nap. Then refill my spell slots with short term buffs. Then cast them. And then go. Yep. So if you nap me now, I'm not going to have the long-term buffs ready. That's fine. I think that we should stay in this corridor tonight to stop Scoria doing any more shenanigans. But if you want, we can leave. Well, if we stay here to stop her from doing anything, you're not going to get any spells back, right? I think. Isn't they that can how that works? make noise all night. <clears throat> or just even like, let's wow. say she does go do something and you stop her. Now you are... Um, now you yeah, but I think if Shine is staring down the corridor, she will think twice about doing anything. Personally. But, okay, let's talk about this now. Let's say they attack during the night. And we have zero buff. Yeah. I say we retreat. And come back. Your vote, Cyril. Um, I don't see any advantage of staying here. Okay. What, what, is, what is the advantage of staying here? Them resetting up some of the rocks? Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, fine. We, everyone, we pull everyone out, though. I see, like, potential okay. huge negative downfalls and, and little... Upside, so yeah, fuck it. All right, the whole party and all the support characters fall back. The most advanced soldiers that you will have at this point in time are going to be the people in the trap hallway, which is mostly cleared at this point. There's just a few more changes to make. Um, there's some people up in the dragon path with bell uh, horns and whistles. And um, we head back for one final night of rest. Tomorrow is the go day. How's the go Tomorrow day? Tomorrow is the big day. Who are you gonna bring with you on this mission tomorrow? All the Wayfarers, Vash, and Brain Gang. Um, and then a bunch of level seven knights, or highest level knights, whoever we can. If we got a ninth level, we'll take them. We should have like mm -hmm. nine spears of people ready to go. Whatever like three we Three spears go in, three spears after, three spears after. Like this room should be full of um, Drakusian fighters. Wizards. It's going to be the whole... It's going to be mass combat, which is cringe. Okay. It's a quiet night. Each of you in your own tents, I take it? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. What, are we sleeping together? I don't know. I don't know if there's anything to say be said to one another on the night before. <clears throat> I don't know that there is. No. I think we're Are you just... going to at least, you know, tell the queen that this is tomorrow's the day? No, I think Anton will group everyone up. Well, yeah, everyone wait, should I... know it's the day tomorrow. <clears throat> like our whole yeah, fucking army the is. Day. No, but let's use the Rod of Splendor to make a feast for the Go team. Sure. But yeah. Anton will group his brothers up at least, because this could be like our final day. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, let's have a big we feast. We should spend we'll the night together. Us, the Wayfarers, Shine, a couple of the generals, the level seven knights that are coming with us. You know, we do a feast for like 40 people, I think, using the rubber splendor. Okay. Um. Well, everyone sits, everyone eats, people drink sparingly, no one wants to be hung over tomorrow, it'd be a bad idea. Um, the queen is in attendance, core oh, officers nice. are in attendance. Um, there's lots of laughing and sort of merrymaking that finally this will be over, and um, more than a little bit of nervous laughter as people look to the folks sitting beside them and across from them, knowing that not everybody will be here 
the next day. I'll nudge Tyrael. Give a speech, brother. Um, is it on us or is it on the queen? Do we, what? What is more appropriate? We're leading the army. It's on us. All right. Um, fuck it then. I'll be in my. Uh, I'll go grab that armor of command. Okay, someone charismatic motherfucker. You have your armor of command on? Yeah, okay. Koiba keeps looking like he's going to say something. Are you Strong. fucking with me? Okay. All right. We're outside. We're feasting. Um, there is a nervous excitement slash tension in the air. People aren't eating too much. They want to relax. But tomorrow is the big day. Um, word is probably already spread, I imagine, that some men gave their lives to trigger a trap. People know that we've been, I think, stuck here longer than any other part of the cave before, right? Days. I think we've spent like a week or two in this hallway. How long have we been here? How many days? At least three days. Is it just been three or four days? It's yeah, been four days, I believe. Okay, okay, so, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <clears throat> but, okay, they know that this is the final part. Um, <clears throat> I will stand up. And I will address uh, my generals, not my generals, the queen's generals, the queen the brave men in attendance of this dinner, I guess whoever else is around here to fight with us. Um, every knight that's gonna be with us tomorrow is eating at this main feast, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Yeah. we would make sure to include them for sure. <clears throat> My brave Drakissian brothers and sisters, tomorrow is the night that we finally cross swords with Scoria. Not with her minions, not with mystery and soldiers, not with any of the monsters in her employ, but with the evil red dragon herself. You sacrificed much to get here, both personally, for my brothers, and as a kingdom, your brothers and sisters as well. I know that many of you are frightened for tomorrow, but I will say, as one in this kingdom who has drawn blood from Scoria, she does indeed bleed. Like every other dragon we've slain, like every other monster you've seen fall, like every other soldier, that you have put to death as we've crossed these lands. I believe tomorrow will be a battle. I don't even believe it will be a challenge. I think we've done all we need to do to prepare, to bring ourselves to this moment. I think tomorrow will be an easy victory. It will be a day full of blood, exhaustion, but I believe ultimately it will be the final day of victory for the Drakissian kingdom against the scourge of Scoria. Are we cool? <clears throat> Woo! Claps. King Cyril. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Cups are raised. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll raise my. What's the coolest weapon we have? The most I'll recognizable, play. probably the moon, the fr the frost man. I guess that's going to be the one. Hopefully, something will help kill Scoria. <clears throat> I would petition my queen that we rename. This cursed mountain, once known as what was it called before Dragon's Peak? Dragon Peak. Dragon's oh. Peak. Yeah, I don't know what it was before. Well, it was something before Dragon Peak. Ever mm -hmm. since Scoria has moved into this land, this mountain has been called Dragon Peak. But I submit that by tomorrow night, shall be known as the Tomb of Scoria. Nice. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. There is a much approving nodding of heads, some polite clapping. Um. I think there's not much else to say. Food is had. That's Everyone's it. ready. Yeah. Merriment. Okay, uh, last question. How long is the walk from here to the room? A few miles. Okay. So I don't want to do my long-term buffs out here. Um, I no, just want to... Where, I just... Because I'm worried that when I nap, Scoria might know. What's she gonna do? Come out. Just I'm nap in, not the corridor, but the the our forward operating base. We'll nap you there. Okay. All right. So that's where we go to the forward operating base to do our pre-buffs, our long-term buffs. First of all, we got to reclaim the area, though. So that's first order of the day: is get to the long-term base, do long-term buffs, then reclaim the area. Correct. Then not me. Then do short term buffs, then charge in. Yes. All right. So we go to the forward operating base. I cast stone skin on six people. 
this is the, the discussion of the plan, not the actual execution, right? Can we just start the execution? We're going to take a break before we go okay. to the execution. We'll so I, if you, okay. okay. Well, sure. Do you want to run through it real quick so that we're ready as soon as we come yeah, back? Yeah. So, yeah. So we go to the forward operating camp. I'm going to cast six stone skins. So that's the three of us plus probably three of the wayfarers, Jack, uh, Polar, and Lord Con. Then I'm going to cast ultra vision on the three on the three of us. I'm going to cast fly on the two of you, um, and I'm going to cast cat's grace on myself like five times until I get a a six, hopefully. And then I'm going to cast armor. Our knights can wear armor for this fight, right? You don't need to cast armor on them. It is very hot in here. If they wear armor, the first few rounds shouldn't be a problem. But after that, they're going to start taking penalties as they dramatically overheat. It's a hot building, a hot chamber, and they'll be exercising at their you know peak effort. Sorry, you it shouldn't take cast that long. Cat's Grace one time on Jack. It could get into 30 AC. Yeah. Yeah, I can, cut, I can cast it like Just 10 once. times. So yeah, it's fine. I can do cards grace on enough people. All right, so that'll be my long-term buffs. And then you nap me. I'll reland spells. Then we head to the chamber around the corner. That's where we do all of our short-term buffs. We've got to be careful about that because Shine has shield and bless. Anton has a bunch of spells. I have a bunch of spells. We need to structure them so that we do our longest duration buffs first yeah. and our shortest duration buffs last. I've already worked that out for myself, but we should be going into it with about 15 rounds, or at least on all of our buffs, which should be more than enough. Then we go around the corner, I cast Disintegrate, we charge down the corridor, and that's it. This night, Koibu, I'm gonna be casting five Endure Heats and Colds. They last 13 hours. Will that, that might get us there. Um, I'm gonna cast it on five random level seven troops just a heads up, or our highest men, you know, whoever's going to mm -hmm. be in there and fighting, um, our best fighters, if we have level it lasts eight or nine. For 13 hours? Yeah. Okay, because then you'll get about eight hours of sleep, and then maybe an hour, hour and a half of walking there. So I don't think it works. Some so time in the to morning to rememorize spells. spells. Uh, by the but time I'll, I'll, not... I'll do it, I'll do it this, I'll, I'll use combine with a bunch of clerics. That'll give me four extra levels um, to cast one of these with. Oh, I guess it's only one, huh? No, it's more than one, I think. Any buffs mm -hmm. you cast while still in the circle. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. I'll just do five of those. That'll be an extra... Four hours. Four hours. That might make it work, yeah. Okay. So five people have Endure Heat and Cold. Yeah, just five of our highest levels. So they okay. don't have any problems fighting. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, Unfailing Endurance is already on the party. It's a day per level. If that's chill. Totally chill. Cool. Good. All right. Um, Steven, I've got a buff for you that could give you a lot more strength, but at the end of the duration, you are you would be exhausted. Yeah, oh, it's going to last. Worth the Don't risk? Do. Maybe not. Just give it to Jack. What is the duration? 15 rounds. That, I yeah, you last. can cast it on me. Yeah, for sure. 15 rounds? What if Scoria somehow delays the fight, though? 15 rounds? If Scoria delays the fight, Shine should be able to fix that with Restore Strength, the spell that she has. I would guess. Okay, yeah. What is the, okay, uh, what's okay. the spell? It gives Improved you strength. Str it gives you D8 plus 4 strength. That's really good. That sounds insane. However, oh if you're doing that, you should probably give your belt to someone else. Sure. Well, it depends it on what the D8, because I think my strength is, is it 15 right now? Or 17? I don't remember. Five. Yeah, but it's a minimum of 5, so... Does it matter if it gets boss. boosted to like 22 strength or something? Or what does that do? Yes. It's slower to go from 18 to 19, but past 19, it's fast. So you'll probably end up with something like 20 strength, depending on what I roll. So can I give your belt to Pola? Um, yeah, if you want to for this fight, I guess. If we, if we are, if it's worth it to cast that spell. The only thing that worries me, it's not the fight lasting 15 rounds. Yeah. The thing that worries me is something delays the beginning of the fight and yeah, we're like that's stuck. what i'm worried about so yeah, yeah. I, that's why i think it might not be worth it yeah i don't think it's worth material did... i think it's good on jack yeah fuck yeah, it yeah i cast it on jack fuck yeah it. all right cool all right break break all right we'll be back <laughs>
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tombs of Scoria. Our warriors set out. Knights in tow shine behind you. Three of you in front. You can bypass the magma elementals without much effort this time. You're well versed in getting past them. Wait, sorry. First off, we need to go to the forward base where I'm going to cast. Yeah, forward base to cast buffs. Long term That's, buffs. Yes, the oh, magma elementals between you and them. Okay. So good. All right. You bypass them. You make your way down the 50 foot wide hallway, past the charred remains of dead soldiers and burned out ballistas. And you get to the area. It's just around the corner. There's like a, you know, like a, a the hallway narrows to 20 feet and then it goes for about 10 feet and then it takes a right and then it runs for 200 feet and then it opens into Scoria's lair. I think we wanted to do this in the previous forward operating base, Koibu, because we want Imric to be able to nap in a way that feels safe. Okay, so... We're the gonna do previous this in the forward area is the room. magma room. And the, the one origin- before that is the room where there's the two passageways that split. That's the room I think we want to do it in. Okay, that's still a few miles away from no, the no. final L- area. I-, I say let's go past the magma base because Scory can go through the passageway yeah. and come out there. Let's, all right. it's better we'll go, let's we'll go. do it in the room that you said. Okay, all right. So I cast stone skin on me. This is in the, the 50 foot wide hallway just before Scory is lair, right? Around the corner. No, it, no right. the forward base by the magma. Okay, so just before the Magma Men or just after the Magma Men? Just after the Magma Men. Okay. Okay. Stone skin on the three of us, and then on Jack, Pola, and Lord Con. And your stone skin roll is 1d4 plus... Plus 7? 4, 7, yeah. Okay, four stone skins. I'm going to make my list of buffs. The last list of Five stone skins. Buffs. Right? Us three? Yeah. Jack and Pola and Lord Con, six? Yeah, five, six. Five, and, six and shine, shine casts our own stone skin as well. Material, Imric, Anton, Shine, Pola, Jack, Jack, Lord, Lord Khan. Khan. <clears throat> okay, then we are starting with stone skin, right? Correct. Right. Yeah. After I cast Stone Skin on Lord Khan, I give him the Wand of Lightning. Sure. Um, you, you, it was the three of you and the three Wayfarers that get Stone Skins? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you've got six Stone Skins you're casting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm casting five Endure Heat and Colds um, on all of the Wayfarers and my two brothers, not on myself because I have the Cloak of Comfort that automatically makes me... Uh, this is Endure Heat and Cold? Yep. Okay, hold on. I'm just... Yep, so, I'm a little bit slower to write notes than you are to speak them. Uh, eight, ten, eight, and remove Heat and Cold on Tyrael, Imric, Pola Jack Con? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I have it on myself through the Cloak of Cover. Right. Uh, shine... Any other buffs that we're casting? Yeah, more. I cast fly on the three of us and on Jack. Excellent. I cast ultra vision on me, Tyrael, and Anton. Did you say you casting fly on me too, or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's three ultra visions. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm casting Cat's Grace on myself. Um... Hold on, give me one second. You look something up. Okay. Uh, you're going to cast okay. Cat's Grace on yourself, and you're going to keep doing it until you get what you want. Until I get a six, though. I have six castings. Fuck, you know. Hey, hold okay, on. You're okay. also providing one to Jack, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got okay. one more try on myself. For six? No, okay, so I think I'm on five, and then I cast one on Jack. Does five extra, does that help you at all? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one on Jack. Jack. Gets a one. So that gets him one? 
I can do another one on Jack, or I can cast one on Brain Gang. Do another one on Jack. Okay, Jack gets three, three decks. Three. Okay. Uh, that I takes get. him from nine 12. to twelve, which is nothing. Nothing. Fuck. But takes me to check. eighteen though. Five. We'll take you to eighteen. Yeah, because I already have two from the braces of decks. And those stack. No, they don't stack. Okay, they don't stack. Gotcha. So I only, okay. I only get Oof. three more. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, let me see, just check for. I think that's. Oh, and then should I cast seeming on us as well? Yes. For what? Okay, I cast just to make us look like nondescript. Okay. So cast I cast it on seeming. Jack specifically too, so he looks like a human. I cast seeming on the four of us to make us look like nondescript people. We'll still have our magic gear and stuff, but... I nap you. Yeah, and then I go to sleep. And just one last time, Seeming will modify your magic gear to look like whatever else, yeah? That's how we I shall... It, yeah. uh, well, I've not cast it before. I don't I know I have. Um, the change includes clothing and equipment, yeah. Make the recipients appear generally man-shaped, up to one foot shorter or taller than normal height, thinner fat between... Must resemble the same general type of creature. Each remains recognizable. Uh, remains a recognizable individual. We yeah. said last time it would because seeming is like a fifth level spell, and it can't mm -hmm. really be used in you know much else good way, other than that. Right, right. Unwilling recipient save a save. Normal appearance is slain. Not precise enough to duplicate the appearance of a specific individual. Okay, so you're not faceless people who are yeah. all looking the same, but you're just individuals who can't necessarily be identified, but you still have the same gear, right? You, if you have a sword, you have a sword. If you have a spear, you still have a spear. Your spear yeah, is not made to look, look like, like a bow. Yeah, yeah, but they don't look like, you know, the Moonblade, for example. It right. looks like a knight's okay. sword. Okay. So Anton might be easily identif identifiable if people know that he fights with a spear and a sword. Right. But okay. he usually fights with a spear and a spear. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, that is Imric napped. Boom. Um, there's an hour. Imric is napping, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no other buffs that we have cast before Imric naps. No, no, that's everything. Okay, and Imric, this is, uh, you're just after the Magma Men, right? There's a small yeah. choke point, and then it opens up wide. This is maybe a quarter mile, a half mile, I think I said, between here and Scoria. Mm -hmm. um, have nap lasts for one hour. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And everyone else is just chilling and waiting. We're not chilling. We're on fucking high alert. And if Scoria comes through there, she's getting at least arrows. <clears throat> Shine's going to attack. And Tyrell and I, and and the, I are the ready. People you have with you are the Wayfarers, Shine, the three of you, plus who? Who nice. else is with you? As many as seven, eight, nine knights you'll give us. And some wizards as well. And wizards. And as cleric, invisible chanting. Okay, they will need some of their seventh level knights in order to maintain general operations yeah, yeah. outside. Well, we'll just give um, us like four. But we can get you forty without. Yeah, forty is fine. I give the. Ninth? I. I don't think we had any eighth or ninth, did we? No, we Queen's Guard. That's like Queen's Guard. I give the wand of lightning to Lord Con and the wand of fire to a random wizard and a wand of paralyzation to another wizard. I give a wand of um, fear Wait, to a wizard. On. Oh, sorry. I need to make all the notes. Wand of Lightning to Lord Khan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to say... Paralyzation and fire to two random wizards. Okay. I need to make some notes on random wizards for us here. <clears throat> um, I've, got, I've got a couple of other things for those wizards, Neil, if that's okay. Yeah, just give me a few more moments to make all the notes yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, Wand yeah. of I fire yeah. Yeah. and paralyzation. Yeah. Um, let's see. I have two wands. Speaking of wizards hand. that you can bring with you, the army has a, a, like a handful of fifth level wizards that are like the archmages of towns that have left the towns to come with you. And then maybe like three times as many third level wizards, and then some random apprentices. These can just be third level wizards. I think. Third level's fine. They're just using one, yeah. so. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to get you uh, five third level wizards to do this. Um, okay. Wand of Paralyzation, Wand of Fire. Uh, you said I also... Fear? I have a yeah. Fear Wand and a Magic Missile Wand. Okay. I tell the one using the Magic Missile Wand that he needs to target people casting spells and just one missile per. Okay. And then I've got three scrolls of Dispel Magic. Two of them have six castings, one have one. I will hand them out to wizards as well. I give one of the six castings to Lord Khan, and then another six castings to a random wizard, and, a, and the one with one cast to another random wizard. Scroll of Dispel Magic. And I say, you know, be careful. Six. Don't. You know, I, I ask them, you know how Dispel works, right? You know the AoE of it. Make sure you don't hit us with it. Mm hmm. I also inform everyone the night before that Scoria has a ring of spell turning. Do not target her with a spell. Yeah. Noted. Okay. Um, random wizards, you had two extra scrolls of dispel magic for them? I've got two with six castings and one with one casting. Okay. And then to Lance, I give him the pipes of haunting. Lance is dead. Oh. Jesus. To Lance's brother, I give him the pipes of haunting and I say... Use these to play a haunting song. No, not really. It was a scrolls with six, six, and two dispel magics? Six, six, and one. Six, six, and one, okay. Should they be trying to dispel the golems, Nick? No. I Does that do so. anything? I, don't think, I it think if works. you dispel the golem. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Okay. 40 knights, um, five wizards, the wayfarers shine, the party. That's our go team. Yes, we need to distribute <sighs> the scrolls of fire protection. Yeah, so Tyrell has one. I've got two. How many do you have, Tyrell? Um, I think I... We should have four left total, I think. I think we have four or five. Let me check where I have It's one. on your character sheet, one. so it should be a count. Yeah, I have one. Okay, so we've got four. So Tyrell's got one. Tyrell uses one on one. himself. I use one on myself. That should cover me and Jack, because Jack and I are going to be pretty together. Yeah. And Emric, you got the other two scrolls? Yeah, but I'm going to give uses one. one, and you give one to the knights. Yeah. The big group of knights. Okay. One for uh, you, and one for the big group of knights. I say to everyone, cast you cast these when I cast Disintegrate on the rocks. I okay. put Oil of Slipperiness after Imric wakes up the second time on us. We're not, we're not there yet, I think. Yeah. So yeah. I jumped in. All right. It is at this point, after these items have been handed out, scrolls and wands, um, seeming has been cast, and then Imric is napped. Okay. Imric, do you know how many spell levels you will have to memorize when you wake up? Uh, yeah, give me a sec because uh, the duration on some of these things might be... No, I've tested them all. They should all okay. be fine. Okay. Oh, seven. Uh, 16 plus 21. 37. Plus 6. 43 spell levels. So 430 minutes. Divided by 60 minutes an hour oh, is seven wait. hours. No way, that's gonna kill Fly. It will kill Fly. That's the one. Fly's pretty important because you guys yeah, are gonna need, need to that. get around to fight. Okay, wait, so how long have I got for Fly? I could you, read, I just you're level 13? It. It's all right, I'll recast Fly, I'll recast Fly. Do you, you have more Flies to memorize then? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, it's the same amount of levels. It's just, mm -hmm. I'm gonna learn Flies instead of other, and some other stuff. Okay, so you're going to replace, you're, you're going to take fl four flies at third level. Yeah, three flies, because I've got permanent. Okay, you don't need to cast it on yourself. It's yeah. just, oh, it's your contingency spell that has it? My contingency is fire shield on the command word, go, go, fire shield, and my persistence is fly. Okay. Um, let's just make sure Ultra Vision lasts for two hours plus one hour per level. 
So that's 13, 14, 15 hours. No, not 17 a problem. hours. Level 15. Oh, you love my mistakes. Um. Cat's Grace. Seeming lasts for 12 hours, I think, so that's fine. Um, Endure Heat and Cold is a long spell, yeah? Yeah, like 13 hours. Um, the uh, other one hour like per level, 15 13 hours. hours. Yep, that should be fine. Stone Skin lasts for a full day. All right. That's it. That's all okay. here. When I wake up, I relearn the spells, and then we head to the room around the corner. Okay. I'm going to yep. bring some tokens onto the screen. Uh, you've got Jack, Pola, and Lord Khan as named NPCs. I would like to give you guys the opportunity to control them if you would like. And shine. Um, yes, and shine. And we're gonna have to talk about marching order to get everyone in here. Uh, Knights are you... first. Knights are first, okay. Uh, and we said 40 knights. One, two, three, four. So we're going to need 10 rows of these. Oh, yeah. Vash and Brangang will be coming as well. <clears throat> so nine, one more row of knights. Out. Yeah, I couldn't for some reason. I can pull Brangang out. Where are you, Vash? It's Vance right now, I think. Oh, uh, here he is. Okay. Vash, Polo, Lord Khan, Brain Gang. Uh, this must be Jack. Yep, Jack. Bunch of knights and some fifth level wizards. Um, we'll get us a. Wizards can go at the back. Um, are the wizards coming in after Shine? No, before Shine. You've got your freedom of movement spells ready, right, Anton? Yep. Okay. Let's just get a wizard token for your dudes. So there's no confusion. Do um, and these are fifth level wizards. I think we said third level. So it's not to third kill level. the Archimages. Okay. Third level, third yeah, level. Yeah. Right. They're just using their ones and scrolls though, so. Okay. When I wake up, I remind everyone, there's golems in there. They're immune to spells. They cannot be hurt by non plus two magic weapons, so don't waste your time. Most of these guys actually should have plus two magic weapons. Do you way. have 40 had... plus two magic weapons? How many yes. did we bring from Glacia? Didn't we bring we 100 plus so... 2? Or we might have brought in like 200 plus 2 magic weapons. I can give you the amount. I told you before, and I think I removed them from the sheet. 31 plus 2 arming swords and 34 plus 2 spears Yeah, so is what we've handed out. Okay. So half of them so... with spears, half of them with swords. These are all... They're masters with their swords, so um, anyone that's not using a sword is going to be at minus 3 to hit and damage. So only nine of them will be at minus three to hit and damage. Yeah. Okay. Nine at minus three to hit and damage. Oof. Tell me when you're ready for the second round of buffs, which is like right before go time. Uh, I'm just making our wizard token. PC support wizard. Okay. And we have five of the... Wait, they're just using the wands. That We only have four of these. Yeah. Yep. Don't forget the two or three casting scrolls. Uh, yeah, I thought those were going to be the same as the mm. wand wielders. Are they separate? I thought they were the same, yeah. They're the same, fine. Yeah. Okay. They can, they can make a call. Okay. All right, next round of spells. Let's okay, go. so just let's just clarify, Moot. How many do you have to cast? I have only... One, two, three, four spells to cast. So you need to do everything. Four, I have four free actions to cast, one prayer and one recitation. Okay, and so do one the... righteous wrath of the faithful and a true seeing on you. How long do the free actions last? Uh, one turn per level. Okay, there first. So I'm going to cast Combine Koibu with my clerics. Now we're in a mm -hmm. circle. 
mm-hmm. and all of these spells are going to have an extra four, whatever, four per level, you know? Four levels yeah, yeah. worth of duration. So four levels sure. of duration. Okay. Four free action rings, myself, Tyrael, Imrek, Jack. That's okay, going to be... Free... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Free It's going to be 17 turns. Seventeen turns is just shy of three hours. That should be more than enough to get you yeah. there and deal with that. And you said it's on you, Ethereal, and Jack. Me, Ethereal, Imric, Jack. Okay, you've got four. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Okay. How many spells have you got left to cast? Um, that's three. I think that I have. Let me just one more time. One, two. Three, four. I have four spells left to cast. Okay, me too. Oh, so let's do them in turn. I need to move to a spreadsheet. There are too many spells to keep track of. <laughs> You're good. Ooh. What's chance saying? They're pogging up today. No, they're pogging. Chat's always pog. <clears throat> Stone Thanks, Jeffs. Endure, heat, and cold, fly, ultra vision, cat's grace, seeming. Oh, yeah, I thought I already said, but we all have oil of slipperiness on us. Us three. Uh, yeah, we haven't quite done that yet, but that's great to have oil of. You could have oiled slip. me up while I was sleeping. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that before these spells are being cast, sorry. Because that's another eight hour thing, action. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Oh, wait, I had to recast my fly spells, so I will have done them while you were casting the free action. Sorry. Endure Heat and Cold is on everybody except for Anton and Shine. Fly is on four people. Ultra Vision's on three people. Five Cat's Grace to Imric. Well, yeah, three cats grace to Jack. Seeming on the three of you plus Jack. Um, Tyrael, Imric, and Anton all have one scroll of fire resistance. Fire yep. protection, yeah. yeah. Yeah, fire protection. And one knight has such a scroll. Yeah. Um, you're going to oil up how many people? Just those three. three. Just those three. Not, not Jack. Yeah. Don't forget the free action as well now. Yep. Free action is on the three of you plus Jack. Yep. And fly on the three of the, you know, Anton, Serial, and Jack. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. I think I've got all the spells we've cast so far. Uh, What else do we want to cast? All right. So now we're going round by round. So I cast Enlarge on Jack, and you cast. I cast. um, Rare. That's going to be 17 rounds, Koibu, at a 60 foot radius. So whoever that can hit. 17 everyone. rounds is 17 rounds. minutes. You're yeah. a half mile away. It'll take everybody. Um, okay, for a no. half mile away, and we're casting prayer and enlarge, which are a duration are in rounds. Does that mean your knights are going right. in I, unarmored? I because figured if they want to. We way closer than a half mile. Yeah, well, you had said you want to do all this buffing right before the magma chamber, and that's no, no, a half we're, mile. Sorry, we're doing this in the corner around the corridor. Yeah. We're doing this okay. in the corner around the corridor, sorry. Okay, so we move up to the corridor around the corner before enlarge and prayer are cast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you will enlarge Jack by 150 percent. No, no, it's 95 percent. I think, isn't it? 95%. It goes up by one percent after ten. Got it. Um, just for clarification, this is also where the free actions happened. This is where the free yeah. actions happen. Yes. Okay. Anything that was like smaller durations, I did over here. While we're doing the buffs, can we get a knight to take a light or a darkness stone and go and check that the anti magic is still broken? Uh, yes, it. Yes, we can do that. Um... The duration of enlarge is what one round per level. Seventy seventy-five rounds. Oh, five rounds per level. Okay, seventy-five yeah, yeah. rounds. That should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. Next. The duration of prayer is what? Is Seventeen super long? rounds. Seventeen, 17 rounds. rounds. Not super okay. long. Yeah. And that is going to give everyone a plus one to hit. 
and damage. And damage. What does prayer do? I can't remember. The all attack and damage rolls and saving throws. So this gives everyone a plus one to damage in a 60 foot radius. So however many people you want to give it to. In a 60 foot radius, you can do your entire army. That's plus one hit, damage, and save. And they can then leave the 60 foot radius because prayer, you, it does not. It's so. not an aura. It's um, a one and done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, I think I might have misspoke about enlarge. I can't find it in the book, but I think when it said that might only be for shrinking, then it goes down to 1%. Yeah. I'm not sure which book it's in to check, sorry. It's player's oh, handbook. It's, it's in my it's in my spell list. Fighter with 160% normal size, hits with his longsword, rolls yeah, a six okay. for damage, deals 1.6 times that damage. Bonuses due to strength, class, and magic are not altered, so the plus three from yeah, it's just the, the weapon damage that's modified. Add a one to hit uh, and damage, Steven. Currently. For which spells? Prayer. Prayer. Prayer is going to give you an extra damage on everything. And an extra hit, but get ready to add more to hit. Um, okay. Yeah, I've got prayer checked. You didn't do recitation okay. or bless, right? Not yet. I'm about to. Okay. I'll check okay. both of those. Make sure you factor in the damage, because the damage doesn't factor in anywhere else. Um, prayer and recitation. Prayer is plus one to hit and plus one to damage? Yes. Yeah. Recitation is just hit. Recitation is plus two to hit, right? Yep. Yep. And when you add to hit, you just can do it in the top right, hit adjust. You don't have to do it for each individual thing, but... Yeah, but, but for damage, you could, we'll just yeah. have to remember but it's for one damage, more damage, I have to put it on the thing, yeah. It's all right, yeah. we'll just remember it's one more damage in every attack. No, I already put okay. it on my sheet, but yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, next. Okay, next I is going to... Oh, go ahead. No, you go first. Next is going to be Bruce seeing on you. Okay, true seeing That's on That's going to last 17 rounds. It, just on Emric. Just on Emric. One creature. I cast mirror image on myself. Okay, I just want to quickly look up some of these things here. 120 feet. Excellent. Um, Imric, make me a d20 roll, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Uh, yeah, you, True Seeing has been cast on, on Imric. Next spell. I cast Recitation. Everyone in a 60-foot radius for 17 rounds. Um, this is the AoE. Gets mm -hmm. a plus two to attack rolls and saving throws, or plus three if they're the same faith. Enemies minus two if they're in my area. None of these people are of your same faith. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we've all announced. So recitation and prayer much. will stack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, recitation is just hit and saves, though. It's not to damage. Oh, right. Not yeah, to yeah, damage, yeah. just hit and saves. Okay. One round per okay. level. Your 13th level, 13 rounds. Okay, so we're getting to the point where the rounds are needing to be counted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Count the um, rounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next for me is haste. That's going to last for 19 rounds. And I cast the last spell you cast was in large, right? I didn't miss something. Mirror image. Yeah. Mirror image, thank you. Okay. Mirror image. And I got seven. And you've got seven. Okay. And it's got a long duration? <clears throat> long enough, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then you so, cast, sorry, one more? The, the new one? Uh, haste. Yeah, right, the haste, yeah. Haste. That can only on. affect 15 creatures, though. So okay. the characters we can see right now, that's nine, and then six of the knights. So right, Shine, Brain, Brain Gang, Gang, Jack, Lord Khan, Anton, Imric, Tyrael, Vash, Ola, and then uh, whatever number I said, uh, six knights. So probably the six knights closest to me, the ones in the back ranks. Right. And you're going to put the knights in first by themselves? They're going in first, yeah. Okay. Okay. And haste is one round per Nin level? 19 rounds, four. Okay, four round we don't level. need to worry about that. Last okay, uh, question. Yep. Oh. Righteous Wrath of the Faithful, if they're forced to fight in the state, they are treated as exhausted under the combat and tactics rule. This means people will just get negatives to hit. I believe that's the case. Okay, then I'm casting Righteous Wrath of the Faithful on everyone. 
It's very specific. Allies who are... F it's 30 foot radius. Allies who are fighting on the side of the priest are affected as if they've been received an aid spell. So everyone gets 1d8 to their HP. And they get in a bonus attack roll of 1 and saving throws. So this is an extra attack. And they get um, 1d8 to their HP. Why don't you just roll a d8 and we'll just give everyone a bonus? I think that's yeah. fine, yeah. Um, allies who share the same faith get plus two to saving throws and attack and damage rolls. Creatures under the influence of Registrath gain 1d80 hit points and an extra attack. Okay, you are the only Velthara. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, we'll, so roll a d8 here. Yeah. You want higher or low? High, please. Five, that's okay. An extra five HP. Okay, and then my last cast is uh, improved strength on Jack. Okay, and does that have, that's a 15 round duration? That's a 15 round duration, yeah. And that is going to be a seven bonus to his strength. So what's his base strength? And I'll calculate it. Uh, Jack. Jack's base strength was 17. <clears throat> so 17. With a bonus of seven, he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, 19 strength. Perfect. Okay. All right, was five and temporary HP, right? This or... is the round. I look to everyone, make sure they've got their scrolls ready. I'm going to cast Disintegrate that same round. We're going to cast the three scrolls. Um, so it actually, it, maybe it shouldn't be me having one of the scrolls. I'll do it. I'll let Vash cast it and I'll stay next. He can just defend me. And then, okay. It's so late. Never mind. I shouldn't say anything. Good luck. So nope. Vash, Tyrael, one of the knights, and Anton all cast a fire protection scroll at the same time that I cast Disintegrate on the rocks. Vash... Tyrael, Anton, and one of the knights. Yeah. We have the eye. We hold on. We need to pull the ion stones. Mm -hmm. After all the buffs are cast, yeah. After all the buffs are cast. So as you're running in, a quick round. Wait, stones. I have a quick question. Yeah, as we're running in, we're equipping the ion stone. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. It'll take a you know round to run down that hallway anyway. And that's when we'll do it. Okay. Okay. And the rounds are ticking by. I have been. I have started to count. We're going in. Yeah, we, just to okay. check, the the knight has confirmed that the anti magic is still broken. Yes. Okay, good. All right, I cast disintegrate. They cast the scrolls. Let's go. One the knight's going one, first. One lance yeah. running in before us, and then we going after. Yeah. Yes. Someone's running in before you. One and lance. Knights. We just follow oh, the knights. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. They have a oh. fire protection scroll on them, so they go first. Okay. Wait, did we cast our fire protection scroll on us. We did. We're all doing it now. Yeah. Okay, yes. I'm reading mine. Are we all reading them or what? We're just all reading yeah, one? you're reading them as I cast Disintegrate. Okay. As I read it, I can release my Iron Stone into the air like right after, yeah? Koibu? Oh, yeah, it's not a problem. You have your scroll and then you just chuck your Iron Stone at, in the round that it takes you to run. Yeah. Because the, the people, you can read your scroll and you can do a half move, but it's a 200 foot hallway and everyone's charging together. You can't be like, you know, right next to each other. The, the knights are going to kind of spread out as they run. There's going to be a lot of space between them. Um, and here they come. Uh, they're going to be more spaced out than this, actually, by quite a bit. But you will cast Disintegrate on the last bit of rocks, uh, removing yeah. most of what remains, but not all of what remains, because it's still more than 10 square feet. But it's good enough that your people are going to be able to get through. They all have plus um, 5 HP, please. Okay. Right, uh, aid was cast. How? What's the duration of aid? Um, it's gonna be with righteous wrath of the faithful, so seventeen rounds. Okay. So does righteous wrath give me another two, plus two to hit mid? E no, plus one. Okay. okay. All right. I think I've tracked all the spells and the durations. Good to it. And here yeah. we go. The party runs round the corner, letting out their war cry. <laughs> True. Material. Um, and Material. coming down the hallway. Now, there are 40 knights in front of you, and it's going to take them a little while to spill in. Um, they are hasted. Fact, no, they're not hasted. No, they're not hasted. Question, can we... Because I thought we said we sent in one, like, spear, and then we were next. That's but it's, waste, it's wasting time on our buffs. Let's just, I think we just go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is It's a spear yeah. in first. 
and then we're behind them. So there's still knights piling in I thought it was going to be a whole... I, I thought you were sending all your knights first. No, 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 no. I think no. specifically Tyrael said it's one spear, or lance is what he said. Mm -hmm. Sure. then we're behind that. Okay, that's super important to know. Um, and the spear that's going in first is the the one with the spell, the protection spell. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then, oh, go. and also... I'm going in with my ring of protection plus four and a ring of seeing. I would like to activate that before I go in. Just yeah, let's talk about our fire. rings. Mm -hmm. I've got ring of protection plus five and the ring of fire resistance. One second. Okay. Um, Jack has a ring of protection plus two um, and a ring of free action. He just does. I have a ring of protection plus three and a ring of fire resistance. Okay. And I also have an ion stone above my head. Right. Which iron stone do you have above you? The level four. Um, one. He has the level, level four, four one. Serial has the level eight one. Jack would unironically have a ring of fire resistance rather than the free action because it casts a free action on him. Is that okay? Perfect. Not? Yeah, yeah. If you've got the rings, if you have the the supply of rings. I do. Okay. Can we? Let's go. I'm hyped for battle. Ion stone, fourth level one on Anton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other one absorbs up to seventh level. Is it? Eight. Eighth, eighth level. Okay. On Tyrael. Now remember, guys, the AOEs of, like, the spell can hit me if if you're not in range of it. So like, where we can try and stay near each other. Be near me, bro. And when we say we're sending in one spear first, you're giving them a full round before you to arrive. Mm, no, no, they're just ahead of us. Where does no, they're, just ahead ahead of us. No, they're just ahead they're of, ahead of us. Okay. Reminder: We are all me and my group right here, nondescript knights. We have our current weapons. But we look nondescript. We're coming in second. And you're wielding two spears or a spear and a shield? I'm, we I'm wielding a spear and a sword. Okay. Okay. Tyrael, you uh, got two swords out? Um, sword and dagger. Sword and dagger? Mm -hmm. Imric? I, ha I have my speed bow in my hands and my plus two bow on my back. Got gotcha. you. Okay, so uh, now the rocks can be repositioned. Uh, our brave knights go in first. Eight of them, um, and they are happen. they are going to very quickly uh, meet solid resistance right around this corner. Um, they will come to a halting stop as they are met by golems. Um, and they will be stuck in this can, area. Well, maybe not all of them. Some of them the might be able to, start would be to like, push around. through so people can get out, right? Of course, but the, yeah. the golem's goal is to prevent that to exact same that. thing. So the party, you said you want them to go first. Mm -hmm. And I think that means if you, they win initiative, you just hang back until the space is clear, right? So are you essentially well, going to fly. give them a free round of action behind them? That's true, you have fly. You're just going to fly, fly over their heads? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you'll delay all of your actions till after them. Yep. Um, I'm going to put all the knights on one initiative roll. Can I roll it? Okay. Uh, yes, please roll it. 1d10 plus 3? Uh, 5, because they're making attacks with their weapons. Then what? Minus something for haste? Minus 2. So oh, but they're not hasted, so... Uh, they are going at... They could be. There were six knights hasted, but yeah. yeah the, if they're doing a group, it would be a bitch to have them split up. You, you'd want them on the same turn. Uh, 14 for them. And our golems are going to go at 16, which is terrible. I'm going to roll uh, for brain gang. Is that okay? Is well, how do we want to manage all of your individual named characters? We could have them go together... Um, like, at least the fighters, Brain Gang, Vash, Jack, and Pola could all go on one group. Um, or we could break them up individually. I think we should break them up individually. Okay. Uh, gonna sorry, I'm going to... Very different things. Okay. I'm going to do something okay. else this round. Um, not my initiative. I'll just keep the same roller. It's the same number, but it's not what I rolled for. Like... Okay, but let, let, let's this be the very last time in this yeah, campaign that someone time. changes their thoughts. Well, no one... No, people haven't finished rolling initiative yet, so I think... I okay. know, I know, but it's nice when things are finalized and done and there's no... 
back and forth. Um, is it okay if we have them on different initiatives then? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and roll your different initiatives for your peoples. Jack? I'll, I'll roll for Vash. Thing. Vash's goal is to defend me, Tyrell, yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah, because he's got a fire scroll on him, I need that. Uh, you're rolling initiative for Jack, or for... I just rolled initiative right for there. myself, okay. well, and then yeah. I also did Jack. And I'm always okay. subtract two, by the way. Got it. I guess I'll roll for Lord Khan. Uh, yep. Uh, yes, what is Lord Khan doing? He can't be casting any spells because he can't see anything, right? So yeah, he's I think just he's just up. walking, yeah. Okay. Can Brain Gang see uh, Golem or no? No, they're all around a corner. Um, um, and since you're all back around a corner too, everyone's going to have to move mm -hmm. far forward. We're gonna move on our turn then, right? Or do you want to just move up because we're following a? Uh, no, 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 no. We'll we'll go. You're waiting for them, so all of your initiatives that are after the knights are just gonna get delayed until after them. Okay. Uh, Frostband and Ifan, you only needed to roll the higher ones. The six for Steven, minus two for Haste is a five. Okay, so we've got. Pola hasn't had her initiative rolled, nor has Lord Khan, nor has Brain Gang. Or at least Brain they're not Gang on the table. Doesn't do anything. Pola is doesn't can't fly, so she's rolling into attack, but it's whenever she can. Okay. Lord Khan's at thirteen. Okay. Okay. And Brain Gang is just running in. Uh, Brain Gang is just waiting to shoot his bow. So okay. yeah, he's gonna go in with the soldiers, kinda. Okay. Kinda. Kinda. His goal Got is it. to shoot Scoria with an arrow. There you go. So our knights are the first ones in, and they are charging down the hallway. They'll charge down the hallway and start immediately running in to monsters. Um, I should also roll initiative for our other characters over here on the enemy side. Oh, man. No. Mm -hmm. This is one. What's the range on this? Okay. This battle is going to take some time. There's a lot of magic and a lot of spells to yeah, be considered, so. Uh... <laughs> Initiatives for those. Those can go. Uh, this can go here. This can go here. This goes. Okay. Guy with the fire scroll should be in the middle, not at the back. Just for the record. Uh, sure. How's that? That's better. All right, and our dragon. Sukma. Sukma balls. Mm. Okay. That's all that we need for initiative. Let's go. The soldiers run on in. They get caught up right against these golems and they're gonna start making their attacks. Uh, we've got room for one, two, three, four, five of them to sort of get up here next to these golems they should have and plus make four attacks. To hit. If uh, already added it from the buffs. See, two, three, four to hit. I've not added it. And one then damage. they got plus two weapons as well. And plus two okay. weapons. Yeah, the plus two weapons are being accounted for right now. Mastery. It's to be five. Yeah. Three, four. Mastery to hit and damage. 
Um, two to hit and damage from the weapons, and then an additional one to damage from high strength. Rare. Uh, misc buffs are going to be total plus four to hit. One to damage. And one to damage, yes. Okay, uh, the knights have appropriately stacked their attacks. Um, so, let's do it. They get one attack the first round against... Uh, no, they're level seven with mastery. Is that two attacks per round? Two attacks per round. Yeah, so we're going to do our first attack for our knights. Uh, one against a golem with... Stone golem has, I think, 15 AC? You can check if you want. Yes, they have 15 AC. Excellent. That's, that's not a crit. So it's not a crit. Excellent. There are six um, knights out there with haste. Um, where do we want that to be? Well, I said it was the ones closest to us, so it should be the, some of these guys. So it's the I ones in saying, the back, we don't want not that the to ones be in the front. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, right. So that is a, a hit, no crit for 13 damage on the first golem. The next knight will hit no crit for nine damage. Should be d12, it's large. That's true, thank you so much. VL, two, five, one d12, one d12, seven, slashing, piercing, five. Uh, I will reroll both of those damages then. Uh, one more point of damage to the first one. And instead of doing nine, this one's doing 15, so another six points of damage. Third knight will attack. Hit and clear by 10 is crit. So nice. this plus d12. Uh, 22, excellent. Oops. 21. 21, thank you. And the last knight will just barely hit for 15 points of damage. And great blow against the golem over here. Um, and everybody else is sort of coming down the line after these people have done this. No one's waiting for monsters to go or spells to be cast by the enemy. You're all just running down the hallway immediately. Mm -hmm. I believe so, yes. Okay, well, it's a 200 foot hallway. You're not gonna be able to attack anything, so go ahead and position yourselves however you sure, want your people to be them. positioned. That's true, you can fly. Um, but then you can just position yourself in the room. Um, the only way you can move an attack is with a charge, and that needs a straight line of sight. Flying over things will Whoa. well hold on negate your charge. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear the rocks with disintegrate. Excellent. So if you guys want to wait for me before you move, then um, I don't. My movement speed is 24. So how much does that mm -hmm. allow me to move per round? Um, well, if you're flying, mm -hmm. uh, then your movement speed is related to your fly spell, not anything else. Otherwise, you can go 240 feet in a round. Okay, so I'm going to activate my Cloak of the Cheetah and run, and mm -hmm. I'll just fly over the people, but I can do most of my movement as running on the ground, yeah? And then just do, like, a little hop over everyone? Yeah. Yeah, that seems fair. Anton and, and Jack will follow Tyrael. Okay. Anton and Jack are following Tyrael. Same thing because you've got the flies. Mm -hmm. Imric, you're casting Disintegrate from the back of the hallway. Yeah, on the rest of the rocks. Okay. Let me know when I can start to move my character and do my yeah, turn. Yes, go ahead and move your characters. Okay, so let's be clear. Once I'm here, how much have I moved so far? You have moved 200 feet. Uh, 200 and actually a little bit more. Uh, let's call oh, it yeah, 250 it feet. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So I've got a good 450 feet of movement left, or is it, uh, is it? You have base speed 24, your Cloak of the Cheetah gives you 3x movement, so 24 times 3, 72, so I've got 480 720 left. feet, and you've used 250, so 470 feet remaining, well done. Okay, um, who do I see when I enter this room? Is this the guy, the mage, or the cleric, or what? Uh, this right here is okay. a dwarven cleric on the ground. Yep. This is an ogre. Scoria is actually uh, up, like near the ceiling, maybe 60 feet in the air. Okay. What is this guy um, back here? Uh, this one over here? Yeah. That's a golem. Oh. Do I see any, the people in the cages? Do I really only see f like four enemies on the map right now? Yes, but one quick thing I want to talk about here is that yeah. this is sort of a huge combat thing. So if you want to spot 
things that might not be easy to spot, you might not. Like if these creatures up on these um, in these areas are just a few inches back or a few feet back, you might not see them. They might be in a spot where you need to look more carefully. Uh -huh. At first glance in the chaotic room, you don't see anything. If you want to take a round and try and spot things or look for things, that's fine. Okay, that's but you might not see everything. Nope, totally fine. Right for okay. That. How cool. much does it take for me to run? Are these accurate now, these measurements? Is this like 100? Yeah, and... everything here is accurate to scale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once I get here, my ring of seeing is active. So I'm running towards mm -hmm. this. Do I see anything here or here? This is like, you know, these things are way up on the ceiling. This is like 30 feet up. This one's like 60 feet up. So from here, even if there was something standing up here, you wouldn't see it because you'd just see floor. Uh, okay, I'll use um, some more movement then to put myself right here. Underneath the balcony. No, I can I can I get up? I can fly. It's sixty feet up. Yeah, um, I can fly. Your fly movement. How far can you fly in a round? It's twelve. It's twelve, but it's hard. One hundred and twenty feet. If, it's half of going up twice. Yeah, going down. so you, you will you can get like thirty feet in the air. You've already used some fly to get over these people, and then landed, and then run. You've already used like half your movement to get here. You can get maybe thirty feet. Okay, at best, let's just off the ground. I won't argue this anymore, but I just for this, I want to be super clear on how much because getting onto this is pretty important. Just for this part, um, mm -hmm. can we calculate how much movement did I use exactly? Do I have enough just to be on this? Because that, that thirty feet if is a big difference. If you started there. at the base right here and you used one hundred percent of your movement for flying, uh -huh. you could get to the base of that. And if you use any other movement at all, you could not get to the base since you started many hundreds of feet away. There's no way you can get to the sixty feet <clears throat> base here. Um, okay, wait, let's do that one more time. If I'm starting back here, right? Wait. Your your fly gives you movement speed 12, so yes. you can go 120 feet of flight. That's half if you're flying straight up. Okay. So if you started here, you could fly 60 feet straight up, but you didn't start here. You started oh, way the fuck back there. Saying. Oh, sorry, cor correction. It's 18, so it's nine going down. And Sorry, nine going up. Not nine nonsense. going up. Okay, yeah, still, you've moved... Uh, what is it, 300 feet or so? You've already okay. used at least half of your movement. Yeah, it's 370 plus some change. Okay, I understand what you're saying then. It's 400, Can I use, yeah. um, as I get here then, um, can I use an action then? Um, and my action would be climb walls? That would replace my attack, I believe. I don't know if that would count as movement or not. Um, this is a balcony that hangs over everything. Oh, so I can't do it. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget, you got the blink as well. I, that blink only lasts for six rounds. So once I use my first blink, I oh, cannot okay. blink after six rounds. So I'm not using it for movement. I'm using it to evade okay. things. Um, mm -hmm. In that case, then I'll be right at the bottom of this. And I don't... Okay. Uh, actually, I'll go under this balcony then. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And are you going to be on the ground or are you going to be flying a little bit? Um, I'll go up. I guess you said I can go up 30 feet. Yeah, you can go up like... Yeah, 30 50. feet, we'll call it. Yeah, okay. Well, he's used most of his movement already for other stuff. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, and you have a ring of true seeing yes. active. Yes, yes. And that gives you, how far can you see truly? It's either, I think it's 120 feet. feet. It's, uh, 100, it's, 100, it's 120. It's 120, okay. So you could see things truly to about here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in this big circle, gotcha. Excellent. Uh, other player characters that were moving. Yeah, Anton, okay, so it's gonna be me and Jack. <laughs> Jack, yes. We need to get the army through. Am I going to attack while flying? I, I'm, I'm yeah. going to get them through, dude. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, well, you. Am I able to attack while flying? Is what I'm asking. Yeah. Why? If you are flying, you can make an attack, but you have to use your whole movement just to get down here into this stuff. And then I can't fly, even at 24. You could movement? fly over these people, um, but you're you. Oh, you have 24 movement as well from sandals of speed or something. I have it from something and Jack. It's he has it's 240 more. feet of movement, um, but it's a 200 foot hallway. So no, you'll yeah, you can position yourself, but not get an attack this round. Okay. I'll tell Jack that we're going to attack next round. We're still non-discreet soldiers then, and we will chill. Here. Jack has movement speed. He's a dwarf, mm -hmm. right? We're hasted as well. So He's we going to be fast. Moments. He's going to be faster flying. Oh yeah, you're hasted. You got oh, we're movement. hasted. So we have. Giga oh, so Tyrael's got... So Tyrael has huge movement. No, because oh. it doesn't affect fly, though. It doesn't it only affect affects... flying, though. It so doesn't affect fly, over. and yes. the Cloak of the fine. Cheetah and the Haste won't stack for speed. Okay. So those are the same, fine. same. But if I wanted to, I could get over here and attack. Because I'm hasted. You have 24 plus haste makes you 48, 48. speed. Um, I think, yes, you could hop over one of these things and get into a fight. Um... I know that Jack can't, though. 
He's at 24 yes. movement speed. Jack speed he's is enlarged. Normally so he's not... six because he's a dwarf. Is it 12 because of his haste? Haste. Yeah. Haste. But what about enlarge? He's bigger. Enlarge doesn't really doesn't improve like speed. That's fine. Yeah. So Jack can go. Jack can't even get to the front lines. Jack is lollygagging behind. Loser. Okay. Um, yeah, he's slow. I'm just. I, I'm going to stay that's with That's where he Jack. starts at, Neil. Yeah, that's well, where he started actually... way the fuck back there, you know, because this 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 hallway doesn't uh, go back okay. all 200 feet. Um, what is Pola doing? She's coming with me when I just the rocks. With them. Okay, so Vash and Pola are sticking next to Imric. Yeah. Okay, and what about Lord Khan? He's chilling with you. Yeah. We're coming and what about Brain Gang? He's moved. So uh, I think Brain he's moving. He's moving. Yeah. He's, moving he's with you. Yeah. Okay, so Brain Gang is hasted. He can go 240 feet. He can get all the way up here to this area. Um, have you decided where you wanted to go once you come around the corner and see this mess? Um, Anton's going to delay for one. No, I'm not. Fuck that. I've always went in. Dude. I'm yeah. going in again. Anton will fly over, and yes, um, he's going to attack this golem in front of him. I have two attacks. Um, you're going to be in the air then, above yep. the golem? Okay. Yep. I'm in the air above the golem. Excellent. Here's my attack. Get you above. I have a hard time getting above them on the token screen, but go ahead, make your two attacks. Spear Rohana. Yep. Um, it's plus whatever, so here's an attack. 28. Against crit. a golem is a hit. It's a crit. So it's going to be 44. I'll just roll this. So that's 12 slash roll 2d4. It's going to be 15 points of damage. Excellent. Just attacking the middle one. Um, mm -hmm. And then here is going to be my Moonblade attack. Uh, Giga crit. Uh, we'll just kill the golem. Cool. Yeah. See ya. Um, then I land. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, the golem's turns, it sounds like. Yeah, I land here. Fuck it. Who cares? Uh, both golems will turn to face Anton, and they will knock off two of your stone skin charges. Uh, the ogre will take a swing at you with his club and knock off another stone skin charge. Question, if they're just turning and, like, opening themselves up, are they not getting attack of opportunities from the guys? Mm, they they're not turning backs. So they're just turning flanks. That's fine. Okay. Move them a little bit like this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, no, uh, sorry, uh, Neil, the columns don't go before me. Uh, you would cast Disintegrate. Yeah, you Disintegrate the rocks, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm I moved, moving. And I then we're all, and, the rocks. Sorry, yeah, yeah, and then we're all we're all moving up as well. These people should be able to move up and around. Yeah, you guys are making a half move after your disintegrate, but you're still only going to be oh, okay. 100 feet down the hallway. What about these other four guys? Um, we'll we'll get to them. Okay. Because uh, they, they moved they first, their first, and then attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, it's just to clear. They're doing full moves. I'm doing a half move, but I've got. I thought you wanted these people to stick with you. Yeah, yeah, so I'm saying I'm doing a half move, but I've got 18 movement. They're doing okay. a full move, but they've got 12 movement. So I'm just saying, is that really as far as we can get? Uh, okay, 18, well. and then haste is 36 divided by 2. Well, 18, because you're half moving. So you can get yeah. 180 feet-ish down the hallway, which yeah. will put you actually about right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Shine is squeezing tight and moving down this hallway behind you, or are the rest of the knights between you and Shine? No, no, Shine's behind us, yeah. Shine's and then the rest the of the knights are behind the end. Shine. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, great. Woo! Okay. Um, next, we will... Ooh, this is your spot right here. What you're asking? We have to Kerman, um, Imric. Okay. The you are you guys are here. Um, mm -hmm. Excellent. Do we roll shine in then? Uh, well, on the same well, initiative kind of... as the golems, um, as these people are coming, dropping from this area right here, this uh, this column that goes up, we uh -huh. have new folks visiting us. We will drop down 10 greater gargoyles Holy that fuck. just drop from that column and will start their attacks. Uh, Jack is enlarged, so he's probably a little bit bigger. Um, he's actually probably quite a lot bigger. 
So we'll Jack not Jack get opportunity here. of attacks, or at least attacks? Um, have Jack make me... Jack is running down the hallway at full speed, Where as fast as his little dwarven legs will carry him. He's enlarged, and these he's creatures, not running slowly. Sure, but he's still going as fast as he can. Um, and he's, you know, running down this hallway when these creatures drop quietly from the hallway above, from the clinging from the sides and just draining down. So Jack will not get opportunity attacks and these gargoyles will start their fight. Um, we're gonna use the four on this side first and they're gonna make their attacks against Jack. I do believe greater gargoyles get two attacks per round. That's fine. I just want him to get attacks at some point this round because he did roll in two attack. Yeah, but he used his whole doesn't... movement to get to yeah. where he is. He, he he might have rolled into attack, but there was nothing to attack, so he just ran the whole time. So right? You, you did, yeah, yeah, you don't get to attack anymore when you mm -hmm. use your movement. Not if you do a full move. Not if you do a full, move, full, move. You full okay, move. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Uh, these creatures are going to make claw attacks. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Uh, they each uh, get two attacks. Teams. Yeah, so two, four, six, eight against Jack will bring his stone skin. Oh, he still has some. This one over here will make two attacks against Jack, which will deplete his stone skins. This one will make two attacks against Jack. Uh, his AC is 28. Yep. Jesus Janet. Christ. Is Jack about to die? Uh, displaced. Oh. So uh, why is all... he displaced? Like a displacement. Him. Ah, well, the first attack will then, yeah, the first attack missed and then one more stone 16 would block the last stone skin yeah. the yeah. 32 will hit That's fine. um it becomes a 33 because it's a flank and that will crit jack for what? this plus 33 crit when he has 28 ac it's yeah because like it clears by five yeah so he will take uh 26 damage right away jack's fucked yeah. um the next one's right here are going they're facing forward so we got two on pola um one on imrik and one on lord khan pola is going to get one two attacks what's her ac 29 yeah oh wow these guys are stacked uh so one two hits pola will take seven 15. and Ace, 15. Wait, yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure I rolled the right damage against Jack. Where were my earlier rolls? Did I speak oh, yeah, to yeah, my boss? It, yeah. it was 36. Okay, perfect. So Pola will take 7 and 8 is uh, 15 damage. The second one will make two attacks against her. Claw, claw. Ooh, uh, that's a crit. Pola she's got stone, stone skin, skin as well. Six. Yeah, she's all, they've all got stone skin now. Ah, oh, excellent. So Polo will just lose four stone skin charges and go back to full HP. Thank you. Uh, 63 HP. She had an extra five. Excellent. Um, I missed it on my chart. Uh, Imric, you I are to, mirror I, 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 imaged. Yeah, I'd like to speak to my party. If it's sure, but you can't something. do it in the middle of being struck by creatures. Uh, no, how many fine. images are there? Seven? You Seven. control the party. On a one, your mirror image is yeah. hit. So one down. AI roll us. Oh, please. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Two mirror images down. I'll chuck it. And Lord Khan will lose two skin, don't skin charges. Uh, excellent. And... Okay. Can I speak? <laughs> yeah. Shortly. Um, what do you need to say? I think the four of us need to back off and Shine needs to fire breath these, smug, these gargoyles. Sorry, Jack. But we need to get through. All right. Excellent. You're going to kill Jack? I mean, it will. These things are dangerous. That almost like we'd, we'd be here all time, the whole time, killing these ten. Okay, sure. Knights Whatever, will fine. get their second attacks this round, um, and we will get race. yeah against the Wait, golem. Do you guys need to back off? Don't you have fire protection? Yeah, but to make sure that they're not covered by the fire protection. Oh, who's got the fire protection scroll on them? Vash. Nice. So just Vash can back off, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gonna be 20, 30, three damage to the golem. Minus 33. The next attack will crit plus 1d12. We'll finish off this golem. The next one will hit. Uh, 19 will not kill. Um, 
the last one will that will double crit so 3d12 plus 7 will not kill the golem it's a terrible roll uh, and then these other ones can sort of slide around slide around um, you can s maybe move here and allow this one and this one to get through so they each will get attack against golem it is a hit which will kill and the other ones will attack the ogre which will hit and kill actually the ogre in the first shot wow. uh, leaving our knights i think that's probably all the movement they can get they also want to stick together so this one who didn't attack will move to the middle so that everyone's fire shielded um and uh, I'm going to have... We're going to make three perception checks for our knights. One, two, three. There we go. One of our knights will call Mephits and point up, and you will see that indeed above you are some swirling Mephits floating in the air. Um, and they are ready for their next round. Anton, I don't know if you... Go you ahead. can half attack and move. Yeah, and you've moved like 230 and made your attack. So I think you're I think you're probably pretty good here um, with moving and attacking and hacking through all of these creatures. I think this is our position where we start the second round of combat. It's fine. Um, okay. Well, hold on. So Jack doesn't get anything. Jack yeah, fucked. Jack is fucked because he's slow. That's just right. the, the penalty oh, of being hey, a slow guy. Right, uh, I'm going to roll initiative for the knights. And Brain else... gunk. Get round the corner quickly. I shout out. Jack, oh. you're a hero. Jack's at four. Um. Nice. Uh, Neil, what, how does it work with delaying initiative until after something happens? Uh, you can't cast spells. But... Yeah, if I want to use my bow. I just want to wait for Shine to clear the way. Fuck. I think we just delay your initiative till later. Okay, so I just go after Shine. Yep. Someone should roll in Shine. Uh, she rolls at plus... For a breath, breath weapon. weapon. It's like three? Yeah, yeah plus Is it one. Well, it can't be one. It says one on one table, but that can't be right. I think it's broken. Shine. You've clearly done it at one before, though. If that's I what it says on the table. I believe it's right. If it was an enemy dragon, it'd be rolling at one. Uh, initiative modifiers... Innate spell ability is three. This thing over here says breath weapon is one. I can't remember what I've rolled in the past. One seems a little strong, but sure, I don't care. Let's do one. Let's let Scoria roll at one. I don't care. Okay. Whatever you want. There's a ten. We need to we need to back up a little bit. We might take some attacks uh, up here too. Oh no, she only Vash needs to back up. Jack okay. is disengaging. Okay. If I don't know can, where he's can, gonna go, but he's he surrounded. He can fly. That's true. Oh, he's got fly. Yeah. Oh, he's got fly. Nice. I'm going to have him fly over. Well, he's going to take right. like 10 opportunity attacks. He's fucking dead. He's disengaging, though. He's allowed. Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, no. Quibu's racking uh, his brain. No, yeah, it's cool. Did we roll initiative for Jack? I rolled for Vash and for did, Tyrell. Yeah. I think he got a, a four, you said, right? Clicked his thing, yeah. Did he get a four? Or did he get a six minus two? He got a one, technically. Yeah, but I clicked one? the warhammer. I don't see his initiative roll. Moon rolls for initiative with warhammer plus one. That's Jack. Oh, there skill. it is. Okay, thank yeah. you. That's Jack. So that it's a, a total of three. Technically. Four, three. Yeah. It's fine. I can't update it again. Wait, hold on. Jack's initiative should be four. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yes. All right. Yes. yes. Minus two. Okay. Um, Lord Khan, is he casting a spell? Uh, no. Well, sorry, I, I need to roll his initiative. I guess he's going to use his lightning wand once. But he's going after Shine as well. Okay. Pola? Uh, Lord Khan's not moving. He's, he's staying right here in melee. No, no. They get, we're all going to move into the room once the gargoyles are dead. But or you're currently engaged in with the gargoyles. Yeah. So he's staying So right this round, he's standing right here, and he's going to get hit by Shine's fire breath. Well, we're all protected from fire. How? The fire protection scroll on Vash. And won't that also protect the things beyond? He's 15 feet away from us. Yeah, but if he... Like, the fire protection scroll, it doesn't teleport to the other side of the fire. It creates a, a field. 
which is 15 feet across, 15 feet tall, right? It's a, what's the AOE, the radius of it? 15 foot diameter. It's a well, 15 shine, foot diameter go, go or 15 foot there. radius? 15 foot radius, 30 foot diameter. Can't Shine just breathe over at the goggles? There's only five feet above the fire protection for her to put her head. She would have to... Wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't... It's not going to stop the breath weapon, right? It's just going to go through us, right? I didn't think... I think it would I just go through I wouldn't us. Have, I wouldn't have thought that it would just completely stop. Yeah, well, let's... Because... Scroll of fire... Is it resist fire? It just says all... Control? All in this area are able to withstand flame and heat of the hottest type. It doesn't stop it. Okay. It just we makes stand. it not take Got it. Shit. It just goes It goes right through the area, but those yeah. within the area are fine. Okay, well, then it's not a problem. Yeah, so Vash is just going to back up. You'll all be protected. Everything else will be incinerated. Gotcha. Let me know when you insert the round. Um, Vash, Anton, Imric has rolled. Pola has rolled. Pola is delaying, but yeah, it... I th- I She's delaying she until well, someone needs to roll it. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll, roll for it. Delay, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, I'll it's roll a, for it's me. A four anyways. I, I think we're all just going at ten on my side. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually shines hasted, so our initiative's eight. It's eight. Okay. Does haste really affect spellcasting? Does it? No. It does. Casting? No, it, cast, it it does impact initiative. Yeah. Okay. It does. You're right. Minus two to initiative. I think it says. Spell casting and spell effects are not sped up. There's no, no you can't. It's an innate ability. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think that means you just can't cast two around. It doesn't mean that it's not benefited by the initiative. Okay. My, that's how yep, I understood it. That's fine. It, but... Yeah, you can still gain that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, shines uh, so... This, is... um, this over here is... We can go slower if you need Koiba, and that's not like in a BM way, but... No, no, yeah, I got I'll you. I'll do it right. Yeah. I'll roll in for Lord Khan. But he's going to go after us, Gloria. Okay. There are a lot of things to be considered here, so give me just a few moments to read all the things. Um... And then this is going to be This is what Anton's doing, Nick. He's going to kill the cleric, but do you think that's a good play? That is what I'm Yeah. Doing. Okay. He's about to cast Blade Barrier, so it's probably a good idea. I'm glad I said that I was doing it before it happened. Me too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me too, buddy. Bladeberry is a cringe spell that wacky Barassi clerics get. True. What? Initiative is brain gun going up, mate? Nine. Um, nine. Did you factor in his haste? Let me scroll up. Hammer, Brain Gang, 11. Yep, I did. I think Brain Gang Movement might get... Movement is three, get, right? Brain Gang might get Fire Breath, too. Hey, RIP. Rip. Um, how big is the... It's 15 Too foot? Much. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, it is not in range. I'm not sure okay. what distance the fire is, but I think it's... Maybe more than 60. Minus one named party in I think he said 90. But keep in mind, Scory is also on the ceiling, so it has to come down, right? He might be far enough. No, no, no. It's Scory is the one's gonna... Or, sorry. No, no. Shine. Shine. Shine is the one who's gonna breath weapon. Oh. It sounded like Scory's breath fire was farther than Shine's, but farther I could be wrong. Shine's. Yeah, maybe. Because I thought Shine's... I thought initially it was like 60 feet, but then it sounded like Scory's went like 90 or 100. But, no, uh, that's 90 foot long. It's gonna kill Brain Gang. And maybe some of these knights over here. Maybe... Oh, it's gonna kill the Margoyles, oh. the, the methods as well, maybe. All of the knights are fine. They're within a... Wait, thing. did Brain Gang... R- did Brain Gang roll that 9 initiative? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, he rolled an 11. Yeah, wait. Didn't you say you guys were all going at 10? Yeah, but yeah, Scory's going at 8. Sh- Shine is going at 8, too. Yeah. 
Oh, so you're not all going at 10. Shrine is going at 8. Okay. Okay, almost done. Last few no people problem. to make to do. Is Shine allowed to delay her thing until 10 or no? If you have an earlier initiative? I just don't yeah, think but that, uh, I don't think that's cool tonight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. RIP Brain Gang. Uh, he had a good run. He might live. You never know. Good. Yeah. Shine could roll low. And he could roll high for a save. Good dragon, yeah, head to... bad dragon, both named with S's. Both fire breathing you to death. <laughs> oh, Koibu, Dragon Fear. Yes! Jesus. Thank you. We always say uh, we're never going to forget, and then we do. I'm going to make one roll for all of our knights. Um, <laughs> and... and... They have pluses. They have bonuses. They've got, like, plus four to their... Plus four to saves, probably, at save. this point. Three, three, three or four. And I think there might be a penalty based on Dragon Age class. Dragon here. Blah, 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 blah. Must that for like all of the knights just rolled up? Or... Yeah. Just the, the knights that are up front, yeah. I'm not going to bother doing them one by one. Yeah. Nice. A creature subject to the aura receives a saving throw, bonus, or penalty as specified on the dragon table. Uh, minus four to their saves due to the fearsomeness of the dragon. So they get plus four, minus four. Let me and then make they succeed. Yeah, Recitation's two. Yep, it's four. Yeah, okay. yeah. So they just succeed. They're not going to be worrying about the fear. Um, Anton, go ahead and make me a dragon fear save. Um, do you want high or low? You want low. High. No, high. Yeah, you want high. Don't don't roll a one, two, or three. Uh, save versus what? Paralyzation. Uh, it's petrification, technically. But... It... Oh, it is petrification. Save. Their petrification save is 12, not 11. Bullshit. Right? Good job we gave it... them all luck stones. <laughs> Saving throw versus class. petrification. Yes, the knights are suffering minus one oh, to hit due to damage. Shine didn't cast out blast though, Neil. Shine's an idiot. She should also uh, have well, shield on herself, but. Fine. Well, we talked about all the spells that were cast. Somehow nope, something good. got mixed. It's totally you're fine. all good. Okay. Um, sorry, got distracted with that. Didn't finish rolling initiative for my spellcasters. I think we're going to do uh, this. You and then it's Obama. Oh, you didn't. Okay. So four and then GR 3D10. Oh, wow. Perfect. Six, six, and six. Okay. Is that everything? It's a yep. huge battle. Is Scoria on the battle list? No. She yes. Routine. Yes, she is. Okay. Okay, our very first caster is... Oh, Gargoyle should roll Fear from Shine. Oh, uh, Gargoyle, Greater Gargoyles are golems. They are non-sentient creatures who cannot feel fear. They are like regular golems. They are immune to this shit. Oh, okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. kind of true, just as a check. Isn't Dragon Fear not actually fear? Isn't it a magical thing? I thought we said that at one point, but maybe Ooh. it doesn't matter here. Oh, it's real uh, fear, I think. Anyway, I, okay. yeah. I, I don't think yeah. they'd be affected. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Anton, you will be struck by five magic missiles flying towards you. Five they all D go away. Because four I have plus five. The thing displacement cloak. Oh, the ion stone. I have the ion stone and displacement cloak, but well, the ion stone I think will go first. Yeah. Displacement, I've double, triple, quadruple checked, um, doesn't affect magic missile, but you will lose one spell level off of your thing. Uh, I gave you the number of spell levels that it has, right? Uh, that your ion stone has? I don't rolled for it. I think you gave it to me. I believe okay. you gave it to... No, here it is. You um, else. Ion stone big, ion stone small. small. It had 28. It is so now 27. down to 27. I don't, yeah. Infinite for this fight. Sure. Well, let's hope so. Uh, Tyrael, it is your turn. Okay, can I... I want to fly up. 
Yeah, you fly right up. And sure enough, as you fly up, you can see that there are casters here. Um, you spot four invisible casters. Get them, king. Um, but the, they're in a cage. Okay. So, is this one the... Is he like the big bad boy? The wizard? I don't know. This one it, looks different than the others. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am going to blink in here. All right, you are activating your blink. Wacky. Oh, my woman will say it soon. All right, go for it. Oops, that should be a 10. That should be a 13. Uh, you blink into the cage, staring down this caster, who's actually going at the exact same time as you, and so uh, they'll get their spell off no matter what you do. Uh, Wait, Anton, go ahead and remove another... They... Oh, never mind. Sorry. It's a tie, so that all yeah. actions resolve on a tie. You knock another Ion Stone charge off because she is casting Magic Missile at you. Can you roll the Magic Missile, though? Mm. We'll know by their HP. You're good. I was just fucking good. 16 damage. Okay, nice. Level 9. Uh, Tyrael, go ahead and make your first attack. Kill them! Um, yeah. I will be... Fuck, that's Vashas. Uh, or <laughs> Vashas. Um, <clears throat> did we say my, well, the poison on my dagger, is that an instant kill or no? If it is successful? Or does it take an hour? I forgot what we said. Which one on. did you put in? It's the most deadly one. Yeah, it's a save or die. Instant save. effect. Um, okay, can I do, I'll slash this guy with my um, save or die dagger. No, or no, I'm sorry, stab. Uh, your stab. Stab. Yeah. Go ahead. Oof. 23. Well, actually, wait, I'm will... sorry. I think it's like a 26. Uh, because um, I've got plus two to hit from recitation, plus one to hit from prayer. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, that wasn't included uh, on yeah. your character sheet? No, I, I don't know which part to add that in. Gotcha. Okay. So Surprise. Fine. You blinked behind it's him. It's fine. I don't know about that. Um, sure, well, it doesn't matter. The AC yeah. is only 17. So okay. either way, you will hit. And they save. Okay. Uh, and they will make a oh, make roll a plus... damage, and they will. It doesn't matter. Oh shit! I'm sorry. He sits... with, a, with a plus four, it's a crit. They're dead. They're dead. Do they it fail doesn't matter. Dead? They they fail their save. The poison oh. courses through their body. Their heart arrests, and they keel over on the spot. Um. Okay. I believe I have a fuck ton of movement. What What's back here? Um. It's it is a hallway. Yeah, but it's um all darkened back there. Okay. That's, now you've made. Yes, you have your your sword and your dagger out, right? Your yep. sword's your main hand, your dagger's your offhand, so you only get one attack with your offhand per round. Correct. You can sword you the rest of the way. Yep. Um, am okay. I, basically, what I'm asking it, oh, I'm sorry. I'm moving down here, mm -hmm. moving over here. There's Ultravision and True Sight. Coming up here. Yep. And Not I a have, problem. I believe I have, is it three sword attacks? Do I get six per round with haste? You get one now, and you're going to get two, la three later. Does that sound Rebel right? 13 fighter. You get two and a half, so you get, sorry, you get one now. Yes, three later. You'd usually have two. Yeah, if you normally get yes. two, yeah, yeah. It'll be one now, yeah. two at the end of the round. And next round, it'll be six. You should just let him do five attacks around There's rather not, than... Next round, it's not going to be six. It's going to be it's two it's... attacks every round. Well, it's no, 2.5. No, so you get like four five. attacks. Oh, two it's 2.5. Yeah, so with okay. haste, it should be five attacks per round. So the question is, do I get yeah. two now or three, and then two or three at the end of my turn? We're just doing one and four. We're doing one and... Then you're going to get three after. Yeah, yeah, or is it four, Nick? Is it four? No, 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 stop. Hold on. It's five attacks per round. Yeah. It's five attacks well, per round. Yes. yes. So there's no way it's just <clears> one <throat> now. It's two or three. Yeah, now, that, right? That's what Neil's saying he wants We've to do. We've always been doing... We're, we're going to start doing one, is what he's saying. Oh, it, oh so okay. it's one now, well, and then four at the end of the round. Yeah, yeah the okay. issue was that someone could show up and like take Nick was going to use like his 16 attacks with his bow okay, with that's the fine. I believe modified yeah whatever you want to do yeah, yeah. okay so I'll come sure that... through here um, and then I will attack mm -hmm. this guy yep um, on the left yep um, yeah this is doesn't really matter much but this is a down staircase while you're going back here this platform is only 30 feet off the ground mm -hmm. gotcha. uh, you make an attack with your thing because like you, a 33 they have 10 ac they have 6 hp you cut the person in half they just fall to pieces okay no questions um who else goes at four jack and the knights jack is gonna disengage and fly directly up through the thing 
Because Amrick was talking uh, Oh, right. He's weapon. disengaging okay. and flying straight up. Yeah. Yep. Whoop. How far does Jack want to fly? I don't know. It's a tunnel that goes up into darkness. Yeah, 60 feet. 60 feet. As far as he can. Okay. As far as he can. Okay. If he dies, he dies. If he dies, oh. he dies. Okay. Um, Jack is subject to... Yeah, he doesn't have any more stone skin. Uh, 28 with no AC from is Dex hit. is a hit. Oh, it matches, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then he will take 2d8 damage, and he needs to make me a saving throw versus poison, paralyzation, and death magic. He's a dwarf, so he gets bonuses to his poison save. Um, and he'll pass it. Nice. Fine. Um, so what's he at then? Minus 12. He's at 13. Does he have a potion? Rough one, bro. Nah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he's cheap. Nope. Impact? Nope. Nope. Jack ain't got shit, dog. What's up there? Talk to him. Mm. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. Poison, uh, perfect. Okay, great. So that was Jack's turn. Um, also up are the knights. Um, they see Scoria, who's out of range from their weapons, and they see this dwarven cleric who is grappling around for um, some stuff at their side, and I don't think our dwarven cleric... Oh, they rolled in all right, but they're not going to get their tools in time as the knights pour forward um, and quickly surround the Dwarven Cleric, trying to stay close and clustered since they know about the breath weapon. Um, and they move as a group together, praying to God that there's not some other AoE ability that's coming for them. Uh, and I think the knights will hack the dwarf to bits in just a matter of seconds here. Um, one, two, three, four... Our dwarf hey. has AC crap in here. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be like 8d8 plus 28, I think. Yeah, the knights just rip the, the dwarven cleric to shreds one after another. Rip. I'm hacking at it. Okay. Anton, How far you are, are the methods above me? They're gonna get fire breath. Not that you know that, but. Um, How far are the methods above me? <laughs> like 30 feet, 40 feet. Okay, I'll fly and attack. All right, you fly up to one of these little things. Um, it cackles at you. Make me roll to hit. Okay, uh, here is my spear. Mm -hmm. 31. Hit! Crit. Clears by 10, single crit. Oh, yeah. Kill. No, that's enough. Okay, you just dead. kill a method on the spot. Okay, I'm going to kill another one with my six sword. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, should they have 14 HP? I'm pretty sure you just slay it on the spot. But it's possible uh, you could roll 64 one, one, one. plus seven. Yeah. It's possible. Uh, you want Do you want damage? You need, all, you need six ones this is to not kill it. Six... This, oh, you're talking sorry. to a man who's lost at well, 1d600 effectively or whatever, right? 68 plus something. I don't know. They're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, killed nothing. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, That's Anton. And then I will fly back to the ground and rejoin the boys. Excellent. Um, we are going to get a <sighs> spell cast from a scroll with a six level difference. Um, it will cast successfully, and one of our knights will take 5d4 plus 5 points of damage, because clearly Mr. Mooton's not being affected by it. So this one will drop by 20 HP. Um, and that will break the invisibility of this character. And at initiative 6, we have who? You... Anton apprentices, two apprentices, three apprentices, and shine. Yeah, oh, it's a hidden missing. person. I could have saved brain gang, but I'm not a meta gamer. Right. Right. Um, these two. Well, this one right here. 
uh, will, you know, they, they've got their, their scroll out, they're reading their, actually, the, this one's actually casting not from a scroll. Um, Tyrael shows up behind them. They will magic missile you, Tyrael. You can knock off one of your ion stone charges. Uh, it's down to 22. That's what you're, you're keeping track of that, yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep track of it. Or you can, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. And the other apprentice will magic missile one, the same, probably a different knight for just uh, 2d4 plus 2. Minus 6 HP over here. Did that that last guy that I killed, did he have a bunch of magic equipment on? I believe he'd be glowing with my Ring of Truth sight if I... Uh, yeah, there was magic gear on that person. Totally. <laughs> that was the guy, Steve. You got him. Okay. You think you got him, yeah? <laughs> I think you got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fucking base that you got in the first cage. Uh, shine goes. Oh, and Shine's going to breathe fire on the... Can I roll it? Golems. Yeah, just re roll her fire breath weapon. 14d12 plus... Uh, uh, you can roll it off her character sheet. Oh, sick. Okay, sorry. Sick shine. Takes forever to load combat breath. Uh, damage or attack? Damage, I assume, yeah? Yeah, damage. Damage, yeah. 97. Woo, okay. I'm just going to move... I. I just want to see what's happening back there. So I'll be right. I'll move back. That's nice. Oh, you're not actually. You're no, I'm, I'm not actually. I, I just wanted to see. I'll be here, but I just want to see. Just move. Let's see. Outside, there are seven guards rolling dice for who's going to get to keep the plus two sword that Scoria has in her treasure lair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we will kill people who steal okay. from us. This is our uh, the golem gargoyles are not immune to fire, so I will roll saving throws for all of them versus breath weapon. One, two, three. There are four, five, six, seven, eight. There are ten of them. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they all passed, oh. um, and they will take half damage. So, what is that? Um, Half of 97. 48? Yeah. 48. Okay. Shit, that's all up. Yeah, that's crazy. And <laughs> Shine's breath weapon is on cooldown. Sorry, right, I think you guys can just start peeling through them now, though. Probably, yeah. Um, Anton, you had said you moved back to Hirish, something like no, that? No, 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 I just wanted to see. I just wanted to I see. know, yeah, but I just wanted to know where your character actually is. I, I'm, I'm actually right there. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, so all oh, the Brain gargoyles Gang. will survive. Oh, Brain Gang needs to do a save. Uh, yep, right. Brain Gang, well, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a... Oh, he, he could live. technically survive. He could live. Someone make a save for brain gang. I got it. Just don't fuck 12 or higher. Yeah. Plus magical bonuses. We can figure them out later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he Just, does have plus... Uh, plus two ring. Three... Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Um, he will be at one HP, I believe. <laughs> Base. Good thing we got he's that alive. 10 HP. A that works. was Shine. <laughs> Vash. It's your turn. Um... Fuck, I'm just I keep, coming to look. It's hard to click this guy. Okay. Um, is there a way you can give me vision of that token as well, or no? Of which one? Vash. I have it of mine, but can yeah. I get it? Okay. Uh, can you not see through him? Uh, I can a little bit. It's not that big a deal. There's only... Are there... Well, no, I can't really see. I, I kind of need to. Yeah, yeah. Let me change his settings. There we go. You should be able to see through him now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, is there enough space for him to step to the side here next to Polo and fight, or no? No. Um, Are you telling me he can't squeeze through Lord Khan or Imrik? Yeah, uh, he would provoke attacks of opportunity for one of those people if he wants to push through them. But no, you, there, there's not enough room here for him to fight side by side with them. Okay, then I guess he's just holding an attack. That's all I can do. Okay, Imrik, what's your turn? Um, I start shooting the gargoyles. Uh, from point blank range. There's no disadvantage, right? I suppose not. Yeah. Lord Khan Which... also goes. Aren't there... Uh-oh. No, there are... 
Yeah, there's, we haven't, there, we found no rules for shooting a bow at someone at point blank range in all of our game days of play. Yeah, right? no, I don't think so, no. no. Point blank is like a legit thing. You get plus right. there, isn't, master. there isn't five yet, I think. Nick, anyway. yeah, five yet is a disadvantage, but. Yeah, yeah. I think I shoot, just shoot one of these gargoyles. I'm going to do another 15 shots at the end of the round, though, Neil. Uh, sure. What, your bow is a plus two bow? No, this is just the bow of speed I've got equipped at the moment. Okay, with magic arrows? Uh, no, nope, normal arrows. All right, fire away. I think this still works against them. 36. Uh, it does not work against them. Shit, really? Nope. Yep, they need magic weapons to be hit. Okay, uh, Pola goes next. Here is her attacks. 15, does it hit? Uh, nope. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 15 plus, um, it's going to be 19. Nope. Still a miss. Perfect. Damn. And then Lord Khan should be able to use his, uh, his fucking okay. staff or whatever. Sorry, Neil. It's a plus one bow. I forget that the bow of speed is plus one. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, no, you need plus two weapons to hit these guys. Damn, Daniel. I probably shouldn't have told Nick. you that, but yes. Can you do Lord Khan's... What he's doing? Yeah, I think he fires a lightning bolt. All right. Uh, in order not to lightning. hit anybody, he's just got to fire straight down this path, basically. Well, Jack's in the air, right? So Jack's in the air. Yeah, but you—he doesn't want to hit you. No, but he can he extend can his arm a little bit. Right? Way. Yeah, I think he can easily just start at a few feet ahead of him, so it doesn't hit me. Okay. Yeah, you can start a few feet ahead of him and hit one, two, three, four, five gargoyles. I'd say uh, you can hit at least five, but I'll take five if that's. Well, yeah, it's these five. That's yeah, that's fine. That's it. That's well, he all could, but he could, could do a ten. He could do a ten foot bolt for me. Yeah, but that would cover these five. That's ten feet wide. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. So he hits five. I think it's sixty six with one street as twos. All right. Roll it. Uh, so twenty one damage. 21 damage, oh, 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 and they get to save versus spell. Yeah, but where are they dodging? Because there's nowhere to dodge. Um, up, down, they can press themselves to the sides. I, I think oh. there's plenty of room here. Uh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so some of them will take 10. 10. 10. They're all on one health, what the fuck? This one dies. This one takes 10. This one takes 10. Okay, that's Lord Khan. Uh, next up is another apprentice who will do 2d4 plus 2 to a knight, uh, dropping you by 5. And then the Brain gargoyles gang. will go. Brain Gang gets to go? Yes, Brain Gang, please. Uh, he's going to turn around and shoot with his short bow plus 2. Excellent. Oh, also, I think some of the methods should have been killed by the breath 21 weapon. Twenty-one-ish. Why? They're all in the air. Oh, okay. If like it's only a twenty-foot tunnel. Yeah. Time. yeah, it's only a twenty-foot mm -hmm. hole. Yeah. Tunnel. Twenty. Twenty-three, I think. Okay, so the bow is plus two. The mm -hmm. arrows, arrows he's firing one. are non-magical for no, the purposes of plus overcoming. One okay. Plus one arrows. Yeah. yeah. Plus, plus one. one arrows. So it's a total of plus three to hit. The ruling on. Bows are not, the bows are fire. <laughs> Magical bows fire at plus two to hit, um, but the arrows are what impacts the person. So it's a plus one arrow that hits a creature that needs a plus two thing to hit them. So I think the arrow hits and breaks and does not damage the gargoyle. But if I didn't use an arrow, then it would be. Well, regardless of. No. What? How could you hit I, I, I I sorry. You need a plus two arrow, it won't hurt them. You need a plus two arrow, it won't hurt them. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Uh, Brain Gang does a shot, and then he'll move over here. Then he moves. Okay. That's Brain Gang, Lord Khan, the apprentice who is now visible because they cast a spell. Um, the gargoyles will go. Excellent. Uh, uh, I'm moving Anton back to where he was, sir. Yeah. They're going to ignore Jack, who's gone flying up into the darkness, and I think they're just going to, you know, um, do little hops that are flying style hops, because they, they can fly or they can crawl, whatever they need. And Bash has quickly... attacks ready. 
Crow. Yes, Vash does have ready to tax. Um, go ahead and get Vash's first ready to tack off. Would he be? Would he have taken two, or at the beginning of his round um, with with haste? He only got one at the end of the start of the round, and the rest of the end. The rest of the okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um. Uh, did he get nineteen's a four? miss? Plus four, Plus four will hit. Okay. Uh, it's a medium creature. 11 damage. 11 points of damage. We'll keep one alive. Uh, and then the gargoyles will make... Wait, what about these two that jumped over Polar? Like, at least this well, one Well, they were the from back exits. here. They don't quite jumping. They're like, you know, they, yeah, they, they take they went, and flap no. over her. And then they, why would they but, get an attack against her? Because if, if they ever went within five feet of her, they entered her threat range. But if they never left... So... The only time they enter their threat range is when they're coming down next to her to attack her. So they never enter and exit. They this one only in the back enter here, on the, the way one down. in the back exited. Yeah, because he back depends here. on how far he went up. No, no, no. Yeah, but it's a 20 foot hallway, so he can easily hop well over the heads of these people okay. in their threat That's ranges. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not right. a problem. Um, Polo will get one, two, three gargoyles attacking her. Um, it'll stone knock skins. off her remaining four stone skin charges, and then she's subject to two attacks. That might damage her. Um, claw and claw. Miss, miss. Both of them. Hey, miss. let's just say Excellent. I don't care about anyone in this area. <laughs> um, Imric, roll me two more mirror images. Uh, 1d5, uh, please. It's d6 because it could hit me on a one, right? Thank you. One hits uh, me, one breaks the stone skin. So you one will stone lose skin, one mirror stone image. Skin. Excellent. Lord Khan is subject to f two gargoyles, making two attacks each. Stone skins. Knocking down his stone skins. Uh, Vash is subject to three gargoyles, making three attacks each. He doesn't have any stone skins. Yeah. Uh, so no, I he doesn't. Not... I forgot about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't. After so the he gargoyle... will take one, two, three, four, five, six attacks. What Vash's AC is? I couldn't tell. You. I didn't do the character. Checking. Thirty. Thirty. That's it. Check it. Yep. Thirty. Yep. 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 I did do it. So he will take one, two hits. Two hits. Boy, boo, after this, um, Jack is displaced. Did whatever is in the fucking upper part actually Oops. hit him? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's fine. Okay. Yes. A chatter didn't so, even say it. I thought of it. Good that's job. Excellent. Thank you. He will take 14 damage. Um, that is the Gargoyles. Our other apprentice will magic missile with basic level magic missiles, doing a little bit more to one of our knights. Um, the smoke methods uh, are going to start with the fun. Oh, weed every day. If it does fire damage, it won't do any damage. So. Oh, that's not what they're doing. I'm trying to blind people, I think. Oh, shit. Yes. Crude and lazy. You sure they're doing it? I am certain. Um, Anton, you are struck with their breath weapon, which does 1d4 points of damage. Uh, it's a sooty ball that automatically strikes one creature of the Mephit's choice within 20 feet, causing 1d4 points of damage and blinding the victim for 1d2 rounds. No saving throw is permitted. Um, so you take, uh, it's not magical damage, so it'll knock off a stone skin charge and do no damage to you. Can I say that I feel like, you know, why'd they pick Anton? They're dumb. Should there be a role for who it is in this fucking area? Um, no. Okay. That's Absolutely fine. not. He is seeming. He is seeming. I am seeming. Yes, but you also have an ion stone floating over your head. Um, you are different from the other people coming in here. Sure. They might be able to pick out Anton for other, plenty of other reasons that have not been made public at this point. I want to read Anton vision. is blinded. It's only a minus four to hit, right? You're good. Yeah, it is. Uh, but more importantly, you can't find what it is that you want to attack. Wait, he gets Magical save. darkness, fog, no or save. smoke is less effective... Spell permits to see at least 30 feet in magical darkness and at least 10 feet in any vaporous, foggy, or smoky atmosphere. 
It's a good defense, Neil. It's a great defense. Sooty Objection. Ball. Overruled. It will blind you. It is soot that is um, on your face and in your eyes. It's not fog. It's not smoke, even though they are smoke methods. Oh. It's less effective against a... Da, 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 da. Hmm. I think in this situation, I'm going to give you a... Ooh, this is an interesting interaction. Give him a say. It's, it's kind of a... Yeah, that's kind of a smoke. Thank you. It's, not, it's, it's soot in your eyes. You've been coated with, like, powder all over your face. It gets into your eyes. It causes stinging and burning. You know, it's essentially like someone hit, hits you in the face with a pile yeah. of ash. Um, so I think part of the blindness is that you are, like, blinking and winking and rubbing your eyes or what? No, it doesn't. I don't know. Make me a save, an unmodified saving throw versus spell. And we'll just call it a day. There you go. Yeah, you can see. Thank You're you. fine. Um, that is the first one. Uh, but you are subject to <laughs> not all of them. These two oh. are going to go after Brain Gang, uh, and they will automatically kill him because they each do 1d4 to him, Jeez. and Brain Gang dies. Hey, RIP. He's, um, He's bleeding. Can you track his bleeding? Okay, he takes 2d4. He takes 8 points. Uh. <laughs> My man's dead. He is gone. Uh, you are going to... Whoops, star, sorry, Scoria. I don't mean to keep moving you. Um, you are going to take... Three more methods that come over above and pummel you with your smoke, which will knock off three more stone skin charges on you, bringing you down to this. And you Can will. I just take... say that I was displaced. Oh, wait, am I displaced? I need to look. No, I'm not. I'm not displaced. I nope. Um, go ahead and make me three more unmodified saves. Failed. Failed one of them. You are indeed blinded for 1d2 rounds. Excellent. Can I roll it? Uh, new, because you can't know when it's going to come off. Cool. Uh, and then the last two methods will do the same to some of our knights down below. 1d4. Sure they don't want to do it on me? Um, yeah, I rolled all them at once. So this one will take one damage. This one will take three damage, and they will both be blinded. 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 And Scoria will finally take her first round. I can't even see it. Can I move myself in the room just to see? <laughs> oh, sure. She's not actually moving her token spot. Oh, my God. She's huge. She's a big one. Holy fuck. Big girl. Uh, and Anton, you can't see this. Uh, but Scoria will take a swipe at your Ion Stone, um, hitting it and destroying it. What? Ion stones have, is it 24 AC and 10 hit points? Yeah. That's a thing? Yes. How does she uh, do that? Well, maybe it's the, you know, her great age and powerful and the magic that she's got Fine. accompanied with her. Maybe it's weird. her spies. Who knows why, but it's- We kept the ion stones secret though. No one knew about them, but okay. It's Until fine. at what point? Why are there already charges knocked off your ion stones? There was only one charge knocked off because of the um, mm. death finger scroll. Wow! Mm. And did she also totally see fine. ion uh, magic missiles cast at Anton a few minutes ago earlier in this yeah. round? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they did. Um, then she will take a swipe at a knight who's not. Stone that skinned. is a That's natural a one. And a bite at a knight, uh, and Probably that is? will. No, Wait, that's definitely a hit. We were handing Knights out some real AC. good armor, Koibu. Knights have, they have 20 AC. She rolled a 26. I don't know where you're going to get the plus six armor. We never really went into it. Um, but she will bite a knight for 38. Um, and I'm going to... If she's down here, are they getting attacks? Uh, I don't think so. She kind of reaches down with a, a swipe and reaches down with a bite. Um, I think that she is well out of range of them striking at her. Um, that is the danger of dragon. Is she stony? She does, yeah. Her her scales aren't particularly red right now. They're kind of grayish. Okay. And that is everyone's first attack. Anyone got second attacks? Starting with Tyrael. Oh, yeah. You've, you've got one, right? <laughs> I got like four. Don't, okay. Don't roll a one. Why would I ever do that? I'm going to be rolling... 
big deeps. 30. Oh yeah, can you do eight and damage? Can I? Can I do eight? Is thirty a crit? <laughs> yeah, actually, hold on. I don't even need a crit. I'm just gonna roll. It is a crit. Okay, fuck. Oh yeah. Wait, you is get it him. a crit? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, I want to go down here. I have fuck tons of movement left because my cloak of the tons cheetah is still active. And I'll come here. Mm -hmm. I will take a swing. He's... Yeah, and nothing else is targeting you. You can go ahead and make your other attack here. It's fine. Yeah. Dead. And then... Um, Crit. Yeah, is yeah, he... That, is that guy exploded? Yeah. Okay. And then can I come out here? Do we need to track it? I got a lot of movement. Um, yeah, we got a lot of movement. I do want to keep track of it because you... Uh, la 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 so you've used about 270 let's call it 260 let him cook um and when you use your cloak of the cheetah it just three that's not just for straight running right that's just generalized movement generalized bouncing all over the place cool yeah and you're hasted yeah. Uh, no. So no. Your your movement's twenty four from your boots, and then your your cloak of the cheetah gives you three times that. So it's yeah. Uh, twenty four times three is seven hundred and twenty feet, and you've used what did we say three sixty? Yep. Three sixty. Um, so that is a half move followed by a shit ton of attacks, and I think that is your turn, right? Because you move, you do a half move and attack, or you charge and make an attack at the end of it. Um. Wait, it's two, if I move 260, 270, don't I have like 740 move all day? 260? But you, if you only move, you get the whole 720. No, I understand, but I, I should have If you move like, an attack, you get... Wait, I think you added What's... an extra 100 feet in there. It should be 260, I? so I, I think I have, have 100 feet left. Oh, okay. I might have added 100 feet by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have 100 feet of movement left. Totally. That's all you need. There you go. Okay. You cook. My friend, uh, my so good be... friend, Scoria. Hell, huh? She, she's up in the air. How far she out? is I've still got fly. She is like uh, hovering actually so somehow fly. without flapping her wings up in the air. And um, yeah, am I close so enough you can to come out of here and f hover up and attack her? No, you can either get below her on the ground or you can get like you know 15 feet in the air, but most of your movement's already been used in doing things. You can barely get any height. Okay, if I can't, if I can't get any height there, then if I've got a hundred feet here, mm -hmm. um. Coming out of here, then I have how much movement left? 100 feet from right where you are now. Hold on. You need um, to get your stone, bro. I can't reach that motherfucker. Uh, can, what is what is down here, down this hallway? Can I see? It's just uh, like... It just goes. There's, it splits and forks eventually. Um, the light stops at this point, and everything beyond it is darkness. I think you have ultra vision, so you can see it's just a long hallway for a hundred feet or so. Okay, I'll just stay. Uh, like, I, I want to be tucked okay. in here. Um, yeah, yeah. Wait, you're tucked in there, observing the battlefield Hold for on. a moment. Uh, no, Great. actually, I want to be right here. This is where I want to be. Okay. Run across, like the field. right underneath, the, right underneath this place. Yeah. Okay. Um, anybody else with second attacks? Pola. Are you cooking? Yeah. Oh, you're cooking over there. Let uh, kill some of these guys. You want to do it, Nick, or you want me to do it? You do it. All right, sorry, I got like four character sheets open. I gotta find it. Oh, I can do it if you want them. Um, I'll try. Because I, I haven't got. I have four attacks. Yeah. Uh, One, two, three. I think it's somewhere around there. Thirty-two, I mean, twenty-one, it's... thirty-three. Pola, yeah, yeah, a plus I'm... two sword. She's getting Seven two level? attacks per round. But she should get four. So she gets yeah. four attacks. She had round. one yeah, earlier. Three is right. Yeah. Right. Three. So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three hits. Okay. Here's the damage. One, two, three. Are any of those crits? Thirty-three. 32. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. They all drop gargoyles. <laughs> nice. Okay. Who's next? Actually, the last one doesn't. The last one is close, but no cigar. That doesn't crit. Does not crit. Okay. Vash has um, some extra Vash attacks. Has some extra attacks. Yep. He should have three more as well. Uh, I think he Go has ahead. all four, right? Yeah. He, he made does. one opportunity oh, yeah. already. Does the opportunity oh, yeah, attack count? count? So that he doesn't should count against your no, attacks. He should yes. get four attacks. Uh, but it, it was a ready to attack, not an opportunity attack. Oh, so he okay. gets the remainder okay. three. Okay. Um. So three then times. for Vash, one, two, three. Yep. And roll me some damages. Uh, only Two one hits. hit and one... That don't forget that the there should be plus one damage to everything from prayer. I don't know if that makes that last gargoyle die that Polar hit. 
she gets uh, a plus I already one damage. Added yes. that, I think. Okay, then no. I'm not 100%. Oh. Well, that, let me look. That 14 is a plus four to hit as well. Does that hit or no? No. I, I no. added it, I think. Okay. Yeah. So the, the first hit does... Wait, what the fuck? Six. Does not kill. The next one is a crit, uh, which will finish off the gargoyle. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Lord Khan already did his things. Jack used his turn for movement. None of the knights have any extra movement. Um, Scoria gets her second round of attacks because she she's about to give me that smoke. Hasted. Um, do I not get second attacks because I'm blind? But can't I just fight at a negative four? Yeah, but you don't. There's nothing to hit. What would you even attack? You can't see any targets to make attacks at. If you could, if you want to say I want to strike whatever's directly in front of me, we could do that. But well, it's fine. Yeah, I'm blind, I guess you're blind. It's bad. Uh, Wait, amulet? I can't track Coria through the amulet this close, can I? Um, can I, think... I get like an aura of like which way she is to like try and? You can stab? get direction, but you're not going to necessarily know if she's within striking range, and her range of motion is so great. Yeah. You'd literally have to just be standing next to a leg. Um, uh, all right, I'll just gonna attack knock up off. in the air. Sure. They'll all miss. Scoria will uh, knock off three stone skin charges from Anton. Oh, hold on, I want to roll. Maybe I get a nat 20? Well, Maybe you get a nat in the wrong 20. Spots. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> I got <laughs> the bad roll. All right. That's good. Second round of combat over. Wait, there's no targets I can see apart from gargoyles. Uh, no, okay. Never mind. Is that a round, Koibu, of the method that, thing, or no? The... Yeah. You rolled initiative before the methods, so your next two turns... But I got fucked by are it this turn. smoked. It's weird, yes. I'm can not sure... Can argue that this would be a round, because, or I can just have my attacks like normal? Well, why don't we say that you're... Ugh. I lost four attacks which is a pretty much a whole round. Just so maybe I'm should, blinded they... for, if it's two rounds, maybe I'm blinded for this whole round and then the first piece of next round, but I'd get my end attacks. Does that seem fair? Yes, um, but I think the problem is that in that process, you will lose the movement for the next two rounds because you won't know where to move. And so if something's next to you, you can get your attacks, but it's not like at the end of the round, Anton's gonna it. take but his like, entire I'm bl turn. I'm blinded, but I kind of. Wait, but you can move at the I, end of the I round anyway. So well, really yeah, but here the thing is that you, if yeah. if you're going to be delayed by, if you're gonna lose two rounds of vision, mm -hmm. you're essentially losing two rounds of movement and attacks. And the timing of these things sometimes gets split up in a weird way. But you shouldn't be able to overcome a spell ability by saying I delay my turn till the end of the round so the spell doesn't affect me anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think. Anton will not be able to really do anything for the next two rounds, and it's well, just a little bit stronger because you've got two multiple rounds. attacks. Yeah, I still have things that I can do. Yes, yes, you can't see for the next two rounds, but you can't overcome an ability just by yeah. saying, "I'm going to delay my initiative voluntarily." That's fine. right. That makes sense. Um, now I, it I has been. Should, okay. I think what should happen, I guess, I would argue, is that. I should miss the whole next round. If it, if it is two rounds, I miss the entire next round, but the round after I miss the first half and I get the second half because yes. that's kind of when it happened. But the movement there is going to be important. That I don't you... care about the movement. Sure. Okay, the... great. Okay, cool. Great. Perfect. Um, it's been a long time. Why don't we take a break here? Okay. And we can keep running this battle. Um... Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. But let's take a break for a moment yeah. so All I can right. get some water. We'll be back.
Hello, everybody. Let's do it. Next round is going to be initiative. It is a minus so. two. An eight. Um, Jack's going to be coming down, so you want movement? She's going to be three, so that's going to be at two. Hello? Can you uh, me? What? Huh? Okay. We're good. Oh. oh, we're rolling initiative for next round? Yeah, we're rolling initiative. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and roll a three here. Ultra low initiative. I'm going to use my bow, Fuck. but I want to wait for the rest of my followers to kill the gargoyles before I go in. So my initiative will just go at whenever the gargoyles are dead. Is that legit? Uh, Sorry, I was rolling dice. <clears throat> I rolled for bash pull and jack. Oh, well, I can go to lace anyway. I'll roll for Lord Khan. Fuck. Sorry. I keep dragging her around. Oh. Those wizards haven't been able to get in yet, right? No, nope. they're all stuck behind they're Shine with the rest of your knights. They're all fucking suck. So then you... Nick, you can also just fly. I know, but Vash has my fire protection scroll. True. Are going to cast... Okay, so you're going to do this. You are dead. Curious that Square has a breath weapon. This, yeah, it's like dragons don't use it. <laughs> She's gonna dispel you and then do it, mate. Uh, don't care. Score is white. See, uh, our knights are rolling in at that seven. Oh wait, they're not. Well, they're not some hasted. are hasted. Some are. They're not the haste ones. The ones at the back are hasted. The back ones are. So you are... They're going to be readying an attack, I assume, for Scoria. Dragon. Can these motherfuckers just keep smoking on us? Yeah, they might yeah. be able to. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, there's actually a golem left that I hadn't noticed. And the dragon. Usable, their breath weapon consists of a sooty ball usable every other melee round. Oof. Okay, and shine. Uh, shine is what? Meleeing these creatures? Yes. Whatever it is. Meleeing and well. moving. Yeah. Minus two. Okay. Minus two, yeah. I'll take you. Quibi, did you hear me? Uh, what did you say? Uh, it can only be their breath weapon can only be used every other melee round. Yeah, totally. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> okay, I think everybody has rolled. Someone rolled for Pola. Someone rolled yep. for uh, Branging's dead. We can take him off the list. I rolled for Vash. I rolled for. I rolled for Vash. Jack. Uh, ooh, gargoyles. I haven't rolled for the gargoyles. Shit. Uh, I did roll for the methods. And we need to roll a... Yep, that's 
right. Okay, ascending order. <clears throat> Lord Khan is the first person to act. What is Lord Khan going to do? <clears throat> He's just going to kill these two methods in front of him with the lightning bolt. The gargoyles in front of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Yep, uh, they cannot survive that no matter what. He will blast them into pieces. He will take an attack of opportunity to move down the corridor. It's light here. And Lord Khan will lose his last stone skin charges as he does so. Oh, shit. Okay. And... <laughs> Jack's next. Um, Jack is next. He will descend, Fly provoking an opportunity with a attack. Disengage. Oh, can you disengage from something you can't see? Uh, I don't know. That's up to you. I think he can see it. He's a dwarf. He's got some level of intervision. It? It's fine. Um, there's a wyvern up there, and he'll probably oh. shout wyvern on the way down. Just like, you could just fight the wyvern. That's no. He, he disengages down. I think. Nope. Oh. It's in Mooton's hands right now. I don't know. He'll kill the Wyvern. He's a big fucking guy. Here you go. Yeah, just uh, fucking up. Yeah, it's fine. Here's your attack. 34. Uh, 34 hits and single crits the Wyvern. Uh, make sure to use uh, large size damage dice. It's a Warhammer? Ah. And it's probably just the same damage the whole way through. I don't think that's also right. It should be another plus 7, and then the dice is going to have a... What is it? Because he's large. Uh, Hang on, one point five extra, so it times two point five. Right, so it's going to be four plus five is nine damage on the crit times one point five. No, it times two point five. Times two point five. Okay, nine times two point five plus mm. seven. Plus an extra no. So plus it's thirty extra damage. Seven to that, yeah. 37. 14 damage. I'm getting 29 and a half. Rounded down to 29 damage. That's fine. Right? Because he's That's got 7 one, strength. Yeah. yeah. 7 okay. strength. Yep. Yep, yep. And, uh, and battle, axe. battle axe. 25. Uh, that is a regular hit. Uh, here's just the everything. I think it should hit. 19 nice. damage. 8 times... 2.5 is 20, so 31 damage. Uh, and that will kill the wyvern. It dies. Fucking nice. Cool. Jack did his job. Good job. Comes, he starts flying down. Excellent. Uh, in the same round, the apprentices will go. Uh, and where... Who are the ones that are going? Oh, boy. Okay, so this apprentice over here needs to make a morale check because he's right next to Tyrion McGarry. Tyrion's under, but yeah. Oh, Tyrion's under. That's right. No morale check needed. Uh, thank you. Oh, maybe so that's both even creepier, of these, you know? um, both of these squirey dudes are going to fire off magic missiles at um, the the guy that had the ion stone on him. He's the target for the magic missiles. Uh, however, neither of them are high enough level to cast the scrolls that they are reading. So there is a chance that they fail. Um, the first one will succeed. The second one will succeed as well. And they will both target you for 5d4 plus 4. Now, you do have one stone skin charge remaining. So we will do 4d4 yeah. four plus 4 for the first one. It doesn't affect and the damage from magic missile. 5d4. Oh, thank you. 5d4 plus, plus 5. five. Um, so then I'll do 64 plus 6 for the next one just to make up for the missiles that were missed. So you will take 31 damage and have no stone skins remaining, Mr. Anton. Oh, Anton's dead. No, you're going to withdraw, right? I think his spell gets cancelled. Yes, your spell is interrupted that you were casting. Uh, the greater gargoyles will take a turn way up here. Um, there are three on Vash and one on Pola from last round, and they're keeping their targets. So Vash has no more stone skin charges. Pola has no more stone skin charges. These two attacks are against Pola right here. Claw Miss. and Claw. Uh, yeah, I assume she's facing them, so those are both misses. And against Vash, who also has... Is it 30 AC? Like 30 yeah. Yep. Jesus. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's 30 one hit. hit. Is that crit? Uh, 12 no. points of damage against Vash. No crits. Okay. Those are our greater gargoyles. 
Um, and next up is another person who hasn't been revealed on the battlefield yet, um, who is casting Dispel Magic into this pile of people right here. Oh, fuck. Um, so... Is it at a higher level, or is it just a cast? Oh, it's a higher level, yeah. Okay, this is who you uh, need to count them. This is... So, Anton, what caster level are you? 13th? Um, 13th. Okay, so they uh, need a 10 to dispel any spell that you've cast on that I'm pile. 15th, so they'll need a 12 for me. Yes. Um, we're just going to deal with Anton right now. Anton, your fly, they need a 12 to dispel. That's Why don't you 10. roll a 1d20 on a 12 or higher, they dispel your fly. Fail. Okay, your ultra vision, same roll. Fail. Excellent. Nice. Seeming, same roll. Fail. Great. Uh, fire resistance is at what level? It is... I made it, so it's 15. Okay. So, 12 again on your fire protection scroll? Yes. Oh my god, it's failing everything. <sighs> That's the big one. That's the one um, we needed. Oil of slipperiness is... Ten. That's me. That's at me. Yeah, you made it. So, 10. That, it's All right, gone. that is gone. Um, free action is a 10 or higher. Ten. Yep, gone. <clears throat> Prayer. Uh, stays. There. Recitation. Stays. Stays. Haste is at 12. Yeah, stays. Stays. Righteous Fucking Wrath of Faith base is at 10. Rolls here, man. Jesus. Gone. Okay. Gone. And aid. Uh, aid has already been used. That's part okay, of Wrath of the Righteous, anyway. Yeah. Okay. That was, it takes the first aid, Great. so it's just gone. Great. So that's Anton. Now, for the knights, we're going to use them as a batch. Otherwise, we'll be here all day rolling spells for them. And it's just. You should roll a specifically the. Scroll. Fire protection scroll. Yeah, yeah the fire protection it's scroll um, is going to. Nick, why don't you roll this one? Uh, 12 or higher on a d20. Wait, 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 wait. Roll what roll are you rolling the fire protection scroll for? Uh, he said, wait, I know. Dispelled. Wait, wait, wait. I thought that the fire protection scroll um, originates from one person. Should only one person roll that scroll? Yeah. There's two scrolls in that area. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Gotcha. I understand. Yep. So fire protection scroll is dispelled. Uh, prayers for all the knights are 10 or higher. Good roll, Nick. Uh, Still recitation. Up. Still up. Haste. Still up. Righteous Wrath of the Faithful. Gone. 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 Um, and with that is aid. Okay, and that is all the persistent magical effects in that zone. Next up is Pola. All right, she's killing gargoyles. Yep, first attack. Steven. With Paula? Wait, the yep. method blind? Oh, yeah, uh, true. Method blind is physical, non-magical. Wait, well, I don't normally roll Paula. Do you want me to roll Paula? Yeah. Sure, yeah, oh. roll it. Okay, okay. I don't even have the character sheet. I'll do it. Or you I'll, do, it. I'll, 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 do it, Nick. Do you, you control yeah. these people. You'll make it go fast. Bash, bash pick here, so I control. Okay, are these large, Neil? No. 24? Uh, that hits and will kill the 1 HP gargoyle. Yeah. And, um, and then forward. she waits until the end oh, of the round yeah, yeah. to get the rest of her stuff. Yeah. Uh, Anton McGarry, you were casting a spell, but it was it's interrupted. Canceled, so I can do movement? Yes, but you can't see okay. anything. I know I can't see, but I'm not fucking stupid. I've studied You're this not place on a battle map. I know where I yeah. am. I'm yeah. going to go back towards where my party is in the corridor. I can fly, so I'm going to fly yeah. and like hold the wall and just get the Easy fuck peasy. out of here. Yeah. I'm sorry, you, you guys, but I can't die. You put a hand on the wall. I'm gonna you go move here. back this way. Excellent. I am, Our however, going to put my character here because I just want to see. Okay, They're all going to get fire breath. Yeah. Um, is what it is. More importantly... Their, their leader is gone, and most of their reinforcements have never shown up, and they can't reach the dragon. Only been a minute. Um, been, oh. It's been two rounds in here, right? One yeah, round? Two, minutes. two rounds? Yeah. yeah. Two minutes. Uh, that was Anton's turn, the knight's turn. Um, 2d10 2D for their morale check. Hmm. We should well, get some bonuses. They're going to they're gonna move. Yeah, they're going to pass that morale check. Uh, they can only really see the golem as a, a viable target. And so they will across the battlefield um, to fight the golem. Uh, Let them cook. Oh, God damn it. 
Excuse me? Where did that wizard come from that casted a spell? Literally well, here? Good question. Well, would okay. I see him back here or no? Or we're we saying no? Okay. You're under. Do we know Do we know if he casted a spell or did he read it from a scroll? I think he know. cast it. Okay. He cast it, dude. Uh, all right. First set of knights will make some attacks. Let them um, one, what? two, three against yes. a creature with, I think they have 20 AC. They have 15, so 15 AC. Yeah, so crit, hit, hit. Um, 2d12. Yeah, it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 4d12 4d12 plus. 12, 21. Uh, 39 damage to the golem. Jesus. Excellent. Uh, the goes. golem will counter with a, just a regular, regular old fist, <laughs> which uh, will crit a knight, double crit a knight for 3, 6, 9, D, 8 damage. Uh, 27 will just drop this first one, allowing the next one. Oh, actually, these two can't. These two are stuck. They're blind. Um. Allowing the next one, stop moving Scoria, to come up here, and she will... Keep in mind, there were some hasted ones. They're in the back. They're behind Scoria. Got it. Um, ooh, she nice. will Triple uber crit. crit for 3d12 plus 7, um, finishing off the golem. And that is our knights and golems for the round. Uh, the other two blinded knights are still back here. Some of those knights might still have movement. Unless they're staying as a group, but... Yeah, they're probably staying as a group, and um, I don't know how much movement they would have. They, that's a hundred and... They'd have to charge to do this anyway, so I think they... Okay. In fact, that last one doesn't even get to do this. Um, they wouldn't have had enough movement because they wouldn't have ended their... Their charge would have ended... It, um... Yeah, the golem's still uh, uh, there golem. 21 HP. Yeah. Oh. Because the charge must end an attack or you're not mm. fully charging. So they just sort of ran and used all their movement but didn't get their attack in. And then as the golem countered with an attack and opened a spot, their their action economy would have already been there. Oh, these guys aren't hasted, sorry. Golem is right here. Come on, golem. There we are. And you are chilling at 21 out of 60. Yes. Shit dragon. Okay. So that takes those people. Vash, it's your turn. Okay, he needs to kill these guys. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, I believe he only has one attack at the attack. front of the round. Well, I. What? He can maybe That'll... use a shield bash with his second attack to kill the one sure. HP gone. Sure. I don't think he can do it. His shield is not plus two to hit, though. It's a oh, protection okay. item, so it doesn't matter. Um, he'll drop a golem right away. Or, uh, yeah, a thingy. The I mean, next it's a plus is two shield, but... in Apprentice. It doesn't have two to hit, though. It's two damage. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, this Apprentice was rolling in with a magic missile. They'll have to change targets since they can't see Anton anymore. Um, it will successfully cast, and they will do 5d4 plus 5 against a knight for minus 17. Um, the Mephits will go, and seeing Anton fly away, uh, the Mephits are just going to spend around dive bombing these knights here. We'll do four on one, four on the other. What are we waiting for, uh, for more people to come in? Is it just our fat-ass dragon blocking? We need these blocking? motherfuckers to move. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Mate, there was literally like 12 no, no, okay. high-level mobs asking. there. They're all dead now. Oh, yeah, I was just asking. No one's mad at you. I was just curious. <laughs> They're all dead now. Okay. All right, so we get one hit by a method on one knight for one damage, and the other one will take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attacks yeah, for three hits. Um, actually, one of these is a crit, so it'll be 4d2 damage. So one will take one, and one will take five. And Tyrael will go. <clears throat> okay. Um, 
I I think I need to kill the wizard people. What do you think? <sighs> Let him cook. I will. Um, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to fly up a little bit, like 15 feet, and then I'm going to. Um... Or no, wait, actually, um... can I? I'm gonna run over here. I should have lots and lots and lots of movement, right? Yeah, you're good. 60. Coibs. Yes. 100. Oh no, actually no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. My, uh, this is just, uh, he's having a flashback. Okay, I'm gonna come up here and blink in here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, you blink on in, and sure enough, there are, there's two folks there. I will take one hit at this dude, uh, to my left. With your dagger? Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm gonna use my main hand first. Excellent. Um, frostbound. It's like a 35. And Yep, that'll completely kill someone. You can do more than 10 damage, I'm sure. 3d6 plus... Ooh, I think it's plus 5? 3d8 plus whatever. 3d8, yeah. Sorry. 18? Yeah. Okay. And then I can attack with my offhand one time as well? Yep. Yep. Okay, this one right here. I will do a... Do it. Stab. Do it. Yep. Should and you can do 8 damage with that. Yep. And cool. they go down. Excellent. Um, then I'm going to use more movement. To mm -hmm. bloop, bloop, bloop. Mm -hmm, Running mm -hmm. through here. Um, can I peek over to the left? What do I see up here? There's one person. Uh, there is indeed one person there. Um, over here, do I see another person up here? Keep him on my ring of you truth. You see sight. many people. You see mirror images of, uh, ring of truth what sight. looks to be like eight people okay. plus. Gotcha. He's got a true seeing nail. He can see through them. I have a true okay. seeing ring, yeah. Causes two to eight exact duplicates. So, yep. Um, and you will notice they are all stone skinned as well. Okay. Um, uh, but you don't have your sword attacks yet. Your attacks come at the end of the round. Nope. That is correct. Did we say for stone skin? Did we rule that so that the max you can knock off per attack is just one? Yes. yes. Yikes, fam. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'll stop my movement right here then for now. Okay. So you run over and then run back. And kind of we'll bad. continue your attacks later in the game. Yeah. Um, this apprentice here, who you are coming up behind, was already reading their scroll and casting their spell. Um, so I think they're just going to do the same as the others. They successfully cast Magic Missile, and they will do 5d4 plus 5, 15 damage to a knight that they can see. Um, they're not turning their back in the last minute because they hear the pitter-patter feet running up and down stairs behind them. They don't have time for that shit. Uh... Shine? And, or sorry, Imrik. Uh, I'm going after Shine. I'm sorry, that that guy already went. Yeah, he already. I went. I yeah. got my initial order mixed up. Imrik, it's your turn. Same I'm waiting scenario. until Shine kills the gargoyles, and then we're all going. Uh, great. Well, it's Shine's turn, and she will claw. That'll kill a gargoyle, and claw. That'll kill a gargoyle. Okay. And now they're we, gone. Uh, as a group, now we're all running into the room with the with. We need to go with Vash because he's got the scroll. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're going to come. You're going to come. Vash is going to come. And Shine will continue to squeeze through as far as Jack she can. Jack can come as well. Jack can come as well. Uh, awesome. He spent the round fighting the... He fought. He flew He's... down. He doesn't have movement. He's here. No. Yeah. His movement's... Tw he doesn't have movement. He flew. Yeah, but his movement's um, 36 going down. So I think oh. he still does have movement. Then I have a bit of movement. He won't get the whole way because he only has 24. Yeah, he can come to something yeah. like this. That's, He's got 12 right. movement with haste, yeah. I draw my bow and shoot Scoria. Um, you have been her... readying all of your stuff, right? I've been cool. what, sorry? You, you've been, you were waiting. You had your bow Yeah, yeah, out I'm waiting, were... yeah. All right, right go I, ahead. I, uh... I, chip, I chip a stone skin. Excellent. These methods are going to fuck you up. <laughs> I've got true seeing, so I'm all right. Oh, shit. Uh, you Good knock job. off one stone skin charge from Scoria. Yep. Has um, Scoria said is... a word? Is she saying nope. anything? Nope. I'll bark at her. Scoria. Wait, We're you're around the corner, you. right? Yeah, I'm around uh, Anton <laughs> is blind and is going to get... He's flying, so he's like in the hallway right there. Yeah, I'm there. I just wanted to be able to see. Yeah. Him. Cool. And Vash is here. I'm over here. I just want to be able to see. I can mm -hmm. see numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, Scoria is going to move forward, sort of 
you know, high above everyone. Um, Mephit's below her neck. And she rolled in with melee attacks. Um, and she's going to start off her attacks against... Well, obviously she's going to attack Imrick McGarry, the person who shot at him with a, a bow. You're obviously. dead, son. He's fine. He's got stone skin. He's stone skin. He does. All right, I'm chilling. Keep in mind, she only gets one attack right now, right? Oh, oh she gets two. all three because they're three. from different sources. Then she gets three. Yeah. And then she'll get her second round of three attacks next round. Or at the Ooh. end of the round. Um, Imrick, Scoria is not... She's got big paws. I don't know Wacky. if your mirror Wacky, image I'm is going to make a difference. Out. Bullshit. No, come on. That's not fair. Because what? Can Teriel swing his sword in a massive arc and cancel the mirror image yeah. on the other guy? Yeah, but if, when a dragon goes to, like, bite you... Oh, come I, on. I, don't, I just don't... It's... They're three feet away from you. It seems weird. That's but I'm fine. also... Fine. But I'm dodging. Fine. Yeah, yeah. It you're is not fine. dodging. You're shooting Get us in the bow. future. No, no, no. You're it's not dodging at all. You're... No, no, but it's implied that you're not just standing sure, straight. Sure. I get you, I get you. Go ahead. Um, roll me a d5. Okay, so this is for the first attack. Yep. Miss. No. Nope. Roll me a d4. Was that, the, was that the bite or was that a claw? That's a claw. Okay. Second one's a claw too. All right, bite. roll me a d3. Okay, stone skin. you lose a stone skin charge. <clears throat> Excellent. That brings us to Scoria, and then we go to She's the top. She's about to get the smoke of the round. She's still up in the air. Emmerich, okay. um, Lord Khan doesn't get anything. Jack doesn't get anything. Jack does get something. I think he uses he all have of movement, his movement, so it's fine. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I, think, Pola oh, I think she can make her shit. attacks when Scoria comes to attack me. Who? When Scoria goes in for her next set of attacks, why can't Polar get her and Vash get their second attacks then? If you want to attack someone who's only casually, occasionally near you, I think you need to ready your attack for when that happens. But she's way up and like reaching down and swiping. You, Pola cannot engage at will against Scoria. No, if but she, she wants should to, be able ready, to ready her last attacks for her. No. If she wants, if if someone's out of range like that, you can say I'm going to ready my attack for when they attack at you. But it's going to be more limited. Like there's a huge advantage to having range. And you have to get next to Scoria if you want to use all your attacks against her. You could at best get one attack per round via readying to hit her. All right. There's no way. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Pola has nothing to do. Anton has nothing to do. Knights have nothing to do. Vash Anton's has nothing to do. still blinded at the end of the round now that it's past him? He this is the first round that you were blind. Yes. Right? Yes. It's 1d2. Okay, cool. Yep. You rolled a 2. Um, Happens. Vash, Prentice is already gone. Tyrael. Smoke Mephits have already gone. Tyrael gets a second attack. Get that smoke, Tyrael. Okay, we're doing second attacks. Mm -hmm. Um, I will attack this person one time. Mm -hmm. In front of me. Um, thirty-one. Easy hit. Eight damage. Kill. Easy kill. And then I'm gonna come around. Yes, sir. Okay, I can see the true one, right? I believe so. Yeah. With true yeah. sight? Yes, it's an illusion. Yes. Yeah. Yep, it is. Uh, yep, you see things as they truly are. I'm um, just going. You can see through illusions. I'm just gonna attack four times, and I believe knock off four stones can start charges. Wait, three, three times. Knock off three stones. Three times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I did one sword attack at the beginning of the round, plus one um, dagger attack. Then I just did one more sword attack on this guy. So I've done two yep. sword attacks. I should have three more. So three attacks. Yep. Um, and although they're on the map, only Tyrael can see them. They clearly have improved invisibility on, and it's... Um... Here, I think. Oh, oops. Yeah. I did the wrong thing. In the if you are... Uh, it's Oh, Shine gets her attacks. Think she can get a bite off, Nick? I mean, I don't know. Depends how far into the corridor she is. No, she needs she... to exit the corridor to <clears throat> melee score. Next round. Next round. No, we're all out. no, no. I've got 15 more shots. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, next round you can all get out. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I next round. Saying, next go out. next. Okay. You knock off three sco stone skin charges from Valerius. What? 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 Uh, Valerius? Oh, oh, Lurian. Yeah, Valerian. Yeah, Valerian. 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 <laughs> The wizard, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, Nick, you're gonna fire a billion shots, right? East yeah. to the stone skins. Okay. 
Gooses. How many shots can you make this round? 15 more. <laughs> and you've got the um, move and scoot style of fighting, right? Yes. Yep. You shouldn't have given him this stupid fucking okay. ammo. <laughs> Is she still no stone skins? Not after um, nine more shots. Okay. At the end of that round, I drop my bow and draw my other bow. Giant doesn't get an attack, so it's Scory's turn. <clears throat> yeah. Right. <clears throat> so it's Scory's turn. Oh wait, um, actually, hang on. When the when the stone skin goes off Scoria, I split my attacks to the methods. Uh, you said you're I used nine. So fast. Uh, you Come already. On, why not? You already declared that you dropped it after nine. There should be gonna, some downside of the bow of speed where you're shooting 16 in like a second. <laughs> yeah, that was, it's it's broken enough. Okay. Um, I think it's initiative. No, Scory gets three more attacks. Uh, I think she's a little tired. I mean, there's only one illusion of this wizard, but he's clearly stone skinned. Um, she's going to change her attacks. She's going to make one against Vash, who's right here. Um, this is more her speed. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Vash has 30 AC. Yeah. Yeah. 2d10 plus 12. Shoo! Not quite dead. Second attack against him. And there goes Vash. Um, and when he dies, oh. the protection scroll goes. However, yes. Anton near. still has one, and he's just around the corner. Uh, um, I want to be able to see around the corner. Can you give me Pola vision? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Um, Scory will take a bite at. I don't think she can see she Anton can't. round the corner. She could see that Anton had lost his stone skin and ran around the corner, but she doesn't know where he is. And I think if she goes around sticking her neck into yeah. the <laughs> hallway, that would attacks. provoke attacks of opportunities oh, yeah. for sure. Even if she does it at the top. Shine's face is right there, so uh, she'll just take a, a quick little snap at Pola. Pola. Yeah, because Pola doesn't have any more Pola's stone hot. skins. She's sexy for an older woman. Missed. missed. Oh. Oh, she missed. It's a miss. Yeah. Even gods she can misses. bleed. Okay, Initiative. that's the end of that round. Initiative. Oh, God. Come on. It's 12 for Jack. I'm gonna go ahead and roll in low here, guys. Don't yes. worry. Fuck. Good. I wish I got more than one attack at the start. Four for Bola. It's Bola. Antonio. I'm gonna be rolling a uh, nice little. Nine. Chine is moving and attacking. Yeah. Did we all roll in? Pola, Jack, oh, let me roll Lord Con. Valerian needs to roll. You need a little Lord Con. Uh, we need to roll for the Knights as well. God, I think he knows what his dagger can do. Okay, our Knights are here. They go there. Mm, the methods are here. Scoria. I think it's going there. Ooh. Ooh, bad initiative, but she gets a bonus of two, like many other people, for being hasted. Um. Damn, you got unlucky. Did someone roll for Scoria? Scoria Shine. made Shine, yes. Uh, Shine's breath weapon has not recharged. She made one breath weapon and then one round of attacks. Yeah. So she's yes. still breath weaponless. She she's must roll in Scoria. for melee. Yeah, she wants to grapple Scoria down. Mm, she needs to get in this hallway. Uh, and right. in order to get out of this hallway, you people at the ground have to get out of her fucking way. You gotta move. Otherwise she's gonna, you know, risk stepping on someone. 
<clears throat> but it can be done. What are you going to do, Anton? I'm going to heal and fly up. Did someone roll for Lord Khan? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Did, 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 did. Okay. Jack was rolled? Yes. Pola was rolled? Yes. Okay. Imric and Pola are the first ones to go. Uh, Pola knows she's got to move in. Pola moves in and, and readies an attack for Scoria. Excellent. Uh, so if she's here, she can ready an attack for if Scoria bites at her, but not if Scoria, you know, claws or bites at someone else. Just to be clear. Yeah, I agree with that. <clears throat> yeah, whatever's, whatever's next to her. Cool. Yeah. Imric, where are you moving? Can I see Tyrael? No. Mm -hmm. He's 60 feet up and 15, 10 feet in. Uh, and it's 80 feet across. How fast can you do geometry? Pretty quick. I mean, he's a wizard. <laughs> I meant Nick. Could, can you see something? Could you could you really? See I don't think you can see on the roof. Yeah. Pro yeah problem is, but, if I have to move out of the corridor and you're staying in the corridor, I'm not protected from fire. Yep. Um, you can't <laughs> see Tyrael. There's there's the the platform. There's Scoria, and there's the person in front of him. There's no way you can spot him. Okay, I run to here. I shout, "Go, go, fire shield!" Okay, you now and then have I shoot Scoria. Go ahead and give me one bow shot. <laughs> Thirty-five. Excellent. You believe? Is this, we can also get is this a hit? Uh, Thirty-five. That's a hit. Will hit That's Scoria, it. and you will do a little bit of damage to her. Seven damage. Nice. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> it moved. Oh, it moved appreciably because the HP bar is so did, yeah. which you can't see. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Around. I just can't see. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we'll go. get rid of the. We don't need these anymore. Excellent. This is space for shine to get in here, or not? Um, if. Shine will squee be squeezing. If the other people who are in her way move out of her way, then mm -hmm. she should be able to move in. I say me and Paula don't need to move. We're okay. You guys are fine. She can get in yeah, at that okay. point. And Anton's like flying you. on the wall, like he was like holding it. So she should mm -hmm. be able to get past me. Is my guess. Um, she will have to bump you into the top corner of the wall and give you a bit of a squish. Uh, Lord Khan, what are you doing? He Buddy. comes round this corner and he's going to try and lightning bolt as many methods as he can. Okay. Um, he'll hit Scoria too. And I think he can do. Mm. Okay. He's going to do it. He's doing it, Moot. He can hit two, three, four methods. Three methods. He can hit three methods. Maybe if he positions better, though? I mean. Um, the problem is that they're up. Like, they're in yeah, various yeah, states yeah. of height. They're not flat. He can hit three methods and Scoria. Could he hit three methods and not hit Scoria? No. Okay. Well, then he, then he goes for Scoria. It's 66 ones become twos. 24 damage. Okay. Um, there's... <laughs> One method can survive that. Roll him a little save. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh... 1d25 is a failure. So we will pop three methods. Um, shit, this is the initiative method, so I'm going to pop three other ones. Yeah, Two, the knights will be three. coming once Scoria moves. But I'll adjust this guy's HP to be the one that, the, the lower HP of the one that I moved. Okay, so I think magic resist first on Scoria before spell turning. Um, is it resist then spell turning? I think so. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't okay. it? Yes. Spell resistance on the dragon is... 33? No, it's higher than that. 65, I think. No way. Oh, 65. Sheesh. You going low, Neil? You going low? Um, Below 65. Success. Okay, good. Um, spell is dissipated. Good for us. Yeah. Ariel. That my turn. Ariel. Uh, mm -hmm. Does Khan move? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess he goes like. Probably to you. Over there. there. I guess he goes over here, yeah. No, you don't need this red dot then. Okay. Wait, why do I need the red dot? Uh, the red dot was your fire shield, but you already oh, yeah. have it on. Yeah, I got it on. 
Uh, Tyrael? Buddy, buddy old pal. Right. I will slash is the one that, penis, that cuts through the shield, the slow blade, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I will take a Whoa, slash. Wait. What? No, I'm sorry. I look. 29? That's with no AC or anything, so that might be a double crit. Um, I... The, their AC is not 10. It is... Uh, the AC is 19. Okay, so okay. if I if my That's hit a is a 29 course. with my bonuses, am I getting any kind of crit there or no? Yeah, it's a single yes. crit. It will be a single crit, yes. Okay, so that's gonna be a 2d6 plus six. Give me some big damage here. Oh, 12. Definitely does not kill them. And you can, you have true seeing, right? When yes. did you activate that? Um, at the start of this fight and it lasts for 30 minutes. Right, 30 minutes, perfect, perfect. Yep, so you can easily see the correct person. You don't, you're not bothered by the illusions um, and you penetrate stone skin and interrupt whatever spell they were about to cast. And then I'll take um, one more swing with my main hand uh, just to knock off a stone skin charge. Mm -hmm. And I will remove a stone skin charge. Doesn't matter. Oh, it, yeah, it, it doesn't does matter. matter. Why? Because if he rolls a one, he misses, right? That's true. Yeah, it's possible you could roll a one. I don't roll ones, moot. There you go. Okay. Valerius is next. Their spell was interrupted. Um... <clears throat> We're nowhere for him to run. There is um, nowhere to go. Yep, nope, they're cool. Uh, Anton, I heal for three. Nice. This? Oh, this is a spell you've cast. Cure light wounds, yeah. Yes, excellent. Cure moderate wounds, sir. Uh, and you are no longer blind. <laughs> Based. Shine. Wow, she rolled low on initiative. Uh, Jack, is that mean? right? Jack and Shine. Uh, Jack, Shine, and the Knights all together, yeah. So Jack can come in. And actually, it's like Scoria. Yeah. Um, Jack. Jack can fly up to Flies 90 up. feet, right? Yeah, yeah. 90 Easily. feet. Yeah. Jack Kill her. flies towards Scoria. Come okay. on, mates. Come on, mates. Here we go. Oh, um, come on. I want to see that 20. I want it so bad. 22. Okay. It's a miss. 22 does not hit the dragon. Okay, okay. Here's this the one's battle a axe. Um, the hit should be four, because we're getting from that, plus my buffs. Okay, Jack Fuck missed me. also You rolled like dragon. dog shit I today. I rolled like dog shit today, but it has helped us as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was Jack, Shine, and the Knights will go. The the Knights don't really have anywhere to go. Oh, then we'll just kill the Golem. Yeah. I'm okay, sure. There's more Knights coming. And yeah, wizards. they're going to be on a separate initiative. Um, yeah, that definitely kills the golem. We're not going to worry about that. Cool. Shine comes on through. Come on, Shine. Uh, and it is going to be a wee bit awkward as she like squeezes out of the hole and into the room versus Scoria. She's kind of got to like move all the way over here to get any sort of combat yeah, she's got positioning. She does have movement. The, the squeezing is awkward, um, but once she's free of it, she's fine. Come on, Nail. Let me see that bait. Let me see that 20 on the bite. Yeah. I think that she will, it necessarily squeezing out of there and past Scory like that, take some opportunity attacks, but she's got stone skin charges. So she will just lose stone skin charges as she squeezes on through, and okay. then we'll make three attacks against the Who's rolling it? Who's rolling it for Shine? Let, let Steven roll it. One each? What? Okay, let's do one each, yeah. Let's do one each. Letter okay, Koibu? I think Mooten should roll them all. <laughs> okay, let me do it. Fine. Don't fuck no, it no, no, it's fine. I don't give a shit. I'll roll, um... I'll you roll, roll a claw. claw. We'll roll claws and Steven can roll 31. Bites. That's a hit. hit. Here's the damage. 15. Not bad. Nick? Okay, next one. Let me get the... Wait, Shine shooting. also has buffs, right? She should have like plus four to hit. She should also plus have plus one to mm -hmm. damage from prayer. Plus yeah. one to damage, yeah. All right, can you add another? I will 16. add another damage. Um, and I added the hits. 
Yeah, it's still just a regular old hit. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's Imric. Okay, next claw. 40. 40. Clears by 10. Three times damage dice. 3d10. No, no. No, two single times. Single crit. Three, I'm sorry. Two times. Single crit. The... Just double Wait, damage. Wait, is, is that a single crit? Doesn't she have 31? Scory has 31. It's a single crit. So it's 2d20, 2d10, plus, plus 18, plus 7. Plus 7. 11 damage. I'm lucky. All right. And Steven, roll us a bite for Shine. Come on. Come on. Let's see. This is so to... much damage. Oh, God. Fuck. How do I bring her shit up? Oh, no, I see it. Come on. If you're all 20, this is like so much. Bite. Okay. okay. Regular hit. Damage. 66 plus 7. 27. A lot. Oh, she's going down. Woo! She's going down. Okay. Jack is already gone. Knights have already gone. Methods will go. Um. Hmm. Well, the one with the bow absolutely needs to go, and so we are going to get three methods. Um, trying to blind the bowman. Uh, so you will take. I have a question. Is an Imric fucking like fire right now? Can that really go through it? Good point. I'm literally on fire. He's literally you on fire. You have a fire shield, but it does not affect. No, his anything spell is like he's this. literally on fire. No, no, I'm not on fire, but I do have. I'm wreathed in flames, and if somebody attacks me, they take damage. Yeah, but this is a breath weapon. Is they they shoot shoot soot at you, so you will take. Um, I think it's physical, so you don't take physical damage. You just lose. You might lose a stone skin charge because they, they might images. target your illusion. Yeah. So give yeah. me um a d whatever it is three. three? D three. Okay, that All one's right, okay. One illusion gone. Next one. D two. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, and then the last one will hit you, but you have no more illusions, and it will knock off a stone skin charge, and it will blind you, but you have True ultra sake. vision. And true, and true seeing. True seeing doesn't let you see through soot, does it? I don't know. He sees things as they actually are. Yeah, but you're still blocked by walls. It is, are and... you displaced? <clears throat> oh, I am displaced. He is. Yeah. He's brand new in this room. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh. That, so that should one make misses. the last one miss. All right. The last one misses you. Cool. Great. <laughs> Thank God I've got two more methods that will see that this is not working and fly on over and attack at you as well. Uh, okay. They will. One will knock off... We'll actually, they'll both knock off stone skin charges hmm. and we'll see if true seeing will allow you to bypass method smoke but I still get the save right because I have ultra you don't vision. Get a... you will get the ultra vision save yes is that a flat save however it does not save? penetrate solid objects yeah no. so the true seeing does not help you here the ultra vision does well hold on um, can see a little bit into the ethereal plane or the bordering planes, but that's not going to help him because unless Scory nope. is in one of those. Right. Okay, cool. Yep, so flat save or spells. Which, what do you mean by flat? Just like just whatever roll it and you don't get any bonuses from any gear. Just your natural save. Oh, well, let me check because I updated it on my character sheet. I just need to make sure I know what it is. Um, roll two do you want me to D20s. tell you what it is? Uh, it should be eight. Oh, well, you're a uh, wizard. You might have higher. It's eight. Yeah, yeah. It's eight. Okay. okay. You want two nail? Yep. Let's do it. Mm, not a problem. No. Well, you are blind, Mr. Wizard. It's fine. Matter. That's I'm only sat, a minus four. You know where she is. I'm sat under the fucking dragon, yeah. Yeah. You can feel her hot ass. Okay. <laughs> uh, it will be Scoria's turn. Wait, hang on. Do my glasses not protect me? I mean, I'm literally wearing eye glasses. <laughs> you're going to take off the <laughs> no, glasses? No, the glasses do not protect Why you. not? It's soot. It's physical soot. You just said it's Come so on, Neil. That's a yeah, good Yeah, but one. like if the physical soot comes directly if he takes this them way, off. directly at you, it'll still <laughs> splash and around. If you have like a visor that seals totally, but if you've ever been in a dust storm, like your glasses don't give me, help you. Give me advantage on the safe. No. No. That's no. Fine. It's not fine. No. Okay. <clears throat> Scoria. You want that smoke? Um. Let's see, Shine's now a real threat. Is she scared, Neil? She is uncomfortable with the way that the situation is. Her Cope Cage wizards have not really helped her out very much. <laughs> Cope um, Cage. Yeah. 
they were supposed to dispel all your buffs, and instead they were cut down pretty fast. They're supposed to rip apart your men with magic missiles, and instead they were ripped to shreds. And the golems that were supposed to hold the front were quickly surrounded and brought down. And the rocks that were supposed to prevent reinforcements were triggered, unfortunately, too early. And the cleric with the horn of blasting that was going to hit the whole pile up front uh, didn't get it out in time. Hmm. Time to negotiate, maybe. Absolutely not. The wizard... The guy with the bow is sort of a threat. I'm blind. Kind of don't look at me. But you're don't blind. Look. And he's got all these stone skin charges on him, you know? Yeah. Don't kill Jack. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> Just, kill. <laughs> Just kill the dwarf. Take some pleasure in it, at least. <laughs> We're going to direct a claw attack against Lord Khan, who's not stone skin. Nice. We can see that. So Lord Khan will this. get Wait, what? hit. No, it's probably... Will easily get hit. Lord Khan. Uh, for 14 damage, which won't kill him. So we'll use a second attack, which will crit. And so we'll do that plus another He lives! D10. Wait, he lives that? One oh, no. another D10 because of a crit. Come on, another one. Oh my yes! god! Oh my he lives! God. <laughs> oh my god. He's there to tank it. <laughs> the tank tanking. wizard. It's just not Scoria's day, huh? She will bite Lord Khan's head off. I didn't hear oh, no bite. No, <laughs> no she miss. will not no, bite misses. Lord Khan. Oh my god. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> I cast a glance wizard. to Lord Khan. <laughs> he must look pretty fucking amazed right now. Oh no, no. He's yeah. probably actually been like bashed against the back of the wall, bleeding yeah. from every angle. And only because he's tucked in that corner section of the wall can Scoria not quite... Like she can gum at him with her lips, but it's not enough to kill him. Unlucky for Scoria. Second attacks. Who's All right, got me. Him? Jack? Um, we'll get one more attack, Imric, and then Scoria will get the rest of her attacks. Okay, so what's the thing with being blind? Uh, blind. You just... can't see where you're doing. You can't see where you're shooting. Um, any attack you make is at minus four. Um, when you're shooting at something as big as a dragon that is moving, I feel like you can probably target I can it. Say, uh, I shoot where she was. Yeah, I mean, yeah, come but on. you she's might be like hit. hitting. Yeah, yeah. She's just hit the guy stood right next to me. I know where she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's big. Go ahead. Take your blind and shots. With a minus four, Whoa. nineteen. Miss. Yeah. Um, well, do you want we'll me to do the rest of them now? No, no, no. no. We'll okay. get to you at the end of the round. Pola can't. Oh, she was readying attack. She should have got attacked. Was when, attack. Oh, how when, close was Lord Khan to Pola? Like, she, she was, was next right to there. me there. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, score. She could have made her one ready to attack. Go for it. Oh, Nick, do you want to roll it? Yes. Do it. Does she really only get? So Does she really only get? She's only going to get one. one. Yeah. We talked about it already. Yeah. yeah. It's done. If it's... she could fly, she could get all her attacks. But standing on the ground, she's going to be in a shit position. Yes. It's a mess. Misses. Okay. Uh, Lord Khan already did his thing. Yeah, Tyrael Jack. goes before Jack. Yeah. Let's hear it yeah. first. Sorry. Okay. My rounds. Yep. Okay. Uh, you can I've knock got off another stone skin. I've got four hits on him. Do I penetrate stone skin by the last hit? Nope. Okay, then four more knocked off. Yep. Uh, that'll just be you. We're done there. Anton already did his thing. Shine Powering. is hasted. Shine and Jack go at the same time. Yep. Um, you want to do start off with Jack? We'll do Jack. First? Okay, he's get two more attacks. <gasps> oh shit! Fuck. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no. Big retcon incoming. Well, Shine's attacks. I thought this was gonna happen on Jack, and I was so excited. And then when Shine hit, I botched it. Um, Scoria has Fire Shield, same thing that Imric has cast on oh, her. Shit. So Shine's first she's attack... Immune fire damage, she's immune so. to fire damage. But uh, she's got the cold version going on. Oh. oh okay. Right, Fire Shield has two versions. There's the yeah, hot yeah, and there's yeah. the cold. Mm -hmm. And any creature striking the spellcaster with body or handheld weapons inflicts normal damage upon the wizard. So it doesn't even matter what type. But Shine uh, takes damage back, yeah. But the attacker suffers the same amount of damage of the same, it doesn't need to even declare type. Um, an attacker's yeah, yeah. magical resistance, if any, is tested when the creature strikes the wizard, so we need to make some magic resistance rolls for Shine, else she takes okay, so, magic so she'll damage. Get, she'll get three rolls, right? So we'll do the yes. claw claw bite. Yes. So let's check her. Do... What age class is she? Seven. Uh, she has pretty good magic. 45%. 
Okay, so you want a 45 or lower on a D100. I'll just roll three and then we'll work out sure. when it got yeah. cancelled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so it gets um, cancelled so after the first one. She would have taken the first claw damage returned to her, mm -hmm. which was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. 15. Not, yeah, okay. I'll Taking take it off her. Back. Yep. No, no, Scory still takes the damage. Oh, Scory takes shine, it. Shine just, shine just takes 15. I don't think this damage... This damage must knock off a stone skin charge. That's the only... Yeah. We yeah. gotta do it that way, yeah. Yes. And then the fire shield is broken on shine, mm -hmm. on Scory. Yeah. Okay. So Jack can Jack's attack safely attacks. now. I was really hoping One. Jack would kill her himself Miss. on Scory. Two. Moot. You need to stop rolling it. Yeah. Uh, and you Your also turn. need to only do one attack with Jack because oh, Scoria still gets a turn. Oh, yeah, we'll keep the, the other one ones. Doesn't, the one doesn't no, no, we, we rolled them. We'll keep them. But, okay. but yeah. Whew. Uh, and those should have been with battle axes too, but it's fine. <clears throat> it's all okay, fine. So Wait. So Shine's attack's now. Warhammer's is main. Shine's hand. attack. Oh, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought a battle axe was his main. Hand. My mistake. Okay. Moots, you're doing the first claw. Okay. Although I regret to let you roll it. 34. Okay. Hits. Hit. 12 damage. 12, okay, I'm doing the next claw. Uh, is that 13 with the bless or whatever? It's a miss. With the yeah, prayer? Yeah, 13 because of prayer. I miss. All right, okay. Terry, we're doing the bite. Do the bite. God damn it. Terry. Come on, oh, come on. Rules. Um, boom, come on, boom, boom. come on, come on, come on, okay, come on, come on. It's a big one. It's 20. A big one. Roll a 20, dude. Come on. 31. Uh, oh, that will hit. Hits. That will just barely hit. 27. 28. Oh, wait, Shine gets bonuses to hit, right? Hang on. I rolled a 26. Um, I think it's all excluded, no? Yeah, but if it's just four. barely a hit, then there's no way it's going to crit or anything, right? Is it only four? The, I already included the no, four, I... four neck. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah the attacks were updated with those. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's fine. All right, so another 27 damage. Yep, it's all recorded. Uh, Jack's turn. You know, he already did his did next two attacks. The knights can't do shit. The methods have already gone. Scoria gets her last set of attacks. No. Okay, Judy. yep. No. Um, she only got her first round. She'll get her yeah. her hasted attacks right now, and she's gonna finish off this goddamn Lord Khan. It was not worth it. There we go. Lord Khan is dead. Okay. Jesus. Uh, well below zero. Jack is the next target for Scoria. This Deuces. dwarf is going down. Fourteen is uh -huh. just it enough. Takes him to zero. zero. That takes perfect. him to zero, and then he'll he take some falling damage, uh, and he dies. He splats. All right, bite. now she's got a bite. Um, are we out of named NPCs except for Pola? Pola, Emmerich, yeah. and yeah. Yeah, That's everyone else is not dead. a threat anymore. Knights should be coming in. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they will come in bows. next round. Yeah. Um, they have, they do not have plus two bows or, they've got swords. You don't need plus two do bows, bows? Dragon, I don't think. No, but do they, did plus they one come arrows. with bows? We said specifically that we brought people with bows and plus one arrows oh. because we wanted to get rid of stone skin charges. Right, and then they were put in the back and never got there. Yep, and now they should be coming out. Not this round, but next round we should have some big shit. All right, we Scoria, who are you going after here? Good friend. There's a knight. There's a knight she could bite. No, 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 no. Um, You know what? She'll reach her head in and uh, take a bite for good old Anton. She no, saw. Sh she could have seen Anton shot. when she was biting at, um, at Lord Khan when she went forth to bite him. She could easily have seen Anton out of the side of her vision. Would have easily taken a look down there. And her, That's she's a large creature. She can reach you. If this is your spot, if you are just around the corner, she can be fair. I was you. I think I was there to see, but sure. That's fine. But you can't yeah. see from here. No. This point doesn't help with vision. That's fine. No, yeah. Just I'll know take 20 it. and you're good. I'll take it. Miss. Nice. <sighs> Fucking missed. God okay. damn it. <clears throat> it's the worst okay. set of rolls I've ever seen. Six heard. more shots. Yeah. You okay. can do the rest of your six. How much wood have done? Can you just show miss, me? Miss, 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 miss. Hit. Miss. Met one hit. Fuck. Uh, would have brought you down to zero. Another well, five below damage. zero. You do five damage with your bow. Yeah, sadly. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. And we're at initiative. Hmm. I've still got stone skin, right? You still have stone skin. When Scoria attacked me, she couldn't see through my mirror image. Yes, she right. can. Oh. You let me roll mirror image attack before against Seba, okay. I did, didn't I? Yeah. It should have knocked off stone skin charges, but it's way too late to retcon, so we'll leave it be. Yeah. But from Emmerich's point of view, she can see through the mirror image. Well, there's no more anyway. Well, I've got another casting is what I'm saying. Ah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you roll in the knights who are coming in with bows or whatever? Yes, I will. Thank you. Um, it's the 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 knights have swords. The um, the miscellaneous okay. warriors have the the bows. Also wizards. That's true. There are some wizards back there. Wait, what the fuck have these knights been doing down here? They, nothing nothing, nothing really for them to do. do. They can't reach Scoria. Can can I shout at them to just come back here and do this shit? Yeah, like, they could hey, be calling that wizard. Yeah, they could be down here doing this. Totally. Yeah, yeah you want you want to call them to deal with the wizard instead of you? Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. They um. They can't break his stone skin. Though, they can't break his stone skin. They can't see through his shit. They actually can't see him because he's invisible. Yeah, but they could you swarm him. That. Just uh, did we roll in for Shine? No, I, I haven't uh, rolled for any of the enemies either. I'll roll for Shine. Okay. I've been rolling low. Okay, yeah, yeah. You roll it then. Good point. No, I'm good. Three? Oh, yeah. fuck. Friends at 17, 16, 15. Okay. You're fine. Just gonna breath weapon. Yeah. Just gonna kill you. Oh no, you got the shield. I have the shield. I guess Pole is gonna die, but. Um, our caster. You can always just give up. Give up. We could always use a wizard. Oh, I miss. Right. I miss rolled. I think Shine would just be bre breath weaponing Scoria this round. Uh, okay. Is that okay? I suppose mm. so. Um, I mean, six. well, you roll, you roll five, initiative. Five six to five, and then I add the one. six. It's six attacks, though. It might be more damage. Yeah, and it's she less, it's less, less, safe, right? it's less AOE yeah, just, from, like, fucking the breath and everything, yeah. too. Easy yeah. to just, like, do the, just do the attacks. We can just do the 17. That's fine. We rolled them for Oh, uh, that's a penalty of two or bonus of two because of hastedness, but it's still slower oh, than Tyrael. It's not going to be our day. Why well, might not attack him, you know? That's true. <laughs> um, so everyone has rolled. Oh, the Mephits have not rolled. I don't think I rolled in for Paola. It's a Paola. Oh. Oh. That was a four. Okay. She read his intake. Scoria will start. Um, and descending from the ground, her feet will touch almost solid surface. Um, you notice that she's not using her wings to fly at all. She clearly has some sort of fly spell that's allowing her to rise up and down slowly. And these yeah. two knights not get attacks? Um, well, she's not. They're no they're, longer blind. Okay. Sorry. Correct. They're not blind, but she's not actually hitting ground Touching level. Her. She's intentionally staying away from the creatures below. Um, and she will crane her neck because the token is pretty limited, uh, but she's going to breath weapon like that. Um... Now, Anton, you are safe from Breath Weapon. I'm good. Even though it's wrapping all over and around you. Imric and Pola are going to be suffering yep. um, this damage. Okay. Imric's Pola immune. will die. Well, I'm not Imric... immune. I make a save. Oh, job. I make a save. On a fail, I take half. On a pass, I take nothing. Okay. Um, is this just a regular Breath Weapon save then? Yeah. So it's uh, it's three pluses. So fifteen percent chance of failure. Yeah, but even if also I also magic fail, resistance. 
or does not come into effect. Even if I this. even if even if I fail, the fire resistance ring will reduce it okay. further. I yeah. think I survive. And this is fire shield that we're talking about. Okay. Natural one. Yeah. Okay. So wait, hang on. So each dice is reduced by two. With a minimum of one. Yeah, minimum of one. Yeah. Uh, so we're minusing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 19, 21, damage, 23, damage. 24, 39, minus 39, 6, 28, 30, 32, 34, minus 36. Hang on, let me just check the fire resistance drink. Ring of fire resistance, just double check. Um, save with a plus four, it doesn't matter. All damage is calculated at minus two, but yeah, okay. I forgot what I counted. Wait, did, you, did you read that? All damage is calculated at minus two? Yeah, all dice are calculated at minus two so with there a minimum of one. Three twos and three ones in there, so we could subtract. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 39. I thought I counted 39. Yeah, so it should be 39, yeah. 30, 18 ones that are above three. That's 36. Are we reducing and then dividing? That Yes, because right? it yes. reduces the dice roll, yeah. Right, okay. So there were 24 dice involved. Um, reduced, all of them are subtracted by two, so you will sustain 48 less damage, except for three of them were already ones. So we get back six points and three of them were twos so we yeah, get so back three points so it's 91 damage halved it's 45 damage you're fine i'm fine i can take another one <laughs> <laughs> you will probably be the only person who ever took a score your breath weapon and lived. damn straight and now i'm gonna kill her you took 91 right that's the number you came up with divided, divided by, two by two is yeah, 45 halved. Yep. yeah okay Excellent. Are you glad I gave you free action? <laughs> <laughs> what we were free talking actions? about it. What did free action save you from? I think you were going to wear a free action ring instead of the fire resistance ring or something. Oh, well, no, I knew I needed to wear the fire resistance ring for that exact moment. All right, Tyriel, go for it. You have your first and secondary attacks against Valerius, mm -hmm. the mage. He's still uh, stone skinned in front of me, right? Still stone skinned. Okay. I'll take a slash with my dimensional dagger. Um, oh, or no, wait, actually, I'll take a, um, a slash with my um, a slash with my sword first. Is he still stone skinned after the slash with the sword? Knock off one more charge? Yes, but roll the damage die, any or the attack roll anyway, just in case. Oh, okay. You roll a one, you Sorry. can pull a nick. Three. Nope, okay. you hit him, still stone skinned. Still stone skinned, okay. Now I will do then a slash with the dimensional dagger. 43. Oh, yeah, that's all the damage. 3d4 plus whatever. 3d3, right? 3d3. 3d3. Oh, it's a dagger. It's 3d4. Dice or three? Yeah. It's it's three, three, three against, against large. large creatures. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I've been missing some damage then, but okay. Yeah. 3d4 plus um, seven, because I think I'm getting a plus one to damage, right? On From prayer. prayer. Yes. yes. 12 damage. Three, yeah. You get three from the dagger, one from your strength brings it to four, one from the spell brings it to five, one from gloves of war brings it to six. Where's and then the prayer. extra prayer. one? Prayer. Prayer is and plus one spell. hit, plus one dam. Plus one hit to plus okay, one Okay, I thought I already counted that, but it's fine. Cool. Did 12 one. damage. And our wizard is almost dead. God damn it. And okay. then one more stone skinned as well. Is he still stone skinned? Uh, yes, he's still stone skinned. Jesus. Okay. Yes, he rolled very well. Tyrael, Belarius, their spell is interrupted. Anton, you were protected from the flames. Well done. Wait, what happened to all the knights? Are they dead? <laughs> Um, the ones that were coming down the hallway that got hit yeah. by the breath weapon. Well, did, well, they, they did they all be... get hit? Or... Well, they didn't all get hit because they can't stand, they can't come down the hallway at like full speed in perfect formation. And yeah. knowing that there's dragons and breath weapons, um, let's see, we're going to roll. Um, 3D100, D1. Oh, no, that's not what we want. I wanted to do. Well, 3d10. There's about 30 of them. For the percentage that got hit. Uh oh. Um, that's most of them. That's 86%. Uh, 86 times what? How many of them? There were 40? 
I was 40, so there's about six left. 16. Well, there was. There's 16 and 16 is 32 times 0.3 times. 0.86 times 32. 27 off of 36 is. Oh, I don't know. There's, these guys all die. It's like, Thank yeah, God it's it was the knights and not the um, archers. archers. Yeah, there we go. We'll yeah. just leave these people here. But that is of the seventh level knights that are available in your kingdom. Most of them are gone now. Anton's always gone in, right, Koibu? Gone in? Excuse me? He always goes in to fight the dragon. He always goes oh, in, dude. Come on. Anton always goes in. How could he do anything else? All right. Anton goes in. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, it dies uh, this round. Spear okay. of Ahana. Here's the attack. I'm going to be using a level six smite. I'm going to be getting rid of conjure animals. Mm -hmm. This will add plus six to hit and damage. Uh, 38. 38 will hit. Uh, add six to that. So 20, 20. Um, Your... It's not lightning, but... It's not lightning. Your channeled ability must first bypass her magic resistance, right? Oh, sure, that's that's fair. Yeah, one d one hundred. She wants a sixty-five or lower. Um, okay. So the the to hit will go through, but the bonus damage will not. So, I so she'll still damage. take fourteen damage. Yes. Here's Moonblade, Tyrael's beautiful sword. Um, I'm gonna add another plus six to that. I'm getting rid. Hold on. No, I'm gonna add a. No, I'm gonna add a plus six. I'm getting rid of skip there, so I'm ready to die. Yeah. And yes, um, you still have fly, so you can easily get to Scoria. Here you go. Here's the attack. Plus six. That hits. That will hit. For twelve. Oh, sorry. Roll of that. I, roll I, I, rolled, I fucked up. I fucked up. Roll d one d twelve. Is that okay, Koibu? I meant to roll a d12. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, yeah. roll a 1d12. Yeah, of course. Okay, that's going to be 19. 19, but uh, Nail has to roll another magic her. resist. He needs to roll another magic resist, Nail. Uh, I did, and she another failed. Six. So 19 so, plus 6, 25. 25. 25. Whoa, brings her down to 40 hit points. We've got it. The knights um, do nothing. The knights can't do anything. Imric? All right, I shoot her. With my bow. Yeah, fuck. Missing. Uh, Miss. Am I still uh, blind, yeah. by the way? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I forgot to roll your blind, actually. Oh, you might be good then, right? Uh, yes, you are still blind. <laughs> um, and that is everybody's shine? first set. Shine? Shine yeah. hasn't gone. How did the methods get before Shine? All right. Shine versus Scoria. Battle of the Ages. Balls right. and bites. Ready? Okay, you're, you're first, yep. Yeah. 29. Miss. Okay. 38. Hit. No crit. Or 11. <laughs> Steve. And Down to 29 HP. One. Yes! Wow. Ooh. Not 20. Ah! It this clears it. by 10. It's going to be 6, 18 9, 12. 6. Is it no, it's 18 D6. 18 D6 plus, plus 7. 7. 7. Good luck. <laughs> And with Fuck yeah. a bite to the neck of Scoria, Shine rips it open, and Scoria falls to the ground, dead. And we'll see you tomorrow for the epilogue. Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the second the dragon hits the ground. Time. One of the knights underneath her gets crushed by her falling weight. The other one is fine. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mooton, make me a... You were in the air fighting her, so you, you can probably be fine. Make me a dex check or take 1d6 damage as she smacks you around. Oh, no. Yeah, you're fine. You're totally good. Um, Scoria hits the ground. It's over. She's dead. Shine, seething, steps over towards the body. Claws at it a few times, making sure that this is not some sort of illusion. Valerius, the wizard, is over here too, still with Tyrael. And the two of you will still need to roll initiative. The main battle is done, but this is not the only thing in the room. This is the last thing, essentially. Well, Tyrael gets no. second attacks, no? Um, yes. Uh, yes. You will knock off a stone skin charge with the next attack, and then her contin his contingency, their contingency... 
spell will go off casting another stone skin on them copy automatically. Copycat. Copy Jesus. Using a spell that Imrek has is copying. He's no, copy but using the stone skin. Well, it's just a, it's a, the only... <laughs> it's a genius idea. Um, and then you can knock another few stone skin charges off, but they, they got plenty more to go. Roll in. Um, do these knights come up here to take some shots too? Yeah, I mean, if you're calling for them, they'll, yeah. they will run up the, the area. Uh, our dearly beloved Belarius will roll this. They are hasted, so it goes down to two. Um, I think they will beat Tyriel's initiative. Uh, nah, I'm actually gonna, uh, hold on. I'm gonna roll like a three here. Or no, roll right. one. Roll a one. Um, oh no, yeah, I can't. The it's long like sword five. modifier, there's no way. Yeah, fuck. Mm -hmm. Let me your initiative. Excellent. One of the wizards and comes around the corner and magic missile wants him. No, but this wizard will um, cast blink and disappear. Or cast something and vanish. Wait, are they really... I can't see them anymore. My ring of true sight, they teleported? They, You have a ring of true sight. Yes. They were before you. They cast a spell and then they were gone from sight. Okay, well, I mean, if I look out here, are they gone, or? Oh, that's an unlucky roll. You will find them a few minutes later. They blinked beneath the balcony, but they still took 5d6 falling damage and only had enough HP to survive half of it and oh. died Jeez. on the blink down. Okay. Okay. It was well, a nice try. I was hoping they might nice. escape. Well. Give me the loot. Party. Immediately, when Scoria lays here dead before you, you know, blood leaking out of her wounds, the remaining knights and archers come on in to cheers and happy sounds. What do we do? I think just come like back tomorrow? kill the Mephits. Yeah, clear out yeah, the, the rest of it. Or... Oh, yeah, the Mephits, once Scoria's gone, they just begin to, to scatter and flee. You want to give us a loot today or you want to do it all tomorrow? <clears throat> well, I, I want to know what you're doing with the I think before Imric... we get to any other rooms, because there might be other stuff going on. I Imric will look to his left down the corridor and see all the burned knights, and like mm -hmm. uh, probably just walk over here and see if anyone's still alive. Can I ask? It's um... done. It's done. She's dead. Can I ask Emric to try to cast Speak with Dead to Scoria to see if she responds to see if she's actually dead? <clears throat> it's a cleric spell. Me. Yeah, that's what I. Oh, did I say Emric? Sorry, Antonia. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can try, but dragons have, like, giga resistances. Okay, never mind. I mean, I, I assume she's dead. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> um, I, I will think check I... where Scory is on my amulet. I go Scory is Anton, nowhere on your hug. amulet. There okay. you go. I give Anton a hug. It's over. It's finally over. We did it. Well done. Where's Tyrell? Look what we lost. We lost? I look scattered oh. at the corpses before me. <clears throat> and I Anton look back to him and say, it's worth to attention. It. Soldiers, clear the next rooms. The work is they not will. done yet. The soldiers go, begin to clear the around. following rooms. Knights, archers, head on down to the rest of Scoria's mm. lair. What do the three, four of you, five of you with Pola, standing around the dead body do? I think we regroup. Pola's the only one who survived. Um... I give Tyrael a hug. Regroup, I'll get a shortest sharpness and I will cut off Scoria's head. Just mm -hmm. in case there's some funny ring of rejuvenation shit. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take her rings off too. I'll cut her rings <clears throat> off. Oh yeah. Get that ring of spells turning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hack her head off. You hack her fingers off. Two rings will fall to the ground um, and immediately kind of shrink down to human size mm -hmm. available for use. I grab them and I put them in my pocket. Okay. I, uh, you know, I'll go back to these soldiers over here and I'll say, send message to the outside that she's dead. It's done. A couple of people will run back to do so. I, Anything uh, else? I walk up to Shine. Um, I'll say, thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. Truly. With her Until deep and heavy breathing, Shine will dip her head in acknowledgement and say, thank you for giving up the darker of the paths that you could have taken here. You I made the right decision. 
the honor of House McGarry. Um, perhaps we can share a drink once we're out of this place. Mm. Anton will be barking orders to various soldiers and generals um, that Scoria is McGarry family property. Um, no troops are to touch it or to mess with it. All red dragon scales are property of King Tyrael McGarry. Yeah, also, I think um, we're not going to send anybody deeper in. We'll clear out the rest of this ourselves. We'll investigate. Yeah, I think that's probably wise. I think that's wise. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll call the people back. Um, as you clear out those areas, there's no traps. There's nothing of the kind. You will come across Scoria's four different layers. There's her treasure hoard. There's her hall of mirrors. There's her hall of spears. And there's her lava bed. The, the hall of spears is where she keeps all of her magical weapons and armor. And as you come into the room, you begin to realize what happened to the magical loot of the other dragons in Arcadia. For somehow, they, they must have been paying tribute to Scoria for her to allow them to live here. For this place is decked to the halls with spears and armor and swords and daggers and this and that and the other thing. Her hall of mirrors is um, a smallish room, maybe 50 feet long with some steps up it, lava uh, or bones on either side of a pathway, a five foot wide pathway that leads up a 15 foot flight of stairs into a larger area where there's a reddish throne that has horns and wings and a tail coming off of it. Um, it is scattered with, ru uh, with mirrors all over the place. So no matter where you look, there's a, pla there's a spot that you could see reflected to um, the throne. I'll There's inform. a door beyond that with a 30 by 10 foot wide uh, walk-in closet filled with fancy clothes and jewelry for human form scoria uh, and a very large mirror in place there. There is her treasure hoard glittering with gold, silver, platinum, gems, rubies. There's a, a library tucked in the back corner of it. There's a couple of cages near the front where there, some of them have prisoners, some of them do not have prisoners, but where she could store people that she wants to entertain her or mock her or, you know, to, to mock or whatever. And the last room you explore is her lava bed. It is a blistering hot room. You will start taking damage if you stay in there for more than a moment or two. Um, and in this room, it is just a, a large circular spot of rock with a pathway leading to it, surrounded by lava on almost all sides. It's like a peninsula with a bulge at the end of it. I have a few things I want to do. Yeah. I'll inform a general that they are to pack up that throne and bring it to the um, <laughs> McGarry Manor. Mm -hmm. I think that probably is fitting. No, maybe we should have it in the, in the capital in Mystria, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's saying. Well, we gotta right. build our castle or whatever here, so we just need it brought somewhere. I think Imrik is saying give it to the queen. No, no, I'm saying no, no, put the, saying throne, the oh, okay. throne in Mystria. Mystria. Yeah, we gotta Got rebuild it. this whole fucking bitch. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Second thing, um, I think Anton is gonna go into the lava room with his cloak of comfort. He should be fine. I don't know if you want to read mm -hmm. it real quick. No, it's fine. Okay. It basically provides like a chill shield whenever he needs it. Mm -hmm. So he's you gonna go in. Do you think there's any chance that Imric would know what you're about to do? Or not? I don't think Anton... Has he talked to you about it? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. His plans afterwards? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think he told anyone what his plans were. I think he very much okay. was unsure until pretty recently right <laughs> after the whole thing. Um, All right. He's going to go into that, that room, kneel down, uh, thank Vilthara, for what he's given him. She. Or sorry, yeah, she. But he is going to uh, decline to go to, uh, fuck, what's it Solemn. called? Solemn. Uh-oh. And uh, he will be relieved of his cleric duties now. You have made an oath, comes the booming voice in your head. You cannot escape it. Uh, Anton will talk in his head. Uh, then someone, then send someone to seek vengeance on me, and he'll take off the amulet, and he'll throw it into the lava bed. It will burst with flames, and as the amulet bursts with flames, Anton McGarry, 
so does your body erupt with flames. You can hear the final curses of Velthara, goddess of vengeance, who will take mighty bodily vengeance upon you. Your body and your soul belong to her. You have made oaths swearing yourself to her. You have bound yourself and made so many sacrifices in her name. And now that you do not want her, you defy her? No, Anton McGarry, that is not the case. You will spend out the remaining days of your life, of your undying life, as a burned, charred death knight for betraying the gods. You burst into flames and die. Your brothers will never find your corpse. You will learn what it is like to betray the gods. They do not take that lightly. The amulet of Velthara has sealed your fate one way or the other. Wait, so we don't even find his corpse? No. You will find a burned spot in that room, but you will never see Anton again. Did I maybe see him going into that room? You might have seen him walk in some direction, and then you go looking for him and looking for him, and maybe he other-timed, maybe he dimension-doored, maybe he maybe he withdrew, who knows where he is, but you will not find Anton McGarry. I can find Tyrell. His oaths cannot be hidden. Tyrell, I can't find Anton. Um, come, with, come with me, I something suspicious out here. I mean, I would imagine he's probably gone out to speak with the generals. Um, probably head out and find him later? Who knows where he's at right now? I guess so. Imric has an ominous feeling. Um, and we'll go and walk in the wall of the Room of Mirrors. Yeah. The rest um, of this we can finish up in yeah. tomorrow's thing. I just wanted to make sure that we got to see Anton's face. Well, at least, Moot, you've got the day off tomorrow. Don't need to turn up, but... <laughs> I'll turn up and hang out. I'm curious what oh, happens. Ab- yeah, absolutely. Well, um, well, yeah, all right. Fantastic. That will wrap us up for Tombs of Scoria. Congratulations, yeah. party members. <sighs> Thank you, Neil. You Thanks for the game. We this. won. Yeah. We won. We, maybe. Well, maybe. It, maybe, it was, maybe the queen will kill both of us tomorrow. Does that count as a win? Maybe. Um, it was an extremely long and arduous journey uh, in character. Sometimes out of character, but mostly in character. Um, you know, thanks for everyone for watching, and thanks guys for playing, and uh, thanks to Neil for DMing. It was honestly great. Yeah. GG's. It's been fun. We will be back Peace tomorrow out. to wrap everything up. And yeah, I think I mm-hmm. might stream a little bit after this too, so I'll be back, guys. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Thank you.